We registering now? Holy shit. I don't know why my mic just didn't register. Let's take a look. Okay, 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 okay. So, let's, let's back it up. Let's back it up like a talk track. All right, we're going to explain Mappy in a second, but first, we're going to start off with... <laughs> Apologies, everyone. We're gonna start off with a pretty big man. That's gonna make everyone click off the VOD. The VOD will not get viewed. This is okay, though. Okay. So, pretty big change uh, in terms of um, metagame uh, is the river changes, which if we come in here, here, let's double check and make sure everyone confirmed. Mic fixed. Mic muted. General talks for five minutes while he's muted. Rip the dream. Terrible. Okay. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, the Mappy is a very strong modifier, and we're going to probably explain it here, which is why we're running the poll. Uh, but um, there are now several rivers which get 5% Mappy, which is huge in terms of metagame. This is going to be very metagame warping. You will just see, by the end of the game, you will probably just see... Uh, well, like, if, if it's a multiplayer game, you will just see enormous amounts of, like, GDP uh, localized along these rivers because the mar MAPI, or Market Access Price Impact, which we will henceforth refer to as MAPI, is a really strong modifier. We're going to explain it in just a second uh, because this is a huge economic change in patch 1.5. Uh, but what this does is it effectively allows you to get better prices on all of your inputs and outputs. And so we see uh, it is present in the Rhine River. It's present in the Danube River. And so this is a pretty significant, like, last-minute buff to a lot of these countries, uh, especially down here. Man, is that mostly France that's of the GPs that's getting buffed? Um, no, I guess it's a little bit more on Prussia. Uh, the Danube, of course, just flows through Austria. Uh, kind of coming back in here, notably, huge proportion of China's uh, states are either under the Yangtze River or uh, under the Yellow River. And so this is a very, very significant thing uh, for them. There's the Ganges, uh, there's Mississippi in the USA. Um, and uh, these are kind of the big ones. Uh, that are getting uh, the river bonuses. And so um, this is pretty significant. And then I was noting there's uh, kind of no, I don't even know the Amazon River. Yeah, there isn't even a thing. But then there's a few new South American ones come to Brazil. We got the nice little palm tree, sugar plantations throughput, and a few other things here. We are going to be playing, playing as Brazil uh, because it won uh, the poll. And let's kind of explain MAPI really quick or market access price impact. And so here, let's come in here we're producing some furniture here. We don't have any wood produced. And so what we will happen to us, or what will happen is we will have local price changes and notably expecting the wood to be expensive, more expensive than the market price. So we see here, um, the wood is down here. And you can see this is local price. So there's actually, I think that there should be a bifurcation in terminology because local price refers to two things now. It refers to uh, the the local price that uh, if you had no market access, what you would pay, and it also refers to what you end up paying an actual price. And so I'm gonna try and start doing this terminology a little bit better, but let's say real price uh, is what you end up paying and local price is what uh, you're gonna be pulled to. So uh, here we have the real price, it says local price, uh, which is, this is the amount that wood is being costed here. And we aren't selling any wood here and so the fact that it's 23 is going to make our buildings less efficient that are consuming wood. So we have this furniture manufacturing uh, that is going to have to pay more for wood uh, as a result of MAPI or market access price impact coming in here. Let's find and click on uh, the wood. And we will see it is plus 20% compared to Brazilian market price. If we And then we see this other figure here, market price share, then this is multiplied by the MAPI or market access price impact of 75%. So this means 75% of the price of the real price of wood um, is pulled from the market and 25% is pulled from uh, local prices. Uh, your local prices will always be worse for you, always, always, always be worse for you than uh, you know your market prices so you want your mappy as high as possible so that market influences the price as much as possible and the reason for this is uh, if we come and take a look at Rio de Janeiro we have no sell orders for wood and we only have buy orders for wood we have buy orders in here and we have buy orders in the furniture manufacturers right 
And so what will end up happening uh, is that this will drive the price up and it will drive the price up if it were only local prices, which it's not, it's 75% market. The real price is not only local prices, but if it were only local prices, this would be plus 75%. Um, instead, uh, what we have here is this end up price, which is uh, a little bit above, uh, you know, even, uh, and it is informed by, it is 20% more expensive than the market price, and it's plus 15% relative to base price. And so it is pulled up. We do see this as a little bit of a neat thing. Uh, this is a neat UI change, but coming over to local prices, uh, we also have a local prices map. Um, but what the strategy will be as a result of this mapping is if your buy and sell orders are the same or are uh, proportional uh, to, you know, your, uh, if your buy and sell orders are proportional to your markets, uh, then you're, you're, you will be much more profitable. And so what you want to do is you want to build, uh, if we wanted to build a really huge furniture manufacturer, what we would want to do is we would want to build a bunch of wood here in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, that way we would have a bunch of sell orders and then we would have a bunch of buy orders in the form of furniture. And then we also have pops that buy the furniture. And so, you know, we would be approaching, um, you know, uh, a price uh, that is similar to the market price, if that makes sense. We've explained that so many times, and so starting to get, uh, we're going to continue to explain it because this is an important detail, but the, what this means is you will want to build locally integrated economies, and in particular, uh, because the construction loop is kind of the most important thing in the game, you will want to build stuff that has, uh, you know, integrated economies with all the construction goods, uh, which coming into iron frame buildings means you're going to want iron and coal in states where you are building, uh, because you want all of your sell orders for your iron frame buildings goods to be in the same state. Uh, tools will require steel, steel Steel requires iron and coal, iron requires coal, and so iron, coal, wood in states is going to be essential. And so I think we have one state that has iron, coal, and wood in Brazil. Uh, I think we have one. Don't we have one? I thought we had one. Sao Paulo, didn't Sao Paulo? Am I misremembering? I mean, obviously I'm misremembering. We do not have a mappy state, do we? Terrible. All right. So taking a look here, we can take a look and we can go into our potentials on that. And we can see this is all of our iron potentials. And then if we come in and we do, I could have sworn. Oh my God, can we, okay, yeah, we can click on it. We can see the potentials, only potentials down here. And so, yeah, we do not have any place with both iron and coal. So big sad for us uh, playing here is Brazil, which means that our iron mines will always be paying more for uh, when they get onto being, uh, you know, atmospheric engine pump, condensing engine pump. They're always going to be paying more um, for their 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 coal, and also their coal will have to sell at a lower price because uh, if we take a look here. There's no iron here to create buy orders for coal with the atmospheric engine uh, or later PMs. And so what this means is our coal price will uh, trend towards the local price, which will be minus 75%. And so big not nice, the opposite of big nice. You believe base mappy was nerfed from 80 to 70, but not certain? Are you winning, son? I'm trying. The, the truth hurts. All right, so let's take a look. Base mappy... Uh, base mappy was never... I thought it was always 75 per... Here, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at local prices and come in here and 75% market share. Uh, so we have uh, 75. Uh, you get like minus 10 or 15. Here, let's take a look. I thought 75 was base. Let's take a look at the text, right? Because I remember 105 used to be the max, and then there's a few texts you can research. You can research stock exchange to get plus 10%, so this gives you plus to 85%, which was kind of the normal for your early. So this is going to be the first tech we research because this is a very important thing. And then, uh, you know, we are going to uh, later be able to get Zeppelins, the now not useless tech, which is going to give 5% mappy, and then macroeconomics for a max of 95% with the exception of the rivers. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, Brazil has no good mappy start uh, at the game start. Yeah, I thought they had one. I thought Sao Paulo was good. I thought Sao Paulo had both uh, iron and coal, but it doesn't, it doesn't even have either one. 
I don't know why I thought it had both. Um, we, of course, will have to deal with our little rebellions here, I guess. Oh, get, thank God. We now start with uh, stuff assigned to France, uh, which is going to be very significant. Uh, if any of you played in the beta, you will know that uh, it is impossible for <laughs> the AI to win this, and we should be able to win this. Oh, look at this. This looks so much better now. Beautiful. Gorgeous. It's not just some abstracted, weird, ugly line. And uh, it is going to hurt the screenshots still, because that's going to look not good in screenshots. I wish there was a way to turn it off for taking screenshots, but that's kind of a, a thing that's, uh, yeah. So if I play one province country and I'm part of someone's market, do I benefit from uh, building construction goods in that state more than larger nations? Yes, one province nations are going to, um, in general, kind of, uh, so the Sikh Empire, where almost all your stuff is in Punjab, um, in terms of population and economic activity, uh, are going to be less disaffected uh, by the local prices change than large sprawling countries. However, uh, Punjab notably does not have iron and coal in their state. Uh, and so what we are going to see with uh, someone like Punjab is they're going to rely on their market and you're importing, anytime you import or trade anything, you are not affecting the real price, you are affecting the market price. And so, uh, you know, how, how effective or useful trade is, is determined by mapping. Um, we're going to come in. We have a whole bunch of stuff here off to the side uh, as that's unique for Brazil. But we start, see, we also start off with illegitimate. So we're going to reform the government. Man, we can't reform that well. Okay. We are going to have some local problems. No sound again? Really? What? No. I mean, I have audio output. Do I really have no sound? I me think someone's trolling. Double plus on nice. How does trade affect local prices? We just talked about that. Although you typed that probably before you talked it. I guess it's going to be fruit and coffee econ economy type. Wei Wu, the update just dropped. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, I think Sao Paulo had it. I thought Sao Paulo had it too. That's what I remembered. But now they... The hard nerf. Don't have a single mappy state. I could have sworn they had it. Um, I feel like I know a lot of the stuff. But, uh, okay, you guys can hear it. Sound is okay? Perfect. Okay, we can keep going then. Um, well, obviously I'm gonna keep talking, but obviously if the sound doesn't work, you're gonna, you can't hear. Okay, so we're gonna have, let's kind of look through our journal entries. So we have the Ragamuffin War. We're winning that right now, allegedly. Uh, we have the Matter of Slavery, which is a new journal entry. Uh, so we do not know how to uh, kind of uh, do it. Uh, but the status of the progress bar will be determined by the positive or negative conditions. The progress bar reaching zero will lead to the ban on slave trade uh, being officially repealed, uh, further entrenching the institution. Uh, uh, derided as a cancer, threatening the very foundations of Brazil. Man, I was playing League of Legends the other day and I said cancer in chat and then it just auto bopped me and I couldn't chat anymore. Terrible. By its opponents and lauded as a natural, necessary, and legitimate institution for a proponents, slavery has uh, defined the political landscape, etc., uh, etc. Et that's flavor, that's not stuff. Uh, or, well, flavor is stuff. The truth hurts. Uh, while Brazil is officially committed to the ending of the slave trade uh, uh, in the British-Brazilian uh, Treaty of uh, 1826, a few steps have a few steps have been taken since then to actually enforce the ban, and it effectively remains in place. As long as Brazil maintains slave trade law, uh, Britain may feel justified in thumbing your pie and seeking... Uh, uh, disrupting Br uh, British vessels carrying slaves. Okay, so... Um, we get, uh, if completed, we get unrestricted slave trade, not ideal, uh, and then, uh, if the progress bar reaches zero, we lose that, and we get more slave imports, and so, okay, we're gonna try and ban slavery, uh, we have magnanimous monarch, the progress bar will, uh, move, uh, depending, uh, the progress bar reaching zero will end to the uh, will lead to the end of the liberal emperor's reign and the proclamation of conservative republic. Yuck. Uh, emperor Pedro de Branca, who I removed from office with my Brazil run, and then all the Brazilians got mad at me. Uh, the second ruler of the empire, Brazil, has been uh, thrust into his role at an early age following the abdication of his faja. Uh, Pedro II aspires to maintaining de a democratic rule and protecting the civil liberties afforded by, uh, by the constitution as well as 
finally ending the institution of slavery, which uh, mars Brazil, despite the strength of the conservative forces arrayed against his liberal cause. Um, will complete if progress bar is above 50%, Pedro said, etc. Brazil's we got to keep monarchy okay uh if completed uh emperor pedro de branca's successor and the intelligentsia will begin their reign as a strongly advantageous position the interest groups will be more likely to join progressive leaders and so i think what we are going to do is we are not going to get rid of the monarchy until at least pedro and his daughter is dead um you know kind of a little bit more on theme even if it were b b better uh and so okay we uh, triggers the proclamation of the republic if this triggers uh which will enable landed voting and presidential republic and landowners and armed forces become part of the government now we can't really make that legitimate a government right now which is unfortunate um and so we're gonna need to think about how we want to spend our authority and our diplo in this uh thing uh, you're still having difficulty with the error on Steam. It does not seem to let you add the DLC. I had no issues, so I don't know how to help you. Uh, which IG group do you want? Uh, did you join in Vic 3 uh, official? The important questions. I don't think I joined an interest group. It would probably be the Intelligentsia if I had to pick one. Um, maybe the Trade Unionist? So can we expect a Serbia playthrough? Not in the near future, I don't think. I think we're going to do Romania first. Wallachia is a better state than Serbia. The truth hurts. Better better coverage on the resources. Um, and so, why does this seem like only punish you for maintaining slavery? I thought uh, Paradox occasionally liked all the history. They don't seem to like... Uh, <sighs> yeah, I mean... Uh, they don't seem to like that old history. Okay, so we're going to want to... I think we're going to do this. We're going to do the Exalted Liberal Party uh, combined with the Intelligentsia. It's not very legitimate right now, but we're going to put in. Uh, it's going to be at least a little bit better. Uh, oh, man. These colors are so bright now. They changed, like, this to make this really bright. I don't know how I feel about that. Look at how bright that is. Okay. Um, so we can put in several different laws off the back of this. I think we're gonna go for schools. I think we're gonna go for public schools. Health institutions are insanely good now. This is a huge metagame change. I'm going to try and make a metagame change video, but health institutions are a really important institution now. Uh, but we can go colonial exploitation, I think, probably. I don't think we wanna, <sighs> well, we could go legacy slavery immediately. Hmm. Okay, so. I think we're going to go for, normally we do colonial exploitation really fast, but schools is so easy to pass and we don't have public schools. I think we're going to go for public schools. And so that's going to be where we go for initially. Now, from a macro perspective, I guess we can kind of have two options. Do we want to cheese a little bit or do we want to try and join a market? Actually, we almost certainly want to join a market. I'm not sure I want to pull this. I'm not sure I want to pull my hair out. Uh, not joining market. We will want to join Russia's market um, because they have the most European pops. And so we're going to go to diplomatic actions and we're going to need to have an interest shared with Russia. So we'll just improve relations with these two guys right now. Uh, and we're going to see where are our declared interests. We have an interest in Grand Columbia and the Andes. I'm not sure um, if we want those. We will want North and South China to maybe piggyback on the UK's war. And then I think we're going to take Indonesia and South America, uh, South Africa. Not really sure which ones we are going to go for immediately. Do we have any boats? We do have 10 boats, so we could in theory land some stuff. Um, as far as, you know, military is also a hugely updated thing in 1.5. Um, now you have different unit types, you have different formations. Uh, we see that we start off with a couple Lancers here, a couple Lancers here and the Lancer here, and so we don't have any cannons. 
Um, the infantry are like basically all defense. Ooh, did they update these numbers? It looks like they updated these numbers too. Um, I remember line infantry being plus 20 and plus 15, or plus 25, or sorry, plus 15, plus 25, and now they're plus 20. Uh, and artillery is going to be more offensively oriented. Um, and, uh, you know, lancers are going to be offense, but they don't have an upgrade until uh, tanks. And so this is going to be pretty significant. And so let's actually take a look at some of these in uh you know kind of the military thing um after stock exchange uh we are going to probably be going late into atmospheric engine uh but in theory if i mean if we pass our laws really quick we might even want to go something like egalitarianism pharmaceuticals again health institution hugely important now but coming over here into the military uh let's take a look at some of these things so we see skirmish infantry is gonna have 25 offense and 30 defense 35 defense so it seems like they across the board have buffed the offense of the infantry there were the the metagame it was looking really stalling out um type of thing even before uh even before trench infantry was uh having a very stall heavy metagame and so 30 offense and 40 defense and so uh it used to be that lancers had more offense at 30 uh, then, uh, you know, uh, I think up to squad infantry you had to have to get more. And so these are now much more evenly kind of dispersed here. Notably, uh, you know, light tanks are the, the first upgrade uh, to cavalry. So cavalry does not get an upgrade into light tanks. Um, but they will give you more battle occupation and probably good on landing squads. But uh, otherwise it's going to be preferable to have tanks. Um, I think that these are replacement for tanks. They didn't used to consume artillery, now they do, which led to a weird thing where your artillery would become obsolete, and then these are mechanized infantry, the final upgrade to infantry. Okay, so uh, coming on in, let's find uh, kind of another one of these. But the idea is uh, very much the same, where, you know, cannons are going to give you offense, uh, and then you're going to get uh, defense from your cav or from your infantry. You have to maintain a certain percentage. And in the beta, what we did is we had a 100%, uh, you know, cannon army and a 100%, uh, uh, what is it, uh, infantry army, and we would just push with one or the other. But depending on how troops borrow, we might have to do stuff a little bit differently. Um, but let's come on into the military and also talk about uh, mobilization uh, options. You can now, uh, for those of you who have not been following the 1.5 beta, uh, you can now uh, implement, uh, uh, you can use a different variety of things that are gonna have various effects. You can see that this is gonna get minus morale loss uh, and it's just gonna increase groceries input. Um, it's gonna increase meat, wine, and groceries on luxurious supplies, which, which give offense and defense. And uh, we see supplements supplements uh including opium liquor tobacco and now the new chocolate which was uh not present in the last slag of the beta um we see forced march and uh transportation stuff uh, giving you more mobilization speed notably a change from uh before is now rail transportation only consumes engines instead of transportation i think this is a great improvement because uh you used to have to really focus on where you are sourcing all your troops from for the purpose of rail transport and it was kind of obnoxious uh for reconnaissance uh we see that it's going to give battle occupation uh quite a bit and rapid advance chance and so um this is going to be good for pushing quickly and so now you can make specialized armies so for example we can make an army just for landing and include you know a lot of transportation and reconnaissance um so that if we do make a beachhead we can grab a lot of territory very quickly and then we can have you know kind of a sticky army um that doesn't have a lot of these but instead is more focused on defense and maybe has more supplements and supplies although i think you kind of just use the supplements the supplements um and then we see support equipment we see offense and defense uh these are no no longer mutually exclusive um this sort of thing oh, i gotta and then we see medical support as the fine final one uh in the beta stormtroopers did literally nothing let's see if stormtroopers got an update a army offense and kill rate okay it's not nothing it used to be actual nothing and so um yeah this is what we'll do uh, what is the ideal army comp? I don't see it anywhere. I am So this is... We have seen for a while that battles do not actually... 
Uh, there's a borrowing troops mechanic, and this borrowing troops mechanic is going to inform what is actually optimal. Um, and it's either going to be uh, having, like, probably 50% infantry, 50% artillery on everything, or having 50% or 100, two armies. One that is 100% infantry, and then one that is 50% uh, infantry and 50% arty, and it's going to depend on uh, how troop borrowing works. Um, and troop borrowing was broken in the beta, where you could borrow troops from your, the enemy side, and so this was a bit of a problem. Alright, let's take a look. A bit of a problem is probably a bit of an understatement. So this guy's Intelligentsia, we're going to promote him all the way. And then this guy, armed forces, we'll leave him be. And this guy is a royalist. Uh, we'll just uh, not do anything here. We're going to just kind of take a quick look at if we can, you know, snipe some cheap clout and also making sure that we have no landowner in here. We do not have a landowner general, uh, which is going to be good. Uh, and we can exile this moderate and get a random roll. Hmm... I think we're gonna wait, uh, so let's spend, or actually, hmm. I mean, we could just high roll. Are we feeling handsome today, guys? Are we feeling handsome, chat? Uh, let's exile this dissident and hope that we get a market liberal. If we get a market liberal, we're actually going to change what we're doing. We, I don't think we'll go public schools, I think we'll go laissez-faire. But let's exile this guy. He's, right now he's a moderate. He doesn't have a spine. Spineless and feckless, uh, you know, politician here. Uh, and so, let's exile him and see if he becomes... Oh, he became an abolitionist. Hot damn. We're so handsome and good at this game. Alright, we're gonna change what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna do this. And we are instead just going to ban slavery. So we're gonna put him in. And we're gonna, uh, where is this guy? We're gonna reinvite this abolitionist, uh, landowner. We're gonna put him in charge of the party. <laughs> hey, you know what? You're all right. You're okay. You're no longer spineless, no longer feckless. We're going to grant you leadership. Mr. Abolitionist here, he's going to get rid of the slave trade. <laughs> wow, this game's so easy. Banned slavery time, guys. Look at us. We're so good. <laughs> Done live, by the way. This is what we call not streamer luck, streamer handsomeness and being good at the game. Okay, so what we are going to do with our authority then is we are going to float extra authority for minus enactment time because this abolitionist boyo will die at some point. <laughs> and so we're going to want to use it while we can. I think we can proc corn laws, um, if I'm not mistaken, as Brazil. Let's take a look at market price, which is going to be, uh, you know... Uh, something that's going to be very popular. We see that we are plus 18% on grain, so uh, it would probably just require us sending a, out a bunch of not very good export routes, uh, and maybe we could proc it. Um, but for now, we're going to use our abolitionist boyo. And so uh, let's find kind of what we think is going to be the best state for us to construct in, uh, and we will move towards getting into Russia's market. I think Minas Gieras, uh Wow, why did they nerf Sao Paulo? I'm pretty sure it had coal and iron. Um, but now Minis Gears is going to be good. We kind of would want to build here, uh, except it's got minus 30% state construction efficiency. And the reason here is they have a absolutely insane... Or wait, no. Here. Wait. What? Did you get rid of... Bro, this used to have a mining bonus too. What the hell? Although now I guess it has 25% coffee, but this state used to have a 20% iron mine bonus. And now it's just para. Okay, well, you know, you make the Brazil patch and then you nerf the Brazilian territory. The truth hurts. Uh, okay, well, we're going to build in Minas because we can't build in Para right now. Obviously, Para might be our secondary place because the 20% throughput bonus is actually quite strong. We do have rice farms, though. Rice is nice. They didn't nerf the rice. For those of you who don't know, rice is two buildings for the price of one. Uh, they doubled the output. Uh, let's find a rice. They doubled on rice. They doubled the output. Uh, they doubled the employment, so you see this is a level 1 rice farm, it has 10k employment. Uh, they doubled the outputs, they doubled the inputs, uh, they doubled the employment, but they did not double the construction cost, and so it, it literally is two buildings for the price of one, and rice was already had the best PM anyways. Um, and so rice is insane now, so we're probably going to build some rice, but not yet, because uh, we want to try and maybe do corn laws. Okay, so... We are going to be building here, so we're going to use one decree here. So we're going to use road maintenance. We're going to make sure we are still floating 
100% uh, more excess authority uh, all throughout. We're going to get rid of the consumption tax on liquor. We don't want to consumption tax that, uh, despite it being very profitable. And we're going to consumption tax services. And I think if we add another consumption tax, uh, we're going to have a bad time. And so we are going to be building in Minuscuitas here. We're going to slap down. We have a positive balance. If we go up here, actually, we don't want to do that because I think we're just over 50%. So, yeah, we're not going to add a whole bunch of those. And so I think we're just going to add, like, three... We're going to add a couple. We're going to add one construction sector at a time here, actually. And then we're going to add them on uh, iron frame buildings immediately. Uh, because normally you kind of expand with wood frame until you're not making money. And then we're going to do this. And then uh, we're going to put this on auto expand and this on auto expand. So they will start auto expanding. And this on auto expand. Wood is really good. Uh, and then we're going to... I guess we don't really need a lead farm yet. Lead farm. I'm a lead farm, a motherfucker. And then we will... Um, progress towards wanting to do atmospheric engine. Oop. After, after of course, stock exchange. Okay. So I think we're about ready to unpause here. By the way, we will not fully research atmospheric engine. We'll research it about halfway and then switch back to lathe and then atmospheric engine. And I think we're off and a going. This kid looks funny. The truth hurts. Uh, it's pronounced Minis Jer uh, Jerez. Jerez? I'm not sure how that last one is. Oh, we get an event. Emperor's Legacy. Will it never end the squabbling? The intelligentsia under Fejo will be unwilling to join local parties or the regency until the regency period is concluded. No. We get for nine years minus 15 legitimacy. Terrible. We'll just have to take... That actually is pretty terrible. Wow, that really hurts a lot. But <laughs> luckily we're abolishing slavery. Easy peasy. Um... We do have... Ooh, they changed these icons. We do have an input shortage, which is not too big a deal. We're going to import from uh, these guys. We just want to get going, uh, at least initially. Uh, and so we have our declared interest coming on in. And we are winning this ragamuffin war, allegedly. Uh, and so let's kind of... Uh, let's come into Diplo. Okay, we do not share an interest with them yet. I think we don't want our pie to get thumbed by the USA, to be honest, though. And so we'll continue on here. Minus Jerez uh, literally means general mines. The cheese is gone. Why would they nerf one of the most impactful? Well, Minus Jerez uh, was has always been good, but it just doesn't have coal. But, like, Sao Paulo had iron and coal. Jerais. 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 Okay. I'm glad we got the pronunciation down, allegedly. Well, our furniture is inactive. Okay. Well, we've lost interest, I guess. So we're going to rake these back. We have this can. Why are we importing cannons when we don't consume any cannons? I do not know. And then this one is at... Wait, what is consuming cannons? What the hell? One building. We have one thing that is... But we don't have a cannon. We don't have a single cannon. I guess we'll just leave that. Okay. So we get uh, Masters upset over concessions? What do you mean you're upset over concessions? What are you talking about, my guy? You're elated. You're over the moon. You're so happy. <laughs> you're an abolitionist. <laughs> uh. We get slave and we might want to just get slave purchases. Actually, let's get minus on the throughput. We will be <laughs> banning slavery shortly anyway. <laughs> can you check out the new enforce laws on subjects? Um I mean we could take a quick look and talk about it, but uh, we notably, so if these guys were our subject, we don't have any subjects, so it's a little hard for us to do. We would be able to, you know, uh, tell them they have to change the, one of their laws, and we can only have them change one of the laws if it is something that, um, you know, is going to be something that their interest groups would allow. So we it would have to be something that the, the landowners or the uh, church supports. Oh, let's check, take a look at our bonuses, because I think we have some unique bonuses, too. Okay, so, what the... F okay. This was not here before, and this is a bit interesting. We now have migration attraction under the landowners. Oh, 
All right. I know we had it under the rural folk. This is a bit of a change for our interest groups. Okay. Migration attraction is real strong, so we might actually want to keep the landowners around. And then agricultural tax and plantation tax income is not as good as the other modifier. We kind of don't like this one. We have offense and defense, patriotic fervor. We have 5% authority. I don't think that's... Mm, I forget what the... Oh, so we just don't get the tech bonus? That sucks. Okay. Um, wow. They just nerfed Brazil in the Brazil patch. Uh, we get... We also don't get the tech bonus here, but 10% infrastructure. I'm not sure which one's better. I'd probably rather have the tech bonus, to be honest. And capitalist investment pool efficiency. I really have to take a think of... The goods must flow. 10% infrastructure. Is that really good? Maybe that's really good. Is that really good? Holy shit. I mean, it means we have to build a lot less railroads. Is that... That might be really good. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll put we'll put that one on the shelf. We do have uh, kind of the normal Catholic Church, which is going to give be fruitful and multiply, which is okay. We probably won't lean into that anyways. We have this is normal for the petite bourgeoisie, and then these guys are going to give fifteen percent migration attraction, which is quite nice. Um, but together, these guys only match the intelligentsia, and I think the intelligentsia don't have it anymore. Yeah, they have prestige. So I guess our interest groups kind of suck. Um, I think that this is better than normal. I think normal is 10 and 10, and this is 10 and 15, so that's a little bit better for us. Um, and then we get minus radicals for standard of living decreases, 10%, okay. But I think we'd rather have the tech than that. We just don't get any of the tech bonuses. Wow. Are you trying to say something, Paradox? Uh, and then we get prestige, which sucks, absolutely. Actually, our intelligentsia suck. This is actually just really bad. So we get the intelligentsia guy, and then they suck. Man, that's... That's unfortunate. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. How bad is your unemployment? Let's hover the, let's hover the tooltip and read the chat. Generalist gaming runs on motor oil? Try and. Well, it helps your mappy. It's okay for early. Yeah, it's I well it might it might just be insane. I just don't know. I I haven't cuz you're starting to compare two very different things, right? Tech spread is just wildly different than infrastructure. Like infrastructure's good and tech is going to be good. Uh and so, yeah. Minas Gerais uh, has gold mines uh, right now. Uh, Sao Paulo has coffee bonus. Uh, Mato Grosso de Sol. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of, you know, kind of unique uh, looking uh, this stuff, right? And there's sugar plantations. Where did you say has a bunch of sugar? Uh, Sao Paulo? Well, it has sugar plantations building through, but we have some that have s explicitly coffee. Uh... Let's see, yeah, and Terra Roxa and uh, Mato Gro uh, Grosso. Uh, but we get the fall of slavery. <laughs> oh, Salveri. <laughs> Dyslexia. I was like, they misspelled slavery. Man, did they misspell slavery. <laughs> the, the fall of Sal Salaveri. <laughs> the defeat of Felipe Salaveri. Coup attempt has led to the consolidation of Bolivian domination over Peru. <laughs> Jesus, feeling dyslexic here. All right, so we will get uh, as the Peru Bolivian uh, Confederation, uh, which will give us maneuvers and constructable battalions. Uh, relations of Bolivia improve. All right, we'll just choose that one. Are we also have integrating the Brazilian Confederation, which we didn't look at? Uh, and so, I'm guessing we will have to have nationalism. Okay, we have to have nationalism, and we have something that'll give us migration attraction and such. Okay, fair enough. So, can you take a look at the cavalry stats? They seem a bit situational. Yeah, let's take a look at the, each individual cavalry, because there's four cavalry types that you can use, and we didn't even take a look at this, and they might have adjusted the numbers. So, with the Sassars, dra uh, Dragoons, uh, Curiousers, and uh, Lancers. And so, uh, taking a look. Oh, can we really not hover them here? Okay. So, we can't hover and look at the stats here, so we're going to look at the stats elsewhere. 
Uh, but everyone, notably, if you're really backward, you probably want to go really cavalry heavy because the cavalry, uh, you start off with all of them in here. So unlocks Hussars. Uh, so Hussars, 15 offense. What? 15 offense, 15 defense? That sucks. Dragoons, 20 offense, 25 defense. Okay. Wow, it's just like way worse. I guess uh, this is only has grain input and this has grain and small arms, which makes sense. Okay, but they're all unlocked at this tech level, uh, which they probably should be spread out a little, but that's... Okay, well, whatever. Uh, there's going to be 20 offense, 20 defense. We have 25 offense, 20 defense, which I think is going to be better. Wait, does this have higher defense? This has higher defense than offense with the dragoons. Okay, interesting. Good shout. Curiousers are going to be 25 offense, 20 defense. And then Lancers are going to be 30 offense and 15 defense. And overall, I think you're going to want to use Lancers, but this has a total of 45. This has a total of 45. You could, in theory, if you want to be more defensively oriented, this might be a, a good shout, but it looks like it consumes more goods uh, and doesn't really... Is it really providing better? Okay, 6 morale loss, 30 vital occupation. This gives uh, 10 morale loss, 5% morale loss, uh, which I guess is going to apply to the entire army. Uh, and so that's a little bit worse, and uh, extra kill rate. Okay, so maybe maybe Curiousers under some conditions are going to be a little bit better, something like this. Um, uh, salivary slash slavery, uh, the truth hurts. Uh, you might be able to export and then something to increase profits and stuff. You just need to hover over their names. Are you in someone's market? Not yet, Palaya, we're trying. We can only... We play as asks if we're in someone's market less than a month into the game. The truth hurts. All right. Um, I don't even think we start with good enough relations with anyone that we could join someone's... Oh, I guess we could if we... No, we don't even have good enough relations. We want to join Russia's market, though. Uh, so this is what we're going to try and do. Um, I don't think we have trade relations with them yet, though. Uh, and we need to improve relations with them. Hello, hello, Playa. How's it going? Okay, so we could also rival some people. Maybe we rival Bolivia. I think we do. We have a land route into them. If so, we probably subjugate them afterwards. I don't know if this is. I don't think this is impassable. So I think we subjugate Bolivia. We might take a little bit of a cheeky save though. We, we streamer RNG the abolitionist landowner, but uh, might not streamer RNG someone thumbing our pie. Which we hate the pie thumbing. We hate it. Okay, there was something else we were going to check, but now I've forgotten. But uh, let's just take a sip of our uh, definitely not pee, definitely uh, energy drink mix. Okay, so... We finish up this war, and now we are, you know, producing both tools and iron and logging in here. I think we're going to lean into the logging. We don't have access to a company yet, but as soon as we get one, we'll want to utilize probably logging. <sighs> oh, maybe iron. I'm not really sure. The problem is, is we have significantly less iron, uh, and we might finish it off soon. Ooh, the arrows go back the other way. So now these guys are coming back in. We're just going to assign them over here. The 1.5 experience uh, in the beta was that Brazil would always lose. Now they don't. Oh, do we just get to see all the roads? Wait, why are you taking two different roads? All right, fair enough. Good shout. And they follow the roads. Man, this looks so much nicer than the beta, bro. Doesn't want me to make me peel my eyes out. What path are we going with Brazil? We are going to try and stay a little bit on theme with Brazil um, and do kind of uh, what we feel a little bit railroaded on. Is this a pale D DLC? I intend to buy a consumer on Black Friday and want to play this. Um, okay, so that's actually kind of... So there's stuff in here. There's DLC in the the what we're playing right now this uh a lot of the stuff for brazil specifically uh is part of the uh dlc which is the colossus of the south um which has some stuff we also have the voice of the people dlc but there's really not a lot of dlc for victoria 3 yet um and so uh th there is some dlc involved in some of this 
Um, can we look at the Peru-Bolivian journal entry? Okay. Let's take a look at it. With the strategic, uh, with the greater European descended population, untapped resource and strategic position, a solidified Peru-Bolivia confederation represents an existential threat to Brazilian national interest. Uh, in order to preserve the balance of power, a confederation must either be amicable, made amicable to our state or disbanded by force. The ambitions, etc., can be averted by forcing them to release their subjects before the bra reaches 100%. And then we'll complete if uh, they don't exist or they've lost all their subjects or uh, relations are good and they have an alliance, a customs union, or a defensive pact. Completion uh, will depend on whether we've chosen to dismantle or pre befriend. If the pro progress bar, well, we're gonna subjugate. I don't know that what that'll do to us. That's the plan though, anyway. At any rate, the plan is to subjugate. Let's actually take a look though. So we can get achievements right now. Uh, but we will probably try and get some of these uh, unique ones. Uh, Devil's Railroad for exploiting the Amazon's journal entry. Magnanimous for Brazil, uh, for Pedro. As Brazil, complete the Magnanimous Monarch journal entry. So we'll try and do that. Stonks. Uh, as Brazil, make uh, Mr. Vargas ruler of your nation and complete the New Republic journal entry. I guess we won't be doing that. Those seem mutually exclusive. Um, and then, is that the only other as Brazil? Okay, so we'll just keep Pedro around. Uh, that way my Brazilian viewership doesn't get mad at me, because they otherwise will. Um, the South Pole is missing in the Northwest Passage. Hadn't been discovered yet. I hope the, they add some prestige minigame with that or something. Hmm. Okay. The gameplay changes are all in the free patch. The DLC is mostly uh, flavor for South America. Yes. This is uh, kind of a new design philosophy that I think is really good. Um, you know, following EU4's, like, thing where new players can't get into the game. Uh, all the essential features, for the most part, are in, um, you know, the, the open patch. However, the thing that we did where we promoted this abolitionist to government, that is locked behind Voice of the People DLC. So, not everything that is, like... Uh, but that's not, like, really an essential element of being able to play the game. It's just, uh... <laughs> Should we give this guy more popularity, the abolitionist landowner? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that'll make our government a little bit more legitimate. Or it'll give us a little bit more authority. Oh, no, it won't give us more authority because it's in the other guy. Have you found a good formula for army composition, the do's and don'ts? It's going to depend on how borrowing troops works, and we got to take a closer look at that. Um, troops get borrowed. Uh, if they if they will borrow from other armies, uh, just all the offensive troops, all the cannons and stuff, then you just kind of do half and half. If they don't borrow the cannons, um, then I think what you want to do is you want to have two armies on every front, one for pushing, one just for defending. Um, I think that the, the having defending armies is going to be somewhat meta- um, as well, but, uh, I, I, I have to see if they've effectively fixed a bug that was present throughout the entire beta. Scavenger626, thank you for the dono, my guy. Uh, you ask, or you say, you wonder. I wonder if you can annex, assimilate all of South America with your spice wine and zebras dance stickers. We can try. You can try. I mean, we can go for a United South, uh, America. This seems, uh, you know, could definitely do this. This is also probably what we try and do as Paraguay. And we get a little bit of a treaty. We can offer concessions. Never. With the defeat of, uh, you know, this guy's name doesn't look like slavery, so we can recognize it as not being so. Uh, field Army. Uh, General Pedro de uh, Alcantara Belgarde uh, has proposed granting of amnesties and extensive concessions, bringing Rio Grande de Sol back into the fold. So what can we do? Uh, we can make a bunch of them radical, offer concessions, and pay off the war debts. Yikes. If they wanted amnesty, they should have surrendered back in 1836 or 35. Well, yeah, the truth hurts. Um, that'll make a lot of them radical, though. I don't think we want to do that. I think we want to offer amnesty because I think we want to build there anyways because they have the the super nice, you know, iron bonus. And so I don't think we want to create, like, infinite radicals there. We're just going to get another... Well, if we get another rev, 3k for five years is a lot for us right now. Ugh. <sighs> If it was decaying, we would do it. Son of a bizzle. Alright. 
we choose violence. Manifest Brazilian de uh, Destiny take over Peru Bolivia. Peru Bolivia is like the single best expansion spot in the game, and it's actually like uh, themey for us here. Oh, uh, we got to do something a little bit different with this. We got to declare an interest in the caucuses. I think we will also just declare an interest so we can just start uh, improving relations with Russia. I think this is important. All right. Um, no mercy for trade. Whoa. Burn the rabble out. Whoa, 90% devastation. That's not good for the environment. Someone get Greta Thunberg out. Uh, scorched Earth, Jesus Christ. All right, well... Well, we got them annexed, so we're going to take a quick cheeky save. In case our pie gets thumbed. Oh no, he saved on stream. What is he doing? Oh, we can't subjugate them. Why not? Wait, why can't we subjugate you? Why is that not a bit? Oh, we need an interest. Okay, 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 okay. Got it, got it, got it. Uh... Huh. No, we, we're gonna get a native interest there, right? Caucasus is the Baltic and the... Oh, man. Do we really not get a native interest in B Bolivia? Okay, so we're gonna need to move one temporarily. We're gonna get an interest, overlapping interest. We should be able to improve relations with just the Caucasus interest, so we're gonna put an interest in the Andes. Did you exile a moderate landowner, or does Brill still start with an abolitionist landowner? <laughs> we exiled the moderate and just high rolled. <laughs> we just got a bit of streamer luck. I, I mean, not streamer luck, I mean uh, being handsome and really good at the game. If you're really handsome and good at the game, you always get the high rolls. Brazil gets mad by the Pedro second situation because they love him and they implemented military dictatorship uh, and then they implemented a military dictatorship, the first of five. Yeah, I understand why they do it. I just like, that was like, if you look at my Brazil run where I got rid of him, there's just like a bunch of bad comments and I'm just like, okay. This is like, I literally just play it the way I always play Pinky. France is no longer bankrolling us, the truth hurts. All right. So, we're still waiting on our interests. Wow, did they increase the amount of time that it takes to declare interest? It used to be so much faster, it felt like. But now we should, should be able to... Alright, just a little... A couple more ticks, and we should be able to put in an interest. Or, the interest should be here. Uh, take Treaty Port in Persia. Come on. Why you gotta slap around Persia? Alright, make Protectorate. So, we're gonna take a cheeky save here. A streamer save, if you will. And then we're going to protect her at Bolivia. And we just hope no one joins against us. Alright. We maybe want to consolidate some of these armies. So let's consolidate this one into the this one. Oh, this looks so much better. And we could use a slider? Bro. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, these are... Irregulars. All right, let's consolidate all of these guys. Wait, why can't we click confirm? All right, we'll try and address that later. But that oh, that looks way better. So you do you need to have an army? We're gonna promote all these guys to uh, regulars though. That looks so much cleaner. More clean. Alright. Mobilization. Options. I think we will... Uh, we don't have any groceries. And we... Can we click some of these, though? Hmm. I guess we'll consume liquor. Do we have tobacco? I'm sure we have tobacco, right? Let's take a look at our goods. What do we have sell orders for? Alright, we have coffee, and our coffee's really cheap, and so I think we'll have these guys mobilization use coffee. And we'll mobilization use coffee? Oh, that's sugar. Alright, and then mobilization will use... Wait, am I just blind? Did I click the wrong thing? 
All right, we'll just have me a sugar, whatever. My brain can't handle that chocolate isn't coffee. It's sugar. I think we produce sugar too, so I think this will be fine. We are subjugating Peru, Bolivia. Big, nice. Let's see. I think we'll take the Catholic Church. I think we're actually going to do a theocratic run because our intelligentsia sucks. They just nerfed a whole bunch of stuff like last minute on Brazil. Probably general rank. Interesting. We'll, t we'll try it again at some other point. Uh, you probably had to click the arrow next to the slider. I mean, let's take, just take a look at it now. So we wanted to merge onto this, right? And we needed to cl click the arrow next to the slider. Oh, okay. Got it. And this is this is why we we didn't want our pie thumbed. What did you get swayed for? Ban slavery in Brazil, bro, bro. Can't just sway offer. <sighs> They're gonna do that every play against us too, aren't they? Son of a bitch, dude. The problem is we can't back down to just them. We would love to acquiesce to just their giving up slavery. Like, there's nothing we would want more, but this is going to happen, like, 100% of the time, I think. Actually, we don't mind being humiliated. We could just back down to ban slavery. We really don't mind being humiliated. We kind of mind not being able to protect her at them. But this is actually pretty cheeky. We get our slavery banned super easy this way. Um, so... I mean, what do we do? Do we reload or do we just back down? We'll do a little bit of a... Little bit of a pole ski here. Or actually, the question is what do, huh? And then reload and back down are the two options. Reload, we just look for a different war, back down. Uh, with the idea that as soon as we pass banning slavery, um, actually, if we're going to back down, we do want to uh, find a way to increase grain price if we can first while we're mobilized. Looks like you guys are kind of feeling back down. Let's do this. Do 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 do. Court laws, so good. Looks like you guys are feeling back down, in which case... Oh, we can't promote the market liberal to government, though. No. No. What do we do? Fight? There's no way we're fighting the UK, and... Fight, he says. I guess we could try and protect it. Okay, maybe we fight. We could try and protect it. Be an Iron Man. We're not going to play this game in Iron Man. But we could try and fight and get all of these, because we don't mind being humiliated or banning slavery. Uh, but we do want the Protectorate. Maybe we try and fight? We get Protectorate and agreeing to ban slavery if you believe we can win, yeah. We could also just reload, and we could also just capitulate at any time, as long as they don't put in more war goals. Uh, although they will probably put in re return like the Amazonias or whatever that they that they like. Um, I think we do have a little bit of a problem now with these guys. So we'll import from the Russians because we need to increase trade volume with them. Let's take a look at their market too. Um, oh, they have a problem with that. Mm. I think, nope, we can't export that from them. Almost certainly what we're going to be able to export is going to be, like, coffee and stuff. Yeah. Actually, let's just take a look at our market and kind of get... Our market's, like, ugh, not normal looking, in the, at least initially. Oh, we got to fix our PMs and stuff. So, sugar and coffee. We couldn't export sugar to them. I guess not coffee. God, that sucks. Okay. Let's take a look at our PMs, though. Yikes.
And I think this is just in Rio de Janeiro, which doesn't have any. Kind of do want to be on Market Squares a little bit early, but. Whoa, we won't be able to. Well, okay, let's just get on to some stuff. And then. The one place where we actually want the logging camps to, like. I guess in Sao Paulo, we'll just put this on hardwood so we have, like, some hardwood production in the economy. Our corn laws is now procced, so we will get rid of all these corn grain trade routes. Oop. And we just have to keep the export prioritization, but now we can actually import it. So this is something we can import from Russia. Not very well. Because again, we're prioritizing export. And then... And so the question is, is how much is the UK going to mobilize? If the, if the answer is a whole lot, then there's nothing we can do about it. But... A modern conservative, an inspiration for the age. All right, we can end the corn laws. We can end the corn laws. Let's switch to import prioritization now. But the reason we did that is so we could get this gentleman here, who is a market liberal, who we would promote, who in three years we'll promote him to government. But we wanted the abolitionists to abolish slavery first. You're on speed three, maybe this is why it feels slow. That's fair. We can go speed four, but trying to interact with stuff. Can we look at the tier fours? Oh, that's right. They introduced a new tours, uh, a new PM. Let the grain trade begin. Get a little bit more loyalists here. I forgot. Machinized steel tools, which uses rubber. Okay, rubber steel, and it makes 50% more tools. That's a lot more tools. What tech do we need? Vulcanization? Bro. Vulcanization buff just dropped. Two discs. Machinized steel tools. I think we'll do that pretty early then. Alright, well they haven't mobilized shit. But I have the feeling that UK is going to pretty heavily mobilize here. So. We shall see. We don't have any war goals in on the UK. Um... I guess we can put in war reps on, uh, not the British, because if you put in war reps on someone, boy oh boy do they actually send way more troops. Yeah, here comes the mobilization. Dude, there's no way we beat this. Okay. Sucks that we generated a bunch of infamy, though. Kind of for nothing. Uh, we could just back down. I think we load. How did that pull? End, back down, reload. 61 votes. Mm. Is naval invasion still broken? No, it's not. But we just know that uh, the the UK is going to do this like every time. I love how. Please tell me the abolitionist. Yeah, the abolitionist author is the landowner leader. Hell oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> All right, I think we reload here. Is kind of the strat, but bro, we could just also just back down. And just start another war. I guess you guys voted back down, so maybe let's just back down. We'll import some silk uh, from Ching. Bro, it just feels so bad generating the infamy. We'll just back down. That's fine. Alright, we banned slavery. Mission accomplished. The matter of slavery solved. Oh, we're losing. We're going to a minor power? Bro. I think that's actually a good thing for us. Uh, five years it comes up, though. Um, we will want to. Alright, so we get some stuff. Onwards from Golden Age to a Gilded Age. We're going to get Landowner's Approval. Abolitionist Vanguards for five years. Big nice. Or, or we're getting that either way. So we're getting 50 Prestige or uh, Minus Radicals. And Minus Morale Loss. Okay, I think we're choosing this one. Oh, is this permanently? No, it's 20 years. Okay. Golden Law versus Golden Rose. Particu uh, 
uh, seemed untouchable. Now we've gotten rid of slavery. Man, it was so difficult for us. The end of an era. Our, <laughs> our relationships are plus by 80. Jesus, what the hell? Can you stop being antagonistic, though? Big nice. Okay, thanks. Bye. Alright, let's come into diplomacy. And, uh... Improve relations with Russia, specifically, is the one we really want to worry about. Uh, and then... I guess France is also going to be nice. Let's see if we can rival a few more little boyos. That we're maybe going to go after. Uh, as long as the UK is antagonistic, though, I don't think we want to start a fight against a recognized power. So let's take a look at uh, where our interests are and what we can maybe do. Man, North and South China. I guess we don't need this in interest right now. So let's let's go into Gaza, I guess. Uh, it, so the way naval invasions work kind of now is uh, you actually need a navy. Uh, and so, yeah. Take a state and then defend it. Fight, man. Have faith. Bro, there's no way we win that fight. Most popular man in the world. What's the point of rolling abolitionist landowner if you can just back down to it? Uh, we just rolled it to rolled it, my guy. We, like... So, if you want to hear my primary motivation for rolling the, uh, the landowner, is, uh, we just exiled him so I could make a joke about, like, rolling really well, and then we just rolled really well. So, I did it 100% for the joke, and then the joke became reality. And that's the answer to the question. We can just join their customs union straight up. Kind of a little bit tempting. How does this... I forget if we're inside the customs union, if we can ask to swap. I don't think we can ask to swap. I think we'll hold out for Russia. Russia would be much preferable. Uh, we do have some uh, stuff to Kang. So, we have this on auto-expand. We're going to continue to build up here. Oop, let's come in, and I think we have... Yeah, let's look at... Wow, Citrus Orchard is not going to be a big nice. All right, well, maybe we do it on the maize farms, though, and then we look to export, because we're going to import a whole bunch of grain anyways, uh, and then we can export the sugar and the fruit. So let's do that. Yeah, so now we get a ton of trade volume here, baby. And where's the sugar? Where's the sugar, the spice, and the everything nice? Where's the sugar? Okay, there's the sugar. Don't at me and tell me that it's alphabetized. The truth hurts. Alright. Could also just go after Argentina. No, no, no. We already decided, as long as these guys have... Well, now they're not negative attitude towards us. So now we actually can go after Argentina, man. Alright. Oh, except uh, we're a minor power, right? And they're a minor power? No, we're still major. Okay, we can't go after them. It's maybe a little bit more on theme. Let's go after La Plata. AI should meddle less if they have truce with you. I agree. The AI, like, really meddling a lot is kind of annoying. That could, of course, be abused. Is there any reason to move the market capital? Uh, not too much of a reason. There's, like, definitely a reason if, like, uh, if you were playing the UK and you wanted to move it to, like, landed, your, uh, like, Europe to reduce overall convoy cost, like, maybe it makes sense or something like this, but for the most part, not really. Alright, we'll take a save here. Cross your fingers. Everyone, here we go. We're going in for it. This full mobilization is probably too grossly unnecessary. Hopefully our pie doesn't get done though. We banned slavery, UK. Please leave us alone. Oh. We have a movement to enact laissez-faire. Big nice. That's gonna make the landowners pissed right now. I don't think we do it. I think we... Let's reform the government, maybe. What can we do, baby? 
Oh, nothing very good. Okay, uh, I think we get colonial exploitation now then, and I think we maybe look to spend this and increase construction. So let's... Really, these aren't yielding us a lot of money. Even if we increase this, it's not yielding us too much. We don't really want to tax liquor. But we can now add a couple more construction sectors, so let's do that. I understand that we're having a little bit of trouble with this, so let's do that. And, uh... We're just trying to not run a shortage. We're not trying to really, really decrease it in price, but we don't want to run a shortage. I guess maybe that's probably going to move it in the direction we do have these kind of auto-queuing. And we'll just have those coming up next, I think. Uh, we're just going to kick these to the bottom. We're going to cancel the fruit stuff. And do something that looks a little bit more like this. I think this will be okay. Industrial that left laissez-faire. No, terrible. And then we'll war up these guys as well. Can't sway in the UK to ban slavery. What's the what's the what's the deal with that? The new law? The new law? Wait, which new law is there? You have ten navy, mate. All we need is a boat and a dream. The AI is now less keen to get involved in plays when they have a truce with either primary participant. Pie's been thumbed. Tragic. Alright, what new law? I feel like I'm... What am I... Oh, the migration one? Yeah, we can take a look. I think it's just worse than resettlement. Because it just... Uh, this gives 50% migration attraction in unincorporated states. This gives 50%, uh, but only allows you to colonize in adjacent territories, states connected. So it's just strictly worse, but it gives you a bit of a better... Well, it's actually not strictly worse. So uh, you notice here, uh, the trade unions and the rural folk don't like this one, and the trade unions from rural folk are fine with this one. Um, in fact, this is endorsed by the rural folk, so there is a little bit of a point of difference in terms of IG approval, that frontier colonizations uh, can be better. Uh, but it only lets you colonize adjacent territories, so... Um, you know, there's definitely some downsides to these things. Alright, so now we will have a native interest down there. We'll go for South Africa, probably for Gaza. Down here, a little bit easier to get into than Zulu. And so we 100% could go in through Gaza. We maybe can't do Zulu, so I think we want to just do that. Still floating the... Um, yeah, we're still floating it for now. We'll see what happens. We got road maintenance down there. Let's take a look. Man, we want to get in your market so bad, brother. Uh, what are your things? Do you have... No. Unfortunately, they don't have... Um, so they're very likely... The reason we declared an interest over here, by the way is because they're very likely to annex uh, Circassia and Dagestan, or sorry, Circassia and the Caucasian inmate. And so when they do that, we're just going to join the war on their side uh, to kind of help them out. Well, not to help them out, uh, to make them like us more. We're just going to say no to those, please. Oh, thank you. They're already protective, though, so if we if we get the relations up, they, they should, you know, get the things. We just... Uh, is there a way to get a trade agreement with these guys? See, this is the what we if we had a trade agreement, which we would want to do if we if we had enough volume of trade, we could do a trade agreement. <sighs> hmm. Brother, problem is we can't really export that much stuff to them. Maybe we can tr arbitrage some of this out. Probably not too well. Okay. I think we also in Minas Gerais. Uh, Put glassworks in the back. Try and start getting this through. Are we out of labor? Someone asked about our labor. We, a while back. Yeah, we have 500,000 peasants. Yeah, we, and 1.5k unemployed. How's the game's performance lagging? Uh, we haven't played late enough in the game for that to be a bit of a concern. What's the difference in ship types? Yeah, we could take a look at the ship's... They, they might have updated this from the beta as well. So, um, so there's capital ships and uh, frigates. Um, these give more offensive defense, but consume more. Uh, looks like it's pretty 
straightforward that the capital ships are going to be a lot more pop efficient. However, um, I think the light ships are going to be better for gaining interests and uh, prestige would be my guess. Um, otherwise you would just build only capital ships, right? But these, this is the difference. We also haven't gotten to do any sort of Navy stuff yet, which the Navy stuff, uh, a lot of the implementation came, like, in this last leg of the, the thing, so we should be able to see, you know, quite a bit coming off of that. Or the, between 1.5.5 and 1.7, they made a bunch of stuff uh, work a lot better, allegedly, which we have not yet witnessed, which is something kind of keen on it, witnessing. Love the interface here being a lot better, but you can see total manpower is 10k, and so these will be a lot more manpower efficient. And considering that the the main price is not mana wars, but is instead paying the labor, I'm guessing that we uh, don't really... Here, sorry. I'm guessing that we will probably be more oriented towards going the heavy ships, but uh, not 100%. Let's make sure this doesn't kick us over. This would kick us over. Man, we just... We got a bunch of infamy for nothing. If you're doing a Brazil run, I guess don't declare in Peru, Bolivia initially because you're going to get a bunch of infamy for not really a whole lot. I mean, I guess we could just go... The problem is if we protect with them, it takes 20 years to get in on Transhall and Orania. I don't think we do this. I think we just chill out. The chilling hurts, though. Um, trusted Chilean writer. Let's zoom in on Chile for you. Writes... Hey, journalists, I'm just arriving. Does Chile and Argentina start with the new frontier colonization thing? I believe they do. Uh, and so I think that what this really adds, this new law adds, is uh, an ability. It's not really as much as a strategic choice as much as it's adding um, an ability to better represent. I think Japan starts with it, too. Um, better represent starting uh, positions. Max 50% capital ships, really? Okay, well then that would be a reason. Organization. Hmm. Maybe we also want to make one of these armies like actual half Lancers. Here, let's make sure all these guys are upgrading as well. They're regulars. Yeah, these guys are all line. Hmm. I guess we could also think about... Okay, we can do some of the really low infamy stuff that's pretty useful. So let's say uh, we're going to go after some of the, the these guys over here. That's going to be useful long term. Colonial exploitation, yay! We get it. Man, did we just high roll three in a row? Stream our RNG. Okay, so it's not yet been three years, but we're getting kind of close to the three year mark. Uh, so I think we just wait, because, here. What? Did they change the cooldown to five years? Bro, has it always been five years? I thought it was three. That sucks. Okay. Hmm. God, this is just so much more legitimate. I mean, these guys are super happy with this right now. I'm still, my head is reeling from the 20% migration attraction. I don't know how I feel about that. I think I kind of hate it. Okay, but we could definitely... Hmm. We're going to probably have to go land-based taxation at some point in time, which also sucks. That way we can jump back the other way. Cultural exclusion. Let's take a look. Cultural trait. Alright. Do we want to pass that as a result of our thing? We might want to pass that. So let's take a look. Primary culture is Brazilian. Lusophone. This has Portuguese, Brazilian, Sulista, Amazonic, Polisto, Afro-Brazilian. So we would lower discrimination... Because half our Brazilian does not have European heritage. Okay. So. We maybe do this right now. Are you indifferent because you're an abolitionist? 
No, you just... Alternatively, actually... We could try and get homesteading right now, because they don't give a shit. Can we get the rural folk in? God, this hurts my soul. We're so illegitimate. But we could just put them in and try and pass it. Man, that sucks. But that, like, that would be an easy homesteading. Right now these guys are super happy with us as well. They're plus 20. Which means we can do something they don't like very much. Kind of, uh, for free. We're not getting rid of the monarchy. Could go towards more universal suffrage here. It's always been five years. Oh man. If you can't fight the car outside, become the car. Oh man, our window's not even open. We should open the window. Who wants the car content? It's actually also gonna get ungodly hot in here. So let's, uh... Starting steps for Greece helped you get the game mechanics. I'm glad they were helpful. The, we will have to do a Greece run sometime in the near future. We want to do a Greece world of conquest, but performing Byzantium is what everyone wants. Abolitionist landowner is uh, the memes. You can, in theory, this is consistent though, you could keep doing it, but I think that just getting. Well, actually, they're not revving right now because they're a landowner. Normally, they'd be super pissed that we got enforced on, but they're not. I think we do want public schools. The problem is they want to have the exalted liberal party. Bro, this is just so... The legitimacy is hurts so bad, especially because we have, like, this weird modifier, the regency period. The minus 15 is, like, really hurting a lot, too. It's going to hurt a lot for passing laws, so actually we kind of do want to, like, think through each of our law passes, because we're not going to get too many through at a time. And I think we just kind of, uh... Maybe we spend that up. So I feel like this decision, like, actually kind of matters quite a bit. I think we do want cultural exclusion. Radicalizes the rural folk. Yeah, I think we do laissez-faire once we can get a market liberal landowner. Actually, maybe we go land-based taxation here. Because we have the landowners in power, they're relatively strong. This isn't going to cause a revolution. We need to go back to land-based tax- oh, Man, that's like such a freaking kick in the nuts in revenue though. But like, we have to do it eventually. <sighs> no, I don't think we want to do it right now. God, that sucks. Everything sucks. What do we do? We just cry? We kind of want schools. Man. We just can't, like, form a legitimate looking government. Maybe we just go dedicated police force. It's, like, fairly conservative, but these guys are super happy with us right now. Uh, we have... Well, it's just going to be the armed forces. What do we have movements for? We have a movement... We're not going to do either of those movements. What? Oh wait, no, yeah, okay, that guy's making sense. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we do dedicate police force. Looks like you guys want the window open for the... Do you see the Democrat ideology? I haven't seen it yet, no. Let's get the car concept. It's also gonna get ungodly hot in here, so I'm glad that one won. How do we get slavery banned so quick? We backed down <laughs> when the UK joined to ban slavery, which I think is gonna be incredibly consistent. Do we see the Japan buff? Yes, but we haven't taken a close look at it. What do you need land-based taxation for? So, um, people will support the transition from land-based taxation to proportional taxation, but they won't support the change from per capita to proportional, except for the trade unions. So we have to go land-based taxation so that we can get proportional taxation. Um, so, but I think we want to do this as our next law pass. I think we're gonna go. I mean, we have the armed forces in right now. I think we passed something that they support. Because this is currently like the only semi legitimate government. And so I think we'd go for dedicated police. <sighs> Which doesn't feel very good. Like as a pass, but whatever, I guess. And we have another three years and some car content. Oh, there we go. There's the first one. 
agitators. Would you like the desp uh, despotic utopian ideology? It looks strong. I wish we could pull it up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can take a look at it. Uh, they endorse technocracy, oligarchy, autocracy, and single-party state. And I think that your landowners supporting technocracy is really good at game start. I think you just transition to technocracy, which allows you to get the trade unions demarginalized, and then you transfer to voting or something. Oh, uh, well. Oh, uh, well, either way, we could, st we could still look at it. Uh, the thing I don't like is they strongly oppose guaranteed libs. Uh, but they also like total separation, and they also endorse do 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 multiculturalism. So uh, there's not a lot to the fact that Paraguay can very easily go multiculturalism is actually quite interesting. Um, it's also funny that they endorse you know isolationism. So maybe overall it's like kind of grim, but Russia's gonna be declaring a new war soon. Please, oh wow, they really upped the, the aggression towards the, they said that in the patch notes they upped the aggression towards Central Central Asia. It was just kind of, they went for that instead of these guys first, which is a bit of a change in terms of what things. Came for the generalist stream, stayed for the car content, you know it. Dedicated police will tax your, will tank your tax? What do you mean? What are you talking about? What modifier is affecting tax here between these two? We're already on local police. We're already paying for an institution. I mean, relative to no institution, I agree, but the, we're not, that's not the soup we're swimming in. We're swimming in local police force right now. And we just get a lucky bass after we whinge about having to spend forever to pass laws. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah. The, the, I assume the bing 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 is finally getting to the multiculturalism point, but yeah, this is, uh, we're just going to keep expanding this pretty aggressively here. We're going to look to get it to level 11. My kingdom for stock exchange, we're almost done baby. Argentina declared a rivalry, that's rude. We actually probably want to rival up a little bit more aggressively here, just so that, uh, Portugal, probably. And I guess we could tolerate New Granada. And the reason for this is that... Well, actually, we can even push into New Granada in the near future. The reason is, uh, by floating this excess, we get a little bit more infamy decay, which is probably better than not running it. Um, we are cordial with, uh... Yeah. But this does mean we are not going to be playing nice with these guys, I guess. And so I guess we maybe go for a kind of united thing. Administrative costs? Yeah, but the we're, we're paying the administrative costs either way, is the problem. Uh, we're paying it for b basic police. I mean, I, I, unless your argument is we should go no police, which, which maybe makes sense, but we can't pass it very easily. But no police would uh, refund a whole bunch of admin, but we're already... We're all, I mean, by the time you've probably, there's like a one minute lag. So like the the fact that I just talked about how we're already paying for this institution anyways, you probably like are just getting it now. And so the truth hurts. All right, never interrupt someone when they're making a mistake. We also don't really care if the landowners gain a bunch of clout right now because we're going to be using them to pass laws that we really like with this uh, market liberal guy unless he dies at the ripe young age of 40 whatever. Which he probably will, because this is, we always low roll that. Dedicated police is technically worse for tax on levels less than four. Are you, uh, if you're talking about on a per reduction in state penalties of turmoil basis, yes. But we consider, like, uh, this also has the standard of living decreases, right? And then also... Uh, we kind of don't like the modifier for plus landowner political strength in the long term. And we're just mainly thinking that this is a useful law for us to pass right now. So now we can also roll market liberal characters, market liberal characters, rolling them normally. We got ours through the corn law. You need stock exchange and demarginalized uh, uh, industrialists in order to do it, but we're doing it right now, or we have one right now anyways. But uh, that's going to be... This is 
this is the absolute tier one tech. This is the best tech in the game now, in terms of if you don't start with it at game start and you're not playing Ching, this is the first tech you research with everyone. Are we really illegitimate? Bro, what the fuck? Oh, but this is actually semi-legitimate. Okay, we can live with this. I mean, we would rather be passing a school thing right now. A little tempting to reduce taxes two notches. Oh man. If actually if we don't get a good tick here, we're gonna reduce taxes. Or we're gonna So it's tempting to reduce taxes here, that way we get above the 50% legitimacy mark, so we can pass laws faster, because we have a lot of laws we want to pass. Uh oh, man, we already got a little bit here though. It sucks to like cancel it. We really do Oh, this is great. Okay, this is perfect. This is, like, the exact type of... We're going to stick on this. I think we reduce taxes a little bit, and we just, like, suffer running a, a negative balance. I think we're going to add a construction sector anyways, though. And then we're going to add this. Add ceramics. And then uh, that just finished, so we're going to switch on to market squares here. Which will actually wait what oh it didn't finish the truth hurts let's do that the party favorites that guy is getting so popular what's his popularity this is the most popular <laughs> everyone loves everyone loves the abolitionist landowner <laughs> looking a little blurry there. Are we still looking blurry? Let's take a look at our OBS. Uh, it looks like it's back to non-blurry. Dedicated police force costs more... Dedicated police force costs more bureaucracy than the local police force? Correct me if you're wrong. This is news to me. I, of course, don't know everything about the game, but I'm not aware of this. As far as I know, every institution costs identical. Plus, minus 15 legitimacy, yeah. Stupid event. Unholy coalition in power. Lazy fair. Let's just keep this running. Playing alongside, France seems to be bankrolling me. They started out bankrolling us, and then they stopped. They decided they didn't want to do that anymore. And to be honest, I can't blame them. Yeah, oh, we can raise taxes again. Hell yeah, brother, let's do it. Yeah, we definitely want to keep, uh... Yeah, so we're going to add more and more construction. I think we're going to add this in the back, though. Oh, are we having employment problems? Okay, let's just double check. Okay, we still have 70k peasants here. We have a shortage of this now. Let's import it from the British. And... This is starting to employ up. Which is going to be very nice for us. I'm not sure we have enough glass demands, so we maybe need to start thinking about where we're going to build second. We would want it to build in Para, but I think they have a lot of... Oh, actually, they don't have a lot of turmoil. Okay, so Para is going to be the next place we want to build in. And so, knowing that we want to build in here next, we're going to turn on... Oop, not the gas streetlights. We're going to turn on the market squares. And we're going to do this. Put it on auto-expand. And then, I think we come in... Wow, do we really just have... I guess this is maybe the best state for us to build coal in, but... We're going to put that on auto-expand and start getting the coal running. Wow, we just, like, high roll a lot of stuff. I guess we're okay with these guys having a lot of power because we're going to pass laissez-faire in a hot second, so this is going to be uh, the temporary clout having a lot on um, the landowners is going to be beneficial for us. When they retired twice, they got replaced by another protectionist. Show to the new Peruvian countries. What do you mean by show? I'm not going to swap to them because I do want to get an achievement this round. If that was the question. But we do have southern Peru. These guys. And northern Peru. Democratic solidarity. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. 
So I don't think we mind them having that for five years. We obviously don't want that long term, but in the relatively short term, we are going to be using them for laissez-faire and such. And so them being powerful is not too bad. Also, 20% migration attraction on our landowners. Our intelligentsia is the worst. All right, let's see. Should we just settle for the UK? Russia's so much better to be in the customs union is the problem. We have to somehow get to the point where we can... What's expensive for you guys? Iron is expensive. We just have to massively increase iron output. Are we really... Yeah. The truth hurts. We really need railroads. God, this sucks. Alright, we gotta stop building here. We're actually gonna cancel this, I think. Alright, let's do this. I definitely overbuilt there a little bit. I, th I thought we were going to have more uh, more ability to build there. That sucks. Alright, and we'll also put a tooling workshop here. We're also, we're also already encouraging road maintenance, and so there's not a whole lot we can do. And we're, I mean, we're going for railroads as kind of as fast as we can. Oh, we're just going to let Lay's Nats spread to us, actually. Uh, I think these guys crush in the election. And that's a pretty good event to roll. Yeah, these guys... The landowners have so much clout. Which is kind of okay for us right now. Because they... <laughs> yeah. We still have a rivalry. Don't have a truce. Let's take a look here. All right, okay, we wanted to do some Arabia stuff, so let's do some Arabia stuff. It's basically gonna be, we like subjugate Bahrain and stuff like this. We're just making sure our pie doesn't get thumbed, but um, And we're gonna add a couple war goals just so that they're more likely to back down. What are the cultures? Bro, Palea, I didn't see the cultures comment. South Andean, South Andean, primary cultures. Quecha, which is uh, indigenous American heritage and indigenous South American heritage. And South Andean. In your opinion, how does local price uh, change impact minor powers that who do not have rainbow states? It's crashing a little bit, kind of, yeah. War mongering playstyle became much harder in the new version. In what way is it much harder? Do you think? Like right now in one point five point seven, uh, needs to be one point five point five. How's migration in one point five? We uh, they rolled it back to like one point four status, so it's kind of just very similar to how it was before. Man, we're just getting all the positive events. I mean, eventually we'll get dedicated police. <sighs> Why go for Arabia? Because we don't want to get a bunch of infamy. We want to annex Gaza. We're doing low infamy plays. Because we want to go after Peru, Bolivia in a little bit when the truce is up. 30 months. And so we need to be under a certain level if we want to have hopes of joining Russia's market. You always thought lo local police was a modified divorce from institutions? No, it's an institution. All right, we'll take a save and do the same to Nezd. And these guys, uh, we also, in general, annexing is going to be a lot. Oh, I see. I think I see. Understand what you mean by the expansionist thing. So yeah, and now if you're protectorating. Versus dominioning. Dominioning and then annexing used to take six or seven years, right? 
because the Dominion War and then the Annex War and then you'd have it. And now you need to protect it and then re reduce autonomy five years, reduce autonomy five years, reduce autonomy, uh, and then Annex. And so it takes like 22 years versus six years to like fully Annex stuff unless you just conquer state. Uh, and so, yeah, the truth hurts. Okay, dedicated police. Big nice. Uh, it's just kind of a convenient one to be passing right now. Uh, I think that we are almost to the point where we can promote this guy to Gov, right? 19 months. We think we can pass a different law in 19 months? <sighs> or are we supposed to just... No, I think we go for schools here. Uh, yeah, we have a 30% like endorsement currently. Or... What? Wait. Are they intelligentsia and not in Gov? Yeah, they're not in Gov. Okay. Yeah. Alright, never mind. Native uprising in Japan. You love to see it. Japan starts out with the colonization new laws, so you, as you can see, they actually are kind of getting everything. Oh, we can't ask to join their custom- Oh no, we made a mistake. Fuck, man. God damn it. I hate that so much, dude. So if you- if you- if you have someone as a subject, you cannot ask to join a customs union. I'm actually gonna leave feedback for this on, to, uh, on the Discord today, because it's really annoying. You can join a customs union in terms of the mechanics. You can get invited to a customs union, but you cannot ask to join the customs union if you make a subject. And we made a subject in Argentina and another one in uh, Bahrain. And if we didn't have the Argentinian one, we would actually probably just release Bahrain and join. But, like, it's so asinine because the game mechanics let you be in someone's customs union with subjects, but they don't let you use the interaction to join. And so... Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know, I, this is, this annoys me a lot. It would annoy me so much less if I just couldn't do it. So now we just gotta wait for them to invite us to the customs union, one of these guys. <sighs> My blood pressure is rising. So. They sometimes reduce autonomy without a war. Yeah, the it's not the as much as the wars as the time to annex is like way longer. I think we once we get laissez faire, we'll probably not be floating this anymore. But Nez backs down as well. Oh, man, that sucks. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, if we go after Gaza, we will have a little over twenty infamy. So I don't think we want to do that yet because we do want to go after Bolivia. So I think we're going to go after uh, Brunei, and I think we're going to uh, protectorate them as well. The ship has sailed. Well, you've done that multiple times, uh, as Brazil multiple times. I mean, I think you mean as, like, various countries, but yeah. Wait, didn't we get extra enactment chance? The fuck? Did I misread that? I thought I read plus 15% enactment chance. Maybe it was speed? Okay, that's fair. I guess if it was speed, you got us. But yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, uh, it's obviously, it's obviously just the game's not operating as intended, because the, there's a lot of strange things that, uh, happen as a result of, like, um, so customs unions being considered a subject, but it's really not a t same type of subject, um, so... But yeah, I mean, we're just gonna go. It's nice that these guys are also backing down. I guess, what are, I wonder what we can even sway for. Probably become protectorate of the UK. I mean, maybe we try and become protectorate of Russia. We don't hate being protectorate too much. I mean, like, long term it's not ideal, but whatever. Brit market rules? The British market's okay. We're, we mainly want to siphon off pops, so... Thank you for the feedback, channels. We've decided to remove the ability to invite nations with protectors to the Customs Union for AI. I actually would prefer this. I would prefer the consistency. 
over, you know, like, uh, yeah, I would rather have a system that's, um, more consistent than, like, uh, one where it, it like, it, it, the, I would be fine with them saying, like, you, ca you just can't join, you can't get invited. But the, this current state of affairs just hurts my soul. Are the cultural communities still in? They are not part of the game anymore. I think it was in here, and they're no longer here. They decided to roll that back. 1.5.5 was a little too was a little too spicy. I I imagine that people would like be really mad about it. Just hopping into the stream right now is 1.5 great, or should you wait for hotfix advice? We have not crashed once, so it seems relatively stable. Um. We will also be going for, I think, either 10 hours today, or if we dip under 100 viewers, whichever comes uh, second. No, wait. Whichever comes first. Yeah, that's the one. It was kind of the current plan for today. So these guys, what's our truce with these guys? 22 months, okay. We're working on public schools. We can maybe chill out. Is there other people we really want to subjugate, though? I mean, these all these uh, Bornean countries are just really good, generally. To go after Sulawesi is maybe reasonable. I think we just chill out. Oh, we could go for Congo. Congo probably makes sense. We're actually not colonizing right now, because we're dumb. We just make the institution and then we don't use it. Rip the dream. It's actually a pretty big miss. Trying to trying to talk to chat, so I always play so much worse when I'm streaming. And then I get really self-conscious about it. But then we get the streamer luck, so it doesn't matter. Uh I wouldn't be surprised if they make cultural communities work uh for release I wouldn't be surprised if they couldn't make it work for a release of 1.5. It'll be in 1.6, I imagine. Yeah. Do we ever get uh, a great company involved yet? A great company involved? Oh, we didn't even look at the companies. So begins his reign. We lose the Regency period. Hell yeah, brother. Journal entries advanced, and we get charismatic. Hell yeah, brother. But let's take a look at some of the companies, because we didn't take a look at any of the rebalances, because I'm certain these are rebalanced. Wait, what? Oh, now we just can't categorically cannot look at other companies that are not available. Okay. I see you, I guess. Wow, this got a buff. Whatever this was from is La Plata. Tooling workshops and rural folk pop attractions. Interesting. Maximum infrastructure from tooling workshops throughput. Oh man, this is also significantly better. Is Brazil paper buildings over level 11 and we have mechanical tools? That's kind of hot. Tooling workshops throughput on a wood company? Bro, all right, we'll, we'll scroll through these. I mean, this looks better too. The Sao Paulo Rail Company land trade capacity. Convoys is nice. Arms Industries throughput is not very useful. Uh, there's munitions, but I mean, iron is really is one of the best things to have a company on. And then we have what looks like generic. Uh, but some of the generic companies got nerfed. My understanding is the steel company got nerfed. Calling me growth speed here. I think that was, might have been what it was before. This looks the same. Generic wood. Migration, this is the same, this is the same. This is the same, I think. This is the same. Same. 10% bureaucracy, I think, is new. Same, I think same. And this is now 5% state construction efficiency. I still think it's probably one of the better companies, but this is definitely a huge nerf because this is this is what it was at. Uh, you were or I was doing this almost every single run just for the construction efficiency. Might not be doing that anymore. And we see potential companies. This company is still very strong. Comes off this state. Uh, 
Kaiping Mining Company. Still good. Looks good. Yeah, it looks like they didn't change a lot of these very much. This is new, though. Wow, a ton of lead mine through, but where is this even? Potosi? Just like 30% lead mine throughput. Alright, I see you. 5% weed. Hold the pump, the brakes. 5% and uh, infrastructure with no cap? Bro, where is this at? Lima? That seems... That seems pretty good. Where exactly is Lima? I know it's in South America. Okay. <laughs> Peru Bolivia has the best companies in the game. Maybe now. <laughs> so, Pedro the Reformer already reformed out of slavery before he grew up. Long may he reign. <laughs> so good. We could uh, reduce taxes two notches to get into the 75% tier, but I think we want to keep the taxes where they're at, given we're losing money and running a deficit already. Um, I mean, we could add, we could start to add in consumption taxes as well. I think we like the, the speed, but let's actually, let's add in one. Tobacco, yeah, because this isn't negatively affecting the speed. I think the second one will, though. Yeah, so let's do this. It's kind of our new thing. We don't want to ta tax alcohol because we don't like to tax the poor people as much. Rip seating Han. Yeah, Generalist the Gardener. Oh, baby. Okay, so proposal for Customs Union. We're just going to accept. Um, we want to siphon off pops. This is good. It's not as good as the Russian market, but bro, there's no way that we would just wait for the Russian market. So we're gonna click accept, and they're now we're in their customs union. We're running a transportation shortage, except it's not us, it's them. Um, and big nice. Oh, we could even form an alliance by giving them an obligation. What can they, how can they screw us with an obligation? I don't think they can. So maybe, but maybe we just hold out on forming that alliance and don't do it just yet. But this is gonna be hugely nice for us it's going to be the biggest of nices um we will have generally more normalized prices of course the benefits of being in a customs union are a lot diminished um by market access or by mappy or like local prices but this is okay um it's not the biggest deal time to pass presidential republic so the people in chat can scream all the brazilians in chat not really Leave my balls. Yeah, the truth hurts. Plus 10 land capacity is actually wonderful and mappy buff in combo with its uh, railway company, not to mention it uses military production. Peru. Yeah, Peru's gonna, Peru's gonna be in trouble. Isn't tobacco consumed as well as alcohol? Tobacco is consumed as well as alcohol, but... Um, tobacco, we actually want to depress the consumption of, but it is consumed by lower strata at a pretty high rate as well. Not quite as much as alcohol. So alcohol in general will be, or well, here it's not, but in general alcohol will be um, more consumed. I guess since we're producing a lot of tobacco, the consumption is going to be on, it's going to be a lot higher, but tobacco is actually like an inferior good. You really don't like the production of tobacco anyways. And so if you... But uh, substitute goods don't work how they should work. So the way that it should work is that the substitute good gets more expensive, then you should decrease consumption of it. But that's not how it works in the game. So you might be right. And normally we try and avoid taxing tobacco, but it is more like it is one of the better looking ones. But we'll probably pull off of that. But the way substitution should work is if tobacco is more expensive, people should consume less of it. And in my head, that's like the way I thought it through, but that's not how it works in game. It's it's actually, like, terrible how substitute goods work. It also is terrible that they use the word substitution, because substitution has, like, an economic meaning that is not, like, born through in terms of game mechanics. We'll switch to luxury clothing instead. <sighs> Big sad. Alright, uh, let's do this. We really need railroads up at this pitch, though. Uh, but what we can do now is we can turn on, in the urban center, we can turn on gas streetlights. We can actually turn on, like, all the PMs. So let's, uh... Which is going to uh, 
I mean, we built coal to be able to do this. We still have a problem here, obviously, but it's not as big of a problem, or it won't be. So let's make sure all of our PMs are the latest and greatest. So we're gonna go market squares everywhere and gas street lights everywhere. Big nice. Sheep branch, yep. All right, I think that's good. So, I don't even remember what the poll was. Was the poll about cars? Yay, we got public schools. And we should be about at the point where we can promote to Gav our guy. I think we're, <gasps> no! Not like this. Oh, dude, come on. Why do they have to die in fucking five years every time? Bro. Is that just like... Why is it that the freaking those dudes just die? Our market liberal landowner died. This is what I'm reacting to if you haven't been here. We had a market liberal la uh, landowner agitator that we were going to promote to Gov and use, and that we got through the court laws, and we were going to use them to pass laissez-faire and then be like, wow, we're so good at the game, look at us, and now we can't do any of that. Fuck, dude. <sighs> just times like these I don't feel very handsome. Terrible. I mean, we're still gonna go for laissez-faire here anyways, but we're just like, really, like our soul hurts. Bro. Dude, that sucks so hard, man. We've even been like, taking events to like, increase these guys' cloud off the back of it. I'm muted? I don't think I'm muted. Terrible. Test. My OBS says you're trolling me. I might have to time people out who say my audio is bad when it's not. Because it does slow down the stuff. Streamer life, basically. Choked on the popcorn. You win some, you lose some. That's fair. Coin addiction, second time in a week. Uh, it feels like almost every time. Uh, like, it really crushed... Yeah, I mean, it's crushed a lot of things. God, that sucks. I mean, man, that sucks pretty hard. Protectionist landowners always die in December. I think it's a hard-coded tick. Interesting. The window is open. We open the window. He's not muted. Chat is trolling. You aren't muted? You're not? All right, chat. Do we ban him? Do we bop the person who said I was muted? Chat will decide your fate. The council of chat will decide the fate of Rafi Raphael. <laughs> was it was it worth it for him, chat? Was it funny for me to go, oh, am I muted? <laughs> was it funny enough? I mean, it was funny. <laughs> I've watched a stream before, it's funny, mildly, when the, the streamer's like, Oh no, I'm muted, terrible! And then they tear their hair out. I have no more hair to tear. Alright, let's take a look, though. It's not looking very good for you, Raphael. Alright, time to banish you to the Shadow Realm. Put user in timeout, we're just gonna time you out. <laughs> Uh, chat decides your fate. We're democracy. Exile the agitator. There we go. <laughs> Did chat ever vote against banning someone? I don't think so. Chat always chooses violence. <laughs> chat loves to see it. So in, in some sense, asking for the chat to vote is performative, but in, like if chat didn't want to ban him <laughs> or time him out, I would 100% go with that. So it's not like entirely like performative, like in the sense that I'm asking a question I already know the answer to. 
Because if, if the answer was otherwise, then I would I would do otherwise. So, yeah, blood is for the blood god. Yes, a game with a uh, general was taking Beijing is impossible. We've actually done several. It's a lot harder because now it's a lot harder because Qing will actually, if they get access to well, actually they're not going to join Russia's market. But if they get access to small arms, they actually turn on PMs. And if they use a lot of the horse PMs, they'll also just be a lot stronger as well. Your auto queue sure loves you making boats. They do love the boats. Boats and hoes. I managed to convince one of my friends, if he ever becomes super rich, he has to open up a... a <laughs> A strip club slash, uh, what is it? I don't even know the word for it. The places that sell, like, boats and, like, the small yachts or whatever. It has to be a strip club slash that, and he has to title it Boats and Hoes. He also, like, it, it looks reasonable that he would make a lot of money. Uh, although not especially likely, but enough that I got him to promise it. And if he ever makes a ton of money, I'm going to bother him about it. How do you feel about the Qing War uh, rep cheesing? Are you talking about where you, like... I'm not even sure if it's possible anymore, but... Um, are you talking about, uh, like, where you gimmicky land on Formosa and then you enforce war reps? What happened to Peru? Bro, this is the new Peru. It's been, it's been given some more liquid flavor. Let's check our infamy. Alright, I think we can just decay down here. I think we're okay just ro running that gamut. Can we just get lucky ticks? We've gotten lucky ticks on our law passes so far. Watch us just absolutely wall splat on laissez-faire. There we go. The truth hurts. Did we open the window? We did open the window. We just haven't uh, gotten a lot of cards yet. It's definitely louder, much louder on the afternoon and the weekend. But immediate wall splat on laissez-faire attempts. We're going to stick with it, but we get the minus 15% clout uh, tick event immediately. Oh, boy. The negative construction efficiency, actually, maybe we shouldn't even be trying to build here. We probably shouldn't. I just get debated by the th Iron Mines building throughput, but we probably shouldn't build here. Is France bankrolling us? The frick? Is that what that said? Bro, why are you bankrolling us? I mean, we're okay with it, but why? God. We just, like... Just want to show off the new companies to my chat. And then RNG is like, no. The market liberal landowner? Dead. Alright, we're definitely going railways, like, as fast as possible, so we'll put that in there. God, the truth hurts so much right now. The market liberal landowner dies, I mean... In theory, when we noticed we died, we could have re-rolled, or I mean, we could have reloaded, but instead we're stuck with this abolitionist guy who's only gonna be kind of happy with us for a little bit longer, so we, like, actually need laissez-faire to go good, otherwise we're gonna be, like, stuck in hell forever. And it's not going good. Alright. Okay, so we can't get any transfer states off these guys, which was kind of an unbalanced version of 1.5. I guess we also... Here, let's move around our interests a little bit, because we don't necessarily want the Caucasus thing anymore. And then... We can want to establish a colony here, and then... I guess maybe let's go for Congo. We'll save and just protect her at them. Cause uh you give them the slow one. So a mobile nightclub, no sharks with lasers on their heads? For shame. No, it's a it's a place that sells it's a uh it's a strip club that sells boats. Yes. Yeah, the Formosa cheese. Yeah, we usually don't do that. Because, I mean, I, I... If we can't... Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes we do some weird stuff. But then, like, chat 
or people generally don't aren't necessarily huge fans of the cheese so we try not to like mono cheese stuff you know or right, let's see what these guys want we're not gonna transfer Bahrain come on my guy but will you take banned slavery Oop, we don't want to not yeah no you won't take just banning the slavery in the Congo but we will Pedro demands the banning of slavery at all times everywhere Desperate allies. Alright, it's nice that we get, like, a decent tick here. We're just gonna ignore what they're saying. You mean Peru? Peru's? Yeah. 5%, basically. I'm happy we got a decent tick. We're actually more likely to get negative ticks, by the way, when we have opposition in government, so it's not, like, uh, pure, just, like, generalist gets unlucky. So are you prepared to commit the War of the Triple Alliance and genocide in Paraguay? What? <laughs> I'm not that familiar with the history of South America. As an American, we only know Roman history and American history. I actually don't even know Roman history that well. What is migration looking like on full release? Let's take a look on how, how things are going. We are now in uh, UK's market, and we're getting a little bit of migrants, uh, and they're coming from Knott. Yeah, so they're coming from the places. Uh, overall, uh, definitely slower than 1.5.5. 1.5.5, we would be getting half a million Tamil pops right now, but we're not. So it's uh, a little bit different. Why two interests for China? Yeah, we can get rid of those. Well, actually, so... The reason we have the two interests in China is, uh, so they have a trade agreement with the UK, so something went horribly wrong here. Um, so I guess we're going to ditch them. But the reason two interests in China is we want to piggyback on a war that the UK declares at GameStart, and they can declare it, they can declare it in North China, South China, and Manchuria. Generally, they don't declare them in Manchuria very often. Uh, and so we were hoping to have an interest already declared there when they declared a war. But seeing as they have a trade agreement, uh, it's really unlikely. So we're just going to do this. And we're going to put that in Gran Colombia. Up there. Which one of these has more Lancers? This guy does. So we'll mobilize him. But that's... Hmm. That is the reason. Maybe France will pull us into their customs union with a bankroll. Bro, that would feel so dirty. The AI currently doesn't do this, and I would I would actually kind of... It'd be super cool if they did. Alright. Okay, so this button looks different. We're going to plan a naval invasion. We're going to plan it here. We're going to use this armada. Okay. We're going to have some negative efficiency. Oh, these lines look so much better. Oh, look at the progress. Oh, the user interface looks so much better. When oh, they just meet up here. Are you going to wait here for your boy? Or are you just going to go? No, you're just going to go. Okay, fair enough. First little bit of a navy thing we're doing here. <sighs> Paradox actually updating South America. We actually have... Let's see how many Brazilians we have in chat. Because I know I have a lot of viewers. Maybe I should also update the thing that we're playing Brazil. So let's update this and say we're playing Brazil. But I actually have a surprisingly enough... I was shocked to find out how much Brazil viewership I have. And they're panicked retreating. Nice. Backroom dealings opposed. <sighs> Alright, we're going to take that. Oh, nothing's being constructed. Wow. Ugh. Okay. Let's build some stuff at the capital, I suppose. Let's actually build a couple universities. This is the capital, right? Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure. Maybe we don't even want this place as our capital, but we're kind of... This is the soup we're in now. Wait, where is... Oh, I forgot they moved them down here, which I think they're better down here anyways.
Let's actually delete any that aren't in the capital, though. Maybe. Kind of expensive. I guess maybe we'll keep... Yeah, well, it's fine. Our qualifications are a little bit more of a problem in this patch than previous. Ugh, but then we see this. Then we get the bad news. Alright, just kidding. We'll just build one. Then we'll build the logging camp in the capital and put it on auto-expand. And... Put it on focused hardwood, and then put this on auto expand, something like this maybe. Oop, I thought I made a pull. Oh, okay. For the Brazilians in chat. Well, we do see a bunch of chatters mentioning that they are Brazilian. We see some yeps, I'm Brazilian. And so, like, um, I think, uh... My understanding is, uh, when... Yeah, I... I... Hmm. Like, uh, my understanding is that South America, like, uh, can play... A lot of the countries in South America, particularly Argentina because of reasons, um, like, uh, are particularly sensitive to, like, local prices on Steam games, and so some Steam games get wildly popular if the... You know, they actually have, like, uh, appropriate pricing relative to like wh how much people have money people have available to them uh, also relative to exchange rates and like this type of thing so we see a quarter of the people respondents right now uh, you know are saying they're Brazilian which is like a pretty high percentage although to be fair I think the Brazilians are more likely to respond to that poll how do you trigger a corn laws as Austria it's only 19% of game start export grain to everyone uh, you can so just come in here just go find grain go new export route and click all of these even if they're not profitable and then as soon as you trigger corn laws just get rid of all the trades greetings from Brazil come to Brazil it's nice there's a lot of cultural exchanges between America and Brazil on, on an official basis Homeboy asked the Austria question twice. The truth hurts. But, mm, I don't think we want to do this rev, dude. Bro, just let us, let us get Lazy Hall. Ah. Maybe we just get an alliance and then force the rev. Okay. I think we just get an alliance and then force the rev, to be honest. TBH. Yep, okay. Alright. Let's just do this while we can. They probably defend us anyways, but now they are even more likely to defend us. Although, the AI is super psychotic, so the truth hurts. But we'll try and go for laissez-faire here. And let's check our legitimacy. This is the best we can do. God, it is. They are in alliance with us now. These guys getting forced on. Do we have time to do this? For how long? 11 weeks? Okay, I think we're gonna... So it's... Would it be crazy? Would it be on a lie to side to go for Bolivia right now when we're about to have a civil war? Might be on a lie to side. We're also losing a bunch of money. I think we're actually going to delete a construction sector here, because we're losing- Oh my god, we can't because the rev. Tragic. The truth hurts. Everything hurts, to be honest. Our landowner dying, our market liberal guy dying, it actually hurts the most. You know, you ever heard the song, What Hurts the Most, was being so close, etc. Having so much to say, etc. No, what hurts the most is the landowner, market liberal dying. That is, in fact, what hurts the most. It was not being so close. And having so much to say, etc. Mostly, etc. I think at least that's, uh... I think it has a high Brazilian player base as well. Hmm, okay. Well, it looks like this is actually going to pop pretty soon here. So we're actually not going to start the Peru-Bolivia War until afterwards, I think. It's not going about 20%. You did all the export routes, by the way, from your from Austria, a small country now. It is a small country now. Uh, yeah, it, I don't think Corn Laws is triggerable on everyone. Uh, you can try 
you want to make sure you have all your troops mobilized because mobilization does in fact use supplies now uh they do use great input and you could just uh activate create an enormous amount just max out conscripts on everything and then activate them and see if that does it that might do it Paraguay feels so good, bad right now. Ruler and Intelligentsia have fine ideology, but I can't pass anything because of minus 40% enactment chance. Homeboy wanted to the free multiculturalism, but he didn't... If you don't... If you can't handle me at my minus 40% enactment chance, you don't deserve me at my free uh, my free multiculturalism. Okay? <laughs> I think you need to learn Portuguese uh, and just become a Brazilian channel. There are some Brazilian, like, uh... Channels for specifically, uh, sorry, for specifically, there was some Brazilian specific channels for Victoria 3. I think I cross promoed one once. Atmospheric engine pops immediately. It's kind of unfortunate. We would have rather gotten that for the other thing. Alright, so normally we always choose the middle one, but we're actually going to read this now. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to just... We're going to pop this Civil War faster, baby. I think. There was a streamer who was a Blizzard dev and he had a post about reducing game price in Brazil by 50% eliminated piracy and made Brazil a big share of revenue related to game sales. I have saw that exact same short. That guy's popping off. Although it's really hard to see, tell what's popping off in the abstract because, like, um, anytime you're consuming media, you're in your own personal, like, echo chamber. And so, like, you know, like, um, the curated feed you get is not the curated feed everyone else gets, and so someone seemingly being popular does not necessarily actually mean they're popular, but I, th I saw the exact same thing, and that's what I was thinking about when I was starting to talk, and then I realized I didn't really know what I was talking about, and I wasn't actually sure if that was widespread, and if that was the case with Paradox, and if Paradox had particular pricing uh, relative to Brazil that would make uh, Brazilian consumption of their games be higher, and then I stopped talking about it, yeah. 10k people playing Victoria 3 right now. That is a huge jump. Yeah. Uh, hey, we get ourselves a rep. Okay. I think we will just... Mm, I mean, I... I guess we should have saved before this, because it's going to, like, crush the run, I think. Uh, <laughs> if uh, the UK doesn't help us. Oh, looks like tons of people want to help us. And everywhere is isolated. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to take my cat to the vet yesterday. And the cat really hates going to the vet. They were very sad. I was apologizing to the cat a bunch. I was like, sorry, baby. The landowners, once a great potential threat to the monarchy under uh, Emperor Pedro, have been marginalized. This is sur surely a positive oh, no. omen. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Unfortunately, they got most of the army. But UK just sides with us raw dog. I think we just uh, lean back and enjoy the show here. Uh, we might actually want to delete some amount of construction sectors, but all the construction sectors are in them. So. I think we'll, the industrialists will create, extend an open hand here. We already have a decent amount of enactment chance, and so increasing industrial cloud is going to be nice. Can we make a more legitimate government? Not really. Okay, fair enough. But we're at 86, so we could reduce taxes one notch and get above 90, which is going to make this absolutely fly in enactment speed. I say as it's not really flying that fast, but... Um, Higher or lower mappy, good. I still don't understand the market uh, stuff. Higher mappy is good. Everyone uses the word mappy to refer to local prices having an effect. Also, local prices kind of refers to the word, the word local prices refers to two things now. It refers to the real price and the local price. And so when we look here, uh, and we look here, this local price, this is what is being paid in Rio de Janeiro, and it's influenced by the market price as well as the local price in the sense of the Rio de Janeiro price. And so local price refers to, you know, so if we come in here, 
uh, we will see that uh, we have 85% on our MAPI. Uh, and so 85% of the price is determined by market price, 15% price is determined by Rio de Janeiro price, and with those you get the local price. And so local price both refers to kind of the real price, the price that's being paid, and the Rio de Janeiro local price. And so probably needs to be uh, the language regarding like referring to that probably needs to be sorted out a little bit, but uh, yeah. Jack Rads was a Brazilian YouTuber who plays Vic Three. Uh, like the exact board was Brazilian at the start of the game, but the other way around. Hey, it is. <laughs> it's just <laughs> basically and plus the capital, right? Uh, the UI is much better. Do you ever play with autonomous construction turned off? Uh, I can. It's much. So I think it's a much worse simulation, and uh, it's much more higher powered. I think if if I was trying to do an absolute pure min-max run for whatever reason, I think it would be better to do it like that. But I'm also not that interested in doing that. Um, oh my god, we didn't even check to see. We might even lose this, depending on how much the... No, okay, our allies have mobilized. So we should, we should be fine with our allies actually doing stuff. So... Um, but, uh, you know, playing without the, the construction thing, the, let's just do this, uh, it's, uh, you, it's much more high powered, but it's also much more tedious, um, and so, I, and I, I think it's a worse simulation, I, I consider the actual game being with the automated construction, I think that that, also the game makes the game more interesting, because, you can influence uh, with the way stuff builds uh, by using trade, and I think that this is an interesting play pattern, and you don't get that play pattern if you control what all gets built, like, purely. I think the human player should have, actually, like, less direct control of what gets built, and so, um, yeah, so that's kind of the way it is. Wait, what is this cursed timeline where Great Britain is meddling in South American government instead of the USA's? Bro. They they already thumbed our pie and made us ban slavery. They made us ban slavery. Terrible. But, uh, yeah, this is... We should wrap this up pretty quick here. But we do want to... Before this confederation is made, we definitely want to subjugate Bolivia here. Uh, maybe we don't want to rival these guys. Let's stop rivaling these guys and start improving relations, actually. Assimilation is not actually a useful mechanic, so we will do this one, I think. I mean, we do care about... I guess we should have taken a look at what the approval of the Catholic Church was. I think we're going to lean into them a little bit. Okay, so we're no longer getting the, the next tier up. We're no longer above 90 on the legitimacy, so we're just going to re-increase taxes then. We get some newly formed parties. Bro, I hate when this happens. We get newly formed parties and then we become Ill instantly illegitimate because of, like, the newly formed parties. And so we can do this to become legitimate here. Uh, because, yeah, the per- Ugh. All right. Well, the Liberal Party has all the clout right now. Hmm. I guess we maybe do this so we can actually pass the law, but we hate that- our, our cloud gets absolutely annihilated when the election starts, but it is what it is, I suppose. Annex Transvaal. Oh, let's see if we can sway to become subject. Please, please, please. No, okay. Not that we actually can get in there anyway, so... Perhaps it's for the best. Looks like we're also beating this rep. But I caught you live. I'm so confused how mobilization laws impact actual battalions recruitable. Uh, you're talking about these laws? The army model? Uh, so, the way, what it's affecting is the max level of barracks you could have in each state and the max level of conscription. Uh, but also, this conscription rate is a pretty important one. And so, like, uh, if we have 
we have one percent conscription rate because we have professional army so we have five available conscripts uh in rio de janeiro let's say and we were to swap to peasant levies we would 4x that because that is a four percent conscription rate which makes a uh, very very strong the edict coming over here or the sorry the decree always forget it enlistment efforts because this gives plus five percent conscription rate also gives an additional training rate which is nice uh but when you have one percent this will 6x the amount of conscripts you can get out of that territory uh so for example playing uh Argentina, you have professional army, which says three battalions can be mobilized, yet I have uh, six barracks, and it looks like I can raise all six plus 15 conscripts. Plus 15 conscripts. Yeah, I don't know what the three uh, three battalions can be mobilized means then. I, I guess I would have to look at this in the UI. I'd have to see exactly what you're talking about. Oop, let's do that. Oh, let's also... Actually, I think we want clerical educators. God, the truth hurts. Our intelligentsia sucks. Oh, but our freaking leader's intelligentsia are... I hate that they made him suck so hard. Not the leader, but the, the intelligentsia for... We don't have... We have minus radicals instead of tech. I, I think we would rather have tech, and we have plus prestige instead of plus migration attraction. It just really blows. And so I think we're going to go religious this run, but I guess we maybe we transition religious later. Oh, except we have to the, it's we have to go total separation anyways. God, this sucks. I'll just swap to free churches and whinge about it some more. Oh, these are in development tab now. I just realized. I guess they they're much better there anyways. That makes sense. How many casualties? Let's take a look. How many Brazilians are dead? Uh, 17k on this side, which is probably mostly us, 12k of us, 3k of uh, them, and 16k on this side, again, all Brazilians. Tragedy. The top line of an army line. Oh! The top line of the army. Oh yeah, I don't even know if... I don't know. This is... I think this is new in the UI. I think this is referring just to conscripts. Because this number is roughly 12 times this... Or 4 times this number, right? And you have a 1% conscription rate here. And this is... But if it doesn't correspond... I would just not worry about it. This is trying to tell you something, but it doesn't necessarily tell you the right thing. Like, with the taxation methods, they try and tell you something, but they don't necessarily... Oh, man. It's going to be so hard for us to get land-based tax now. <sighs> yeah. There, there should be the possibility to make all drugs illegal. Even tobacco was illegal in some parts of Germany at the time. Really? As Freud was... Well, I guess Freud was Austrian. Never mind. But intelligentsia supports better laws, no? Yeah, it does support better laws, but once you have the laws, you'd rather have the, the religious guys... So, on the short term, we're going to use Intelligentsia, but in the long term, we're probably going to... Well, the problem is, is... The problem is, is, uh, we want to go total separation. Because now it matters for migration again. It didn't in 1.5.5. And if this is going to matter for migration, which it does... Uh, I mean, we just have to do it, so... Kind of sucks. We want to put in public uh, health, so we're going to hold off on the health. We can do rights of assembly right now. This will radicalize the landowners, okay. I think we're also going to do total separation right now, because we want to. And this will increase intelligence clout. Oh. The intelligence are happy with us. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it doesn't really matter. They suck. Yeah, they nerfed the crap out of the interest groups and they took away Sao Paulo being like a mappy state. I don't... Which 
kind of makes Brazil a little bit miserable. To, well, on the flip side is the Amazons g losing their, their malice is actually a pretty big deal, so... How mad can you be? Well, I guess you can be as mad as you want, but, like, how mad would it be, like, legitimate for you to be? Probably not that mad. Let's swap to privately owned. Can establish a new company. Wait, where's this coming from? Oh, laissez-faire. Hurt. Oh, this doesn't require any... This only requires one level? Bro, we're in it. This is a, a fairly strong company, so we're just gonna slot in. And can we reduce autonomy? Nope, we cannot. But we should be able to declare war, so we're gonna take a save and go after them. How does the distance affect states' local prices? It does not. You cannot source anything from an adjacent state, even if it's right next to you. Which is a bit unfortunate. Democrats. So someone was asking me about this ideology. Uh, distribution of power uh, endorses evenly all the voting systems. Okay, and once elected bureaucrats. Oh, this is nice. I'm not sure if that full mobilization is best, and then we'll just uh, ask them to come. I think we ask for this, uh, and we make it primary. And they rival us. Oh no! And then we're going to hopefully actually be able to make use. It looks like they deleted uh, some of our construction sectors as well here. Or is our construction just paused? Why is it paused? Okay, well that... Oh, we have to delete construction sectors here actually. Let's delete a few. That should be a little bit more manageable. God, that sucks. Uh, we probably deleted one too many. Damn. Oh well. We kind of want them in a different spot anyways. Maybe we want an extra of this. We have so much... Oh, did they just build so much bureaucracy? Fuck. Kind of don't want to delete it. I guess we up our education and our... This... I guess we'll do that. Kind of really not what we would have wanted. Oh, let's call ally. Free. Okay, so let's see if we can reform. This is a little bit more legitimate. Interesting. I mean, I guess. Alright, let's do that. Everyone's in gov. We'll reduce taxes a little bit, so we're above 90%, so we get the fast ticks here. Great Britain size with Brazil, you love to see it. And there's this. New South Wales. If we get an obligation, that's not really gonna help us too much. Wait, what happened to Transvaal? It is uh still there. What do you mean? Transvaal's right there, my guy. What do you mean what happened to Transvaal? Neighbors are fighting? Having zero pops is a pain, that's why you have to join the market. Going for Peru, Bolivia's neck, I see you're going full historical. Is that really that ace historical? Really? That government IRL would be so bad, what, just everyone, everyone being for it? Yeah. Undoubtedly. Or status pops in Piranha, I think we're just gonna take the public endorsement to get total separation pretty quick here. I think we're about the point where we... Good thing we already deleted our construction, but I think we're getting pretty close to the point where we want to... Let's take a look, actually. How much are we getting? So we can put in maybe 5, 6k worth of taxes. It's gonna give us pretty... a lot more construction. I don't even know where to build, though. The truth hurts. Maybe we just actually push up the unis like we had planned before. Okay, we'll do that. 
Just feels bad rolling back from 50 construction at 35. But that was not like a pace that was sustainable. But I'm saying maybe it's sustainable if we decrease the authority, so. Can you still do all, all already with no, uh, no penalties? No, you cannot. Um. Oh, uh, we should have put in, like, banned slavery, too. Oh, well. UK's coming to... Mummy's coming to rescue us, because our battalions are already really exhausted from the Civil War, so... But Mummy's... Mummy's coming. Let's actually take a look. Do we have one of these that has any Lancers? No, we don't. All of our Lancers are, have been consolidated in this army, but... New national hero. Is this a historical thing? Carlos Guillermas. Is he a historical guy? Is a stunning victory? No, okay. Okay. <laughs> He can use his uh, status as a national hero to integrate the Solista people. Okay. Okay. Now we accept some more people, I guess. Oh, uh, we want to see if we can offer sport for transferring something that we shouldn't be able to transfer. It. Wow, is this really going to be how this goes? Ba ba baro. All right. Okay. Let's put in some answers. We're putting in some Lancers at the front of the queue. We're gonna use this guy to do a naval landing. I think this isn't gonna work too well. Or what we're currently doing. We maybe. Mm. So we're gonna try and land here once they're not in battle anymore. So, oop, this guy can be adamant defense. We're just gonna swap both to defend front until this battle gets finished. Will you take our support for anything? Transfer subjects? Oh, uh, they still let us... Wah, wah. Wah, wah. I was hoping to see none of this. Still overtuned. Okay. In exchange for helping the rebellion not to have the true shield states, we will take from you the true shield states. Now, we should. What should we take here? Probably. It's between true shield states and Columbia District. I think we just take Columbia District. Wah wah. Can I get some wah wahs in chat? Any plans to Brexit out of the UK market? Not anytime soon. You have to you have to press integrate. Oh, okay. We'll try this. Every Amazonic pop will become Brazilian. Oh, pop merging. Wait, why can't we just integrate all these as quickly as possible? All right. Okay, that seems like clicking that there's no reason to not click it. Interesting. You get total set. We're just defending these guys down. We are going to use this guy for a landing squad. 
We're just watching it because we have to wait for the battle to finish and then we can do a landing. All right. I kind of want to land here close to La Paz. Hopefully, we're gonna merge this guy with this guy as well. Yep, and then I think we're gonna move the adamant defense guy over here actually. And we'll recruit another guy to do a little pushing. Womp womp. What languages do I speak? Uh, I speak basically just English. I speak, like, a very rudimentary Spanish. Like, enough to tell people that I don't speak Spanish and to order a burrito. I speak very small amounts of, like, uh, German and je suis un chat. Uh, and Chinese as well. But, like, almost non-existent. Like, the amount of hours of study of German might be like close to 100 and then Chinese might be close to 50 and then Japanese might be close to 20 something like this I've studied like 10 to 20 hours of a lot of different languages but that's like I'm nowhere near like uh, fluent in those Spanish I have over 100 probably or a couple hundred something like this was the drink definitely not piss? It says it says an Arnold Palmer, but it's not that either. Uh, it's a mix of uh, soda stream mix for, except it's not carbonated. That's like Red Bull equivalent. How strong is Persian? One point five, way better than it was before. But I wouldn't. They're not exactly like strong. Like their starting GDP is not that great. Um, like in. They don't start with a huge population either. Like, they're, I wouldn't call them strong, but they're so much better because the resources uh, got completely reworked in Persia and they have a bunch of really strong mappy states as well as a bunch of uh, extra unused arable land. So they're gonna be a lot better for migration. And so they are way, way improved, but they're still not, um, they're still not standout. Hey, look, Oregon. We still gotta do an Oregon run where we try and get as long an Oregon as possible. I think we actually want the migration attraction here, to be honest, more so than the gold fields throughput, because, give me that, we want those pops, so we're at 1.5k now, we bumped up to 80 from like 50 whatever, and let's see if this updates, please, we just want more pops, 4.5k, alright, a reasonable number, I'm so used to 1.5.5 where we're just getting like a thousand or whatever. We'll do that one. Oh, look at this. Wow, okay, what's going on here? Peruvian Sea. What is this about? Alright, so this is the... We're landing here. And Britain is... What are you doing? Are you patrolling or raiding here? Okay, we have presence 100%. Presence 26%. Do we have to wait until we get 100% presence to do the landing? Nope, the landing's going in. Oh wait, it's not. Okay. So I guess we're seeing some raiding and patrolling from the pro bolivian side. Or not raiding from the pro bolivian side, but patrolling rather. Interesting. How much are these guys giving us in Diplo Packs? 500? That's not bad. Our institutions are increased. Big nice. I think we're gonna add some construction. Wow, just all these places don't have enough infra. Terrible. 
So what's going on here? So they're escorting convoys, so we can oh now they're patrolling coasts. So we can see at a glance like what's going on. I think I like this. This is neat. This is super cool. They didn't cover this at all in the change well, maybe they covered it in the change log. But this is like visually like you can kinda tell what's going on, yeah? Like even when we're zoomed out, we can see the raiding thing on. We can't see the landing, but I think that's because the landing already got in. Yeah, Peru Bolivia is about to get wrecked now, so. What is that noise? What the frick? Did we hover over something? No? Okay. I don't know what that was. But naval invasions are not broken. We just got in. Time to reintegrate the natives to the soil. Yes. Yes. Iberia is still lacking in regional modifiers. You mean state bonuses or what? <laughs> this one's really big. Come up. Although they, they said they nerfed, they took away some of the coal from Navarra and put it someplace else, which is like effectively a nerf overall. I think they put it in Asturias, and so it's less mappy oriented, which is, uh, I guess, a bit of a bummer. Let's see if we can make peace. We can. We will probably white peace out of this one, huh? Yeah, let's white peace out of this. Smell you later. And now we should be able to reduce autonomy. Oh, we can't. We can't because we're allied with the UK. Okay, okay. I think that's stupid, but okay. So just for clarification here. We have an alliance and an obligation to them. So I guess once we lose the obligation, we'll probably break the alliance. This is another thing I'm not a fan of. Here, why don't we... We're gonna write that down. Join customs union. We're gonna leave feedback later today, or tonight. Actually, I guess we're... We're absolutely cranking here with... 230 people. Why don't we do a little bit of poll for people? Uh, where are, where's everyone from? Where from? We're gonna do one just for South America. Normally we just put the Americas together. Uh, we're gonna do South America, uh, North America, Europe. Oh man. Let's not do Europe and then everywhere else after Europe. Actually, let's do that. That's very, that's very Victoria 3 centric. And so the last option will be Africa, Asia, <laughs> Indonesia. <laughs> let's start a poll, because I can only put in four options. I would have put Africa and Middle East and then Asia and uh, Philippines and stuff. Ottomans and Egypt's looking yucky. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? That is yucky. Naval invasions sit there for about half the time. Presence of armies is 0% against Zulu who has no boats. Interesting. That's probably not working as intended. Peru Bolivia just nuked something. It did get nuked a little bit. What's up with the sovereign organ? Where did that come from? It's not sovereign. It's a Brazilian puppet. <laughs> it's part of the... We transferred them to our side. Um, currently, you know, the transfer subject is maybe a little unbalanced. It's definitely unbalanced because they transferred this in exchange for assistance with dealing with that, which is, uh, like an absurdity. And, uh, you know. It's not being in the customs union with an obligation, uh, not the alliance. The alliance will do it too. The alliance will do it too. Or at least a defensive pact will. Can you do a turtle island run? Maybe. We got some runs planned already. 
we have the Norway pe the Norwegians in chat representing Norway. All right, I'm gonna snap dinner. Or we're gonna snap some dinner. Everyone, have a good afternoon. Snap some dinner. Snap. I'm not familiar with snap as a colloquialism. Interesting. But I think we go after Gaza now. No, God, the truth hurts. Every time I say that, it's just like. Yeah, my brain. Okay, um, maybe we go up to Zulu instead, actually. This is our landing squad. Let it develop a little bit. We're trying to check infamy. We're at 4.7. So, I think we... Actually, I think we do go after Zulu instead of Gaza here. In this spot. God, we're losing so much money. I think it's... Well, we're actually not passing a law right now, so we actually 100% should not be floating authority. But I think we go free trade, maybe. I mean, we're inside of a customs union, so trade is a little bit less important. Uh, we could go cultural exclusion. Kind of want to get off Nat Guard, to be honest. So let's go to No Home Affairs, which will save us money on the bureaucracy for a while. And the armed forces and the landowners hate it, but whatever. Because we do want to get on guaranteed libs a little bit later. We could go Rights of Assembly. Radicalizes people. Migration controls. We wish we had, could go health system, but we can't. We could go property and women, except we don't want to because it makes going women's suffrage a little bit easier. We don't. I mean, I guess we want free trade anyways. But I think we're at the point where, yeah, we no longer, especially because our consumption profiles are pretty open because we're in the UK's market, we're going to add in consumption taxes instead. We're not going to tax liquor. Big sad. Uh, but we might... Actually, we're going to tax liquor and tobacco. They make us a lot more. We're just going to crush SOL, but uh, it's also going to uh, mainly crush SOL. Oh, maybe this... I think I think this is bad, because it's going to hurt migration. Frick, man. What are we supposed to do with this extra authority? I mean, there's no way, no shout that the trade units come up. Uh, what a resource you edict in Minas Geras. Jerez. Alright, let's do that. And you know what? Let's green our grass campaigns there, too. Actually, the greener grass campaigns is less useful because they already have a huge modifier. So, in terms of modify, like a pro as a professional, proportional, it's not going to be as good. Huh. It's greener grass in Rio, then. And do something like this. Looks like most people... Most people are from Europe. What the hell? Interesting. I was not expecting that. We get the mobile artillery upgrade here. We're gonna have Oregon make sure that you keep good relations with the US. What? I think you're trolling me. I think if we have good relations with the US, then that we lose Oregon, no? Leia tries to give advice, immediately assume to be troll. We consume dinner here. We say consume dinner instead of snap. Well, we can't reduce autonomy, which is a, a bit of a thing, but the, uh, also we will be able to reverse sway a lot from under the UK throughout this run uh, while we have an alliance, so this is, like, not a big deal for us overall in the grand scheme of things. And we're going to go probably for Conquer State and Zululand. We're just going to let our stuff recruit up a little bit first. I'm just sitting fine here. God, we really want more construction. I think we can go for it now. Let's do something like this. We're also getting really close to getting... Oh my god, I thought we were working on railways right now. God, the truth hurts. We really need more. Alright, so... Let's come in. Alright, we have the two levels of unis coming on up too. Okay, so we got some stuff. We got some moves. Yeah, Jack knows what's up, basically. 
We can't uh, we can't go for the South African country without making everyone think about conflicts in the Middle East. The truth hurts. Snap into a Slim Jim. Ah. Most of the Americans are at work. Later getting... Oh, yep, yep, yep. You're right. We're getting the, the European night crowd and then the Americans... The Americans will be here in a few hours. Because we're going to go... We're going to go for quite a while today. Edicts? Yeah, I was just trying to think of which of the edicts were best. You think that the intoxicant demand should be way higher? Yeah, I mean, we just... Bro, maybe we're just supposed to go... Are we supposed to go? My brain hurts. Maybe we're supposed to build agrarian stuff right now. I don't think we are. Alright, who's fighting the land? Ooh, that's a new ideology. Let's take a look at that. Land reformer... Strongly opposes land-based taxation, fair. And neutral towards every other type of taxation. Oh, okay. And then endorses homesteading and collectivized agriculture. Interesting. We'll let him fight it. Ah, oh, damn, the royalist one. Terrible. The land reformer will be reforming nothing. Actually, he will be... He will not be reforming the, the land. He will be returning to it. The truth hurts. Raphael's back. He serves his time. Banished to the Shadow Realm. How's my audio now, Raphael? <laughs> Chat sent him to the Shadow Realm. He has returned. Tell us of the Shadow Realm. Is construction efficiency modifier not for Brazil enough to make the Amazon states worth it? Hopefully. I think it reduces it from like 30% to 10%, which is like huge. Norway is the best continent, in fact. Uh, naval invasion worked fine for Bolivia and Argentine puppets as Egypt. As soon as I tried Zulu, you failed to do anything. Interesting. Well, I mean, where's... What is that noise? It's so loud. What the frick? I wonder what that is exactly. The naval bugs uh, were fixed, I think. I think, well, actually, we're about to explore if we're going to have one. We're going to take a save, because someone's saying Zulu cannot be landed. But, uh, it's because... So there's a difference between the rains in South America and the rains in Africa, because the... The rains here are blessed down in Africa, so you can't actually annex their territory. So if you owe customs union on obligation, you can't annex your subjects? Yes. Can you explain how the military system worked, please? How the military system worked? So the major change... What is that, dude? What is it that we're doing that's causing that? That's really such a loud sound effect. That's gonna startle the, f the crap out of me when it happens at like 2 a.m. and I'm playing. I don't think we want a defense pact with the France. Um, so the military system, just kind of quickly going through it, uh, is we have, now we have uh, different types of units, uh, compositions that we can lean into. Um, the infantry will be more defensively oriented. The cannons will be a little bit better than the infantry overall in terms of their numbers, like offense plus defense, and will be more offense oriented. And the cavalry will be really strong early game and then will fall off uh, until you research tanks uh, because they don't have any upgrades in between. Uh, I think what the strategy is gonna be, uh, you can only have up to 50% artillery before you start suffering a modifier, so I believe it'll be having 50% artillery in armies. Now the question is, is, is it going to be worth it to have pure defensive armies and mixed armies simultaneously? And I'm not sure the answer to the question. Also, it might be such that the, the malice for having more than 50% artillery just isn't big enough, and it's worth it to go 60, 70, 80, 90, 100% artillery. And so... Uh, these are kind of the questions. They're also uh, kind of appearing in a new thing. Is uh, you get now there are a bunch of mobilization options that you can choose that give various effects. Uh, we f can, for example, use, uh, you know, chocolate here. If we want, we have some state bonuses for that, which will give us increased morale recovery. And inside these are, you know, some of the previous uh, PMs. Uh, that used to be PMs uh, in terms of support equipment. We see machine gunners, chemical weapons, and plant throwers here, and stormtroopers entirely have been re removed. And the stream as soon as the Americans get here. Oh man, the truth hurts. Attack Bolivia for claims before they unite. We already subjugated them. They are our protectorate. Norway is better than Krakow. Oh, Krakow? Land reformer. Yep, there's another new one, Blair. 
Land Reformer would be nice to get in the landowners if possible. It would be. I wonder if it's possible to roll it on them. Like, it's not possible to roll an abolitionist naturally. That was cheese. How's the market access impacts price? If you have 95%, does it mean that the differences in the price will be, two states will be 10%? So it's a weighted um, combination. So we have a mappy. So if we come in here and we look, we have a mappy of 85% right now. So that means uh, 0.85 times the market price plus 0.15 times the local price, that will be the real price of the good in Rio de Janeiro. That's how that shakes out. And so you see that this is a little bit more expensive than the British, uh, you know, price here, for example, because we're not producing any here. But, uh, for example, furniture in Rio de Janeiro is probably cheaper. Uh, so we'll, if we take a look and we look at furniture, we are producing a little bit more. Uh, and so it's less than the, the British price. And this mappy will always give you a negative effect. Uh, or local prices will always negatively, they will be negative for you relative to... Um, relative to market prices with like a couple exceptions where you're intentionally wanting to be less profitable or something like this because um oops. why did that pop up all right uh because uh with with uh we would rather the furniture be more expensive because we have more sell orders and if we had more sell orders right here uh, we would have more profitable businesses if these were more expensive because our balance would be higher because the balance is this stuff minus this stuff. If we alternatively had more buy orders of the good, for example, wood is more expensive, uh, we would prefer it to be cheaper, but the, the local price drives it up higher if we have more buy orders because we would be more profitable again if this were cheaper because the weekly balance is this stuff minus this stuff. And so you'll always be negatively affected uh when norway run oh, the norway people relentless when you guys can manage to win a vote probably or actually i mean eventually i could i've been thinking of doing a z to a because some people are doing an a to z run thing and so a z to a run would be uh norway would be like what would that be like 80th or 50th or something like this did that sound effect come from the defensive pact offer? Maybe. It's freaking wild as hell, though. I wish I knew what it was. It was so loud. Let's put in some... Well, we can't put in any other stuff. So, they, yeah, they're not going to back down. The sound effect is the letter from France showing up. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it's worse if generals... Uh, it's worse if extra generals pull infantry for attacks. Uh, yeah, so this is the question. I don't know how the troop borrowing works, and so some stuff is contingent on this. Uh, uh, will they draw? Will they borrow troops from other armies for attacking, or will they borrow only artillery from other armies, or will they not borrow from? So the question is: is like, for example, if this army has only defenders. Will their troops get borrowed from on attack? And if they have only defenders, let's say, which they don't, uh, if this voids their ability for troops to be borrowed from on the attack, you would actually want to have all defensive armies, um, some all defensive armies, and then some mixed armies. But if it pulls from these anyways, it's probably better to just run standard mix. 95 is the maximum mappy. Not anymore. It is possible to get 100% mappy. Uh... And this is because they've introduced some new modifiers on some rivers that give 5% market access price impact. And so if you're on the Shanxi Yellow, or sorry, the Yangtze River, the Yellow River, the Ganges River, uh, the Danube River, uh, the Rhine River, uh, the Mississippi River, uh, you can get maximum market access um, you can get maximum mappy. You can get 100% mappy. Then this is hugely going to change the metagame uh, in a way that's like uh, pretty pretty intense. I, is there another one? I, oh, I think the Kherson or the Nidimpera River also. Uh, so like Russia, Russia's actually going to want to build tall in Kyiv, like really tall. Um, 
because you have you have best mappy here like and so they'll probably want to just slap down manufacturing edicts and just like blast there um but yeah now it is possible oh let's see if we can i don't know we can't offer support we're also rivaling them that that checks out so we'll see if we can get a landing off here or if it's in fact by eight weeks beautiful lines relative to uh the thing can you do a full tutorial on the new update in a video, of course? Yes, this is the plan. We're gonna, I actually have plans for several tutorial things. I'll probably get started on those tomorrow. Because um, probably gonna have like a 10 hour stream today. Can I show the ideology that replaced intelligence as republicanism is in Brazil? I don't know if I currently have one of these guys. But you're talking about the enlightened despot or whatever. I currently don't have one of these guys that doesn't look like, so. I cannot, alas, poor York. I knew him well, Horatio. I hate Mappy. I wish the game was released with Mappy because now it feels worse relative to before. Yeah, another thing that's slowing down your economy is that construction across the board has increased by 33 to 77%. So this is, if you're, if you're feeling slower, this is part of it as well. Um, let's take a look. What do we want to do? Well, I mean, we want to get rid of that guard. It looks like we could actually move to guaranteed liberties reasonably well, though. So maybe we go rights of assembly here. This will radicalize the landowners. Are they marginalized, though? They're marginalized. So maybe it's not a big deal. But a lot of people don't like it. The Catholic Church doesn't like it. They're almost... I don't think we want to keep popping bravs, though. Pop bottles. Something. Industrialists don't like this. I think maybe we want to move to sense of suffrage here. Yeah, let's do sense of suffrage. This will be like a little bit of a adjustment. Could have gotten universal, but don't want to make the don't want to make the we want to make sure that we maintain our capitalist investment with full contribution efficiency. Man, I don't know why they nerfed. Is this everyone or just Brazil? I assume this is just Brazil. They just nerfed the Jesus out of like a lot of their interest groups. Wet. Please tell me this isn't so. Okay. I'm gonna rename these guys the Landing Squad. Hey, we get a bunch of pickers here too. Ooh, this one. Actually. Interesting, let's do that. Oh, hey, this is gonna make so much easier to glance. Big nice. All right, we got some new PMs. Why the frick are we getting crushed so much? I mean, the investment pool's growing, I guess. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And then I think there's one more on, yeah, there we go. So we can't reduce autonomy. We Okay, so th we got the noise there. It's like, it, it's 100% of the time it's when I move my mouse over to the right here. I feel like. Interesting. Why not do the tutorial as Norway? We could do the tutorial as Norway. Russia building in Kiev, yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes you... Assemble the dominoes before you knock them down. <laughs> Why don't do the tutorial? We could do the tutorials in Norway. We'll probably swap around countries a lot doing the tutorial. Uh, what do you think of how the local market prices influences build order? Got any tips? How it influences build order? The build order is kind of similar, but you absolutely positively want to slash need to build in places that have coal and iron at game start. Coal, iron, and wood. And this is really, really, really important. And so you want to make sure you do this. Wow, will we really just get crunched by these guys? Crouched. I think we're going to have to do some of this action then. We're going to up this a little bit. Try and get their bonus. If this guy fails, we'll, we'll swap stuff around. I think we can still do this. <sighs> 
How did they nerf rice? Uh, did they nerf rice farms? They did not. Oh, you think they produce less grapes? Grape now? That is not the nerf I was looking for. I think they just didn't nerf them. But I really don't want that to be the nerf. I would hate that to be the nerf. Okay, so they're outputting 240 on the grain. Let's take a look at... Uh, per level. Let's take a look at mice. Nope, they didn't nerf the grain output. My rice farms are still OP. I mean, the industry group ideology. There's a new one that replaced the intelligencies. Oh, yeah, it sucks, dude. The intelligentsia suck, like, real hard. They get prestige instead of migration attraction, which is worse, and they get uh, radicals from SOL decreases instead of the tech, which I think is worse, so I'd rather have tech. So, yeah, it's just, like, it looks pretty bad, to be honest. 95% still, 75 base. Uh, 10 from Stock Exchange, Zeppelins, Macro, River. <sighs> I think you might need to go back to the drawing board on your mass Jinkus. I believe earlier we had 80, Brit no, we did not have 80 base. We had 75% base because 80 was, 85 was always what you got after you got Mappy. <laughs> the truth hurts. The math hurts. Russia building a Kiev to encourage Russians to move there. Historic. Yeah, the truth also hurts again. Except it's not really the truth, but yeah. It all hurts, to be honest. Alright, so we are going to turn on, for this one, all of the PMs here. Which I think is going to create a little bit of a mobilization problem temporarily. What do we have? We have, oh, we have like no manpower. Is this why we just got clapped? All right, well, let's try, let's see if you guys can do it. Get in there, maybe. Let's actually transfer some of these Lancers over to the this other landing squad, maybe. This future landing squad. Okay, so. No, wait, we don't want to transfer to this. We want to transfer to the seven stack, all right. So we're gonna transfer the seven stack and we're gonna transfer four Lancers. And then, we're gonna see if these guys can land. What? Oh. They're already- we already are ongoing. I just don't think that this is gonna be successful. I think we're getting clapped here. But okay. Good shout, good yard. We're here for it. Weeb Lord says redacted, I agree. New to 1.5, was the SOL so bad? Yeah, the truth hurts. There's a bunch of reasons why the SOL so bad. One of them is that Mappy and the economy is slowing down, like, at, in, in its entirety. But also they've done stuff to specifically depress the SOL. Um, and then in t instead, SOL is a little bit more tied to the now very, very strong institutions uh, in public health. And so if we take a look at public health insurance, you can see that it gives, oh, they nerfed this, but plus a half standard of living uh, per level. Is private going to give plus a half? Yeah, so um, I think that this one is meta probably, but it looks like they adjusted it, so maybe let's take a quick look. Mortality per wealth, uh, but mainly because they get the biggest reduction on the pollution. But this extra half a point standard of living, which now is, that's a huge nerf. It used to be one. Um, but this is going to be partially where you're getting your SOL from now. So, like, if we had a level 1 or 2 health institution, we'd have a more normal-looking SOL. Normal. Um, they also reduced the pop that can become intelligentsia. Uh, intelligentsia sucks, but what about the Brazilian trade unions? We actually didn't take a look at this. Uh, so far, the only tr unique trade unions in the game is France, unless they had changed this. No, they're the same as normal. Do they revert the migration changes? Yeah, it's back to 1.5.4. So, reverted migration changes. So we're going to try and land these guys with our other squad, and hopefully that works out. Oop, looks like this army can maybe afford to give this uh, other landing squad. The last Lancer, which I think we want to do anyways. Now, why can't we confirm this? We have to move one commander. 
All right, what do you have? Land, open train. All right, let's move you. Wait, why? Okay, I'm confused. Whatever, not a big deal. I think we land with that. The mines get organized. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, we're gonna choose this one just because the trade unions are not getting demarginalized anytime soon. We would love them to get demarginalized, but that, it's not gonna happen. There's no way, no how. Let's take a look at our GDP. Cranking up slowly, but surely. We're back up to 50 construction. Railways are being worked on. Isn't the only unique trade union one? Yeah, the French one. That's the one I think. How to get the most mappy? You play as Ching now. Now, most of it's unlocked through technology, so we'll just quickly kind of go through the mappy. Uh, so, the most important thing is you're going to rush stock exchange as everyone because it gives 10% mappy. Uh, you can get an additional, uh, you know, amount of mappy from macroeconomics and zeppelins, each giving 5%. Uh, and so you can't really rush this necessarily, but being on traditionalism is going to be particularly acutely bad because it does give a 15% mapping penalty. And so this is going to be a thing, but then also they've just, they've changed things uh, with some rivers like the Yangtze and River, Yellow River are now give 5% mapping. I was really hoping this was going to be all rivers because I was really wanting to get 105% mapping in the Cradle of Civilization, but alas, these do not give mapping. And so... Uh, if it's not all rivers, if it was all rivers, you would get two of these bonuses, big hot. And so, this is, uh, you, you effectively, the, the metagame is kind of, you now value Zeppelins as a technology, it's not completely useless, and every single country, with the exception of China, I think, uh, if you have not start, if you don't stock with start, start with stock exchange, it's your first research, I think. Hey, look, another... <laughs> Look at this, another revolution. Transfer subjects again? Oh baby, let's go. Can't transfer as much here. Might go for United Tribes. We'll go for Ionian Islands. Wow. Wow. Uh, I think we actually go for Mosquito Kingdom for the interest here. We could go for, all right, actually which one has this? Van Diemen's Land, Caruana. Actually, let's transfer Caruana. That way we have a native interest here. Sense of suffrage is coming along. It really is coming along. I swear to God. You still boot, do one boat, one boat landings just playing as Dynam. First thing you did is built one navy and declared war on Zulu and your 55 stacks of irregulars wrecked them. Yeah, I mean, saying I landed Zulu is, like, a little bit different than saying I landed the home counties with four boats, you know what I mean? That's maybe not entirely unreasonable. Are there any other rivers with Mappy? There's a ton of rivers with Mappy. Um, so let's, we'll, t we'll take a quick look at it because we have a lot of people coming in and out. But the, the Yellow River, the Yangtze River, the, uh, Ganges River, the Dnieper River... Big shout out to uh, building in, you know, Ukraine as Russia. Uh, the Danube River, the Rhine. Notably, this is effectively like a pretty significant. I mean, like I think that Big Ben should give Mappy, and maybe it does now. This is something I suggested that it should be the case on the the feedback thing. Nothing in South America, Big Sag, and then uh, the Mississippi River. Uh, also gives Mappy. And so you're going to build a tunnel along the Mississippi as, uh, you know, USA now. Things have changed quite a bit. Is slavery meta again? No. Those were dark times. The slavery times. You hate to see it. We're going to leave our, our army here to see if they get sent to the Shadow Realm. This has been a problem in the beta. I assume they solved it. But, like, if we were playing the beta, we would want to move these guys out immediately. Uh, why don't we make these guys... Why don't we make these guys red as well? And do it landing squad too. Toosing squad. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Oh, 
also maybe, yeah, we can't integrate them. Oh well. But we will get uh, Karuna here. I think maybe maybe stay in the fight a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe we just instant. Conquer Zulu, uh, Conquer Zululand. No, nope, they just won't accept yet, so. We are hoping to go after one of Transvaal or, you know, actually get a state that has coal and iron in it. I'm going to be going after Freestadt. Basically as soon as possible. We're not going to really worry about actually helping them out. We're just going to be a faker and pretend like we were. We're not going to be about it. We're just going to talk about it. You know what I mean? Does Alsace uh, Lorraine get the map E boost from the Rhine? I think they do. So Alsace Lorraine has become basically the place to be in France. Um, and then Ruhr and Ruhr and the North Rhine are massively buffed for Prussia. Um, you know, Austria having s uh, several states in the Donner was pretty good. All of Romania massively buffed. I know I have some Romanian viewers. Or the first, like, series of mine that kind of popped off was the Wallachia into Romania. Um, and so that makes a pretty big difference. Yeah. Jinku is with the full list. Uh, Dnieper, Volga. Oh, Volga. Wait, where's Volga? Bro. That's hot. Russia's so good, man. Great Britain wants a defensive pact. What the hell? Were we not allies? What the frick? Uh, okay, we're gonna say yes because this really increases the the sway weightings. But like, I think we're gonna delete the barracks here. How can we not downsize through here anymore? How do we downsize? Bro, how do we get rid of these? I want to get rid of these specifically. How do I do it? So I see. As expected, there are the barracks in Zululand. If I go to the barracks in Zululand, how do I delete them? Bro, do they make it impossible to delete barracks? No shout. I know I can just minus the irregulars. And the irregulars are probably from here, but this means that I can't target targeted delete barracks. I can't delete these last two barracks. The update's good, though. The update's spectacular. We're just a little annoyed right now. Not the Nile. No, we did check the Niles. Are laws harder to enact now, or have you just been unlucky? Yeah, the general strategy is you just try and be as handsome as possible, and then you enact all the laws on each click, uh, click the minus on the formation. So if we go in the formation and we click the minus, the problem is, is this will delete a barracks, uh, that's random from the line infantry. And we don't want to delete a bunch of line infantry. We just want to delete the ones that are specifically in this province. And so, uh, go in the army view and open the drop down menu for the different unit types and press X. Open the drop down menu for the different unit types and press X. Go into the army view. I think that's what we're in right now. Open the drop down menu for the different unit types. Okay. And then click X. You're talking about this? Oh, okay. So we just gotta find them. Zuzu. Yep. Zulu. Got it. Perfect. We got rid of them. Thank you so much.
You have to delete them from the army panel. Expand all units. Delete all units. Army panel. Perfect. Thank you guys. The, I know initially when the beta released you actually couldn't do it. It was really frustrating. Let's try and improve relations with some boys. I mean, I guess super long term we maybe want to have good relations with Ching, but also super short term we maybe want to uh, take their stuff. Oh, no, wait. We can't pull them into the customs union anymore. That's not a thing. They have like a mega, mega modifier. Chinese internal politics. Minus 1k. <laughs> Perfect. So I think we take a save. We abandon the UK and then we go for uh, free stat. It's free real estate. You deleted targeted barracks. You deleted barracks that way in the beta? Yeah, we right clicked on the beta. It's free stat. It's a free state. Ha ha ha. We'll just use that army that's already there. Alright, because we like gold. And notably, our current only company is the gold company, which is giving minting and standard living. Uh, how much? The throughput is insane, but we don't actually have that many mines, but we will. We will. We will also actually have a decent state to build in, because it has both iron and coal. We're just going to have to incorporate it and then probably move, like, all of our edicts there, to be honest. We're just going to do, like... <laughs> Was it, uh, we're probably gonna do violent suppression plus road maintenance to, so we can start building there and then actually just build tall over there. Yeah, the best Brazilian pra- No, 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 our subject integrated their subjects. Terrible. Right? Still our subject? Yeah. <laughs> what a world, what a world. Well, the Pacific interest is also going to be nice because we probably will be able to help Mexico out. But let's also declare an interest in here and here. Because the U.S. is probably going to try and thumb their pie pretty soon here. So we'll do that. Good shout. We also maybe want... Oh my god, this is going to tilt me. So we're going to do this and then increase this. So we'll add a level 15. There was the sound. I... It's moving the, the mouse over here is under certain conditions doing it. I don't know exactly what the conditions is, but, uh... Yeah, great modifier. No more China in the Russian market, yeah. Did you do the U.S. wave run on 1.553 and managed to pull China into customs? Pulled off, like, 50 million pops? Hey, man, that's a lot of pops to pull off. You know, sometimes you just have to suck those pops off. What's the mid-game strategy for this run? Uh, currently, we're just gonna... We're trying to do these... I have journal entries. I guess let's take a closer look. Progress bar has reached zero. Hmm. What edicts are we using right now? Greener grass, encourage resource. Hmm. <sighs> okay. I mean, we're really not gaining that much pops from migration, unfortunately. We really need the health in institution here. Yeah. But it's like, it got a huge nerf. Got hit with the nerf bat. This is all we're building? Our auto queue is not picking up anything, huh? Okay, let's, let's open up some of these journals and entries and look. I think we already did this. Oh, let's see. We have to research nationalism and uh, Polista. Okay. I know we have Brazilian naval power. Okay, we'll get those eventually. River of Coffee. We need intensive agriculture. 
I love how these have now new things. So this national agenda must be the Brazilian ones, and then development, just generic. Wow, that's so cool that they've kind of, uh, yeah, so we have the Brazilian ones already out. Ooh, we can offer support. Ask for obligations? Yeah, sure. We'll just leave these guys immediately, so, like, it's really not a big deal. And then we'll get a free obligation with them. We'll probably just absolve it, to be honest. Maybe we should improve relations? Let's just do this. To try and get better sways later on. But yeah, we, we, were, we were wanting to get in Russia's market, but it's a little bit tough. We're in the UK's market. We're trying to siphon off pops and just look to develop up a bit. Currently wanting to build up here, so we're going to be switching all of our edicts over there as soon as we annex them. I can't quite tell how amazing the gold company is. More throughput is obviously good, but it feels like you don't really benefit from the construction efficiency. No, it's not about the construction efficiency. It's about, yeah, the throughput uh, on top of the 5% minting. Minting is, like, minting is better than tax revenue because it's a free money modifier. Like, tax revenue takes it from your props. Minting does not. And so, like, money from minting is just better because it, co it allows your everything to be more profitable in your economy because of better, like, downstream effects. So it's... 5k minting is better than having plus 5k to your balance off the back of like tax it's like it's not that comparable and so the gold one is like deceptively strong uh it is really good though in what states do you build your army now all in one state i think you build a lot of them in the capital but then like also in your industrial sector is where you have hardwood uh wherever you're producing hardwood and you're putting producing arms probably is like the way to think about it because the local prices but I mean, would we get their bonus here? No. But we'll follow their interpretation and get a little bit of more positive attitude in case we want to go against them. Alright, so here we have... Okay, so we can't ask for a transfer state, but... If we do this... Now you suddenly like us a lot more, and now can we transfer a state? Or I guess let's let him think a little bit. No, we cannot. But what if, what if, hear me out. What if we had a defensive pact or an alliance? Let's have a save and see how this works. Yeah, sometimes conquering states spawns a new army that makes it quicker to delete, but sometimes they're just added to your conquering army. You can move your army away before signing peace, though. That makes sense. Before you can deleting the armies was a pain. Now you can delete the armies. All right, we're going to form a defense pack. We're going to own obligation. They're going to say yes. And then... We owe them an obligation. So now, let's see. We could ask for an obligation. That's cute. Um... Hmm. So it looks... Well, let's see actually what the sway amount is. Because, I mean, I, I consider this a fix, but we were... We were trying to get them to sway California, but the value of the requested state... Okay, this modifier is so much bigger. So we are we don't want to owe them an obligation in the defensive pack, but I think we're going to help them out. Uh, we think we're going to uh, absolve the obligation. But that's definitely an improvement. You know, they used to be, be willing to give up the bag... Are the companies looking... Some are looking a lot stronger. We haven't looked through all of them. We should throw in the Vic 2 soundtrack. Alright. The grape... Grape... <laughs> not the grape cluster. The grape cluster. Alright. No, wait. Where's our music player? This is where we need to be. We have it on. Oh, but supposedly there's relaxed music. Let's get these relaxed bops. There's relaxed versions of songs now. Okay, I think we... God. These are all primary demands, too. Disgusting. Oh, they don't want to give us an obligation. Alright, whatever. We're going to help them out either way, I think.
They don't want to give us American war reps. We could ban slavery. Pedro is on a rampage. We could also liberate New Africa. I guess ask for lib New Africa is probably where we wanted it to be. And then we're going to set these guys to defend front, I think. We'll name it the Iron Army. Sorry for all those of you who like the, uh, ugh. I'm not sure I like the, well, okay, let's do this. And we will fortress -y thing. And then we will transfer to this. All of this and this, I think. And have this just be entirely defensive guys. I think we're gonna... Mm, Yeah. Okay, I think that's fine. And then we'll enforce on here in a second. And then we'll come with the decrees. Decrees. Greener grass, not anymore here. Encourage resource industry, not anymore here. Uh, this probably would have been fine there, but we just I just want to set this up and then forget about it. So we're going to do that, all that right here. Which is going to allow us to build here immediately. Uh, we have turmoil, but, you know, the effects of turmoil are decreased by violent suppression. We have minus state construction efficiency. It's not too big a deal. We're going to add a couple construction sectors. We're going to cry that these got added to uh, this unit. But now, thanks to chat, we know how to delete it. The Soto. Not Afro-Brazilians. Wait. What? Did you add a Lancer here? You had mobile artillery? Well, whatever, we'll delete it still. And I think from here, we're actually gonna transfer onto the landing squad, the Lancers. I think we don't want Lancers in like the main kind of squads, but we'll make this an offensive army. I mean, we're just going to set them on defense for this war uh, with the U.S., but I think we want them to be half artillery. So we'll just add this. And then we'll land with the landing squads against the U.S.A. Probably stop damaging relations. Probably gratuitous here. Japan got the nice buff. I assume you're talking about the buff with uh, their literacy rate, which, uh, of course, if we hover literacy, you see, wowza. Do you want your universities and armies in the same place for late game and officer qualifications? I you think that. Yeah, I think you want your unis in the capital, and you usually want the military pretty high in the capital, but that's more for rev reasons, but that ends up working out for that reason as well. Is it worth it to incorporate colonial states generally? Because there's a pretty significant mappy malice. So I think more than ever, you, the strategy regarding incorporation is you just want to incorporate. So if we look at local prices and we come here, you'll see it's 75% instead of 80%. And if uh, this tooltip's a like, little hard to get the hover perfect, but you will see minus 10% from unincorporated state. And so I think, well, I think there will be some states that you don't want to incorporate. For the most part, I think it's going to be worth it. And as long as it's not a 20-year incorporation. I think you incorporate everything that's not a 20-year, and then some 20-year things. What's the trick to banning slavery in Brazil? Have the UK join a play against you, or be super handsome and lucky when you exile the market liberal moderate, uh, which case you will get a... Um, you will get a... Um, what is it? An abolitionist, and so... you And then you say big lucky. So... Wow, we're losing kind of a bit of money, a bit more than we'd want to be here. We also can declare war here, so maybe we go for Transvaal. Let's take a look at uh, 
Okay, so let's take a save and also go for Transball here. Because we can't reduce autonomy in any of our subjects, so we'll just... Oh my god, they're colonizing. No, bro, it's gonna take... God, that sucks. This little colony, this little thing that they did, this little, little... Oh my god, this is so obnoxious. This makes it cost five more infamy. So I think we actually don't want to... I think we want to protect them and then just get them the slow way. God, that sucks. Okay, fair enough, though. I respect it. So that means our other landing squad is uh, going to be the one that lands the UK US. There are 20 stacks getting there, and they're just going to be the Iron Army. See anyone with defensive strategists? No. This, I know some of these guys, or at least one of these guys has uh, it that we, yeah, so this guy. So why don't we promote this guy? Mex, come on, brother. Jeez, just pussed out. Fuck, man. I thought we had that. <sighs> Useless. Ugh. They must have broke their defensive pack? Bro, they broke the alliance with us and then- Oh no, they haven't broken the defensive pack. But they did break the alliance with us pretty- pretty early. Kind of obnoxious. Raising concerns? I'm concerned that the they capitulated so easy. We'll take that one, though. Well, oh, US is not messing around with those demands. No, they weren't. How's migration different from 1.4? It's roughly the same as 1.4. I'm not sure what changes entirely were implemented. They were experimenting the last version of the beta where they had a huge change, they introduced this cultural community mechanic, but then they, it wasn't ready, so they rolled it back. And so, thoughts on the update so far? Spectacular. Really love the local prices stuff. I mean, I have, I've been playing on the beta for several, I have several hundred hours on the beta, so, it, like, it's a little bit hard to, like, completely, like, in my mind when talking about it, separate it from 1.4, because in my mind, like, I've been playing with a lot of this stuff for the past several hundred hours, um, but... Uh, it's it, overall it feels really good local prices I think are spectacular uh, economies in general are slowed down I think the military changes are good in particular uh, the fronts are now absolutely like uh, the fronts are a lot better and so um, we'll demobilize these guys I suppose fronts work just much 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 better so wow I'm pretty sure no party ever would name themselves the regressivist party Maybe they would. I feel like you'd just call yourself something else. But overall, really, really liking it. Um, there's, like, uh, when the game came out, I, I think there was, like, three primary complaints I had about the game. And they were, uh, the, uh, the UI sucked. And then they fixed the UI pretty quick. And then it was, well, military also sucks. Um, and I think that this fixes a lot of the problems with military. I think there's still some problems. Like, we can't declare multiple wars simultaneously, but okay. Whatever, I, I, I think it fixes a lot of the psychotic front splitting, and there's, like, a lot... It feels a lot better, and, like, having a blast being able to customize stuff, the UI is better, this type of thing. Okay. And then the last thing to be fixed is diplomatic plays being insane. Uh, like, someone in here was asking, play on Iron Man. I'm not gonna play on Iron Man until they fix, like, the diplomatic play, because, like, the diplomatic play being completely opaque, and you just, like, not being able to, like... Uh, in any way predict what goes on and then like uh, when you low roll you just have to give up a t like a ton of your income uh, and you can't like sway you can't like when UK joined against us we would be more than happy just to give them banned slavery right for free in order to sway them away and we can't do it like so you should be able to just capitulate out uh, swayed war goals and this type of thing there goes Cali yeah there goes in the neighborhood 
what do you expect from the Sphere of Influence DLC? I hope they actually make the diplomatic play, not just like a delayed, like a delayed declare war. Also, we get this. Pew, 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 pew. Um, currently, it just feels like a delayed, uh, like uh, a delayed declare war, and it doesn't like feel like a diplomatic play, which I wish it did. They made it harder to double construction. Anyways, yeah, basically. TLDR. It's harder to double construction. For those of you who like sprites and stuff, though, this is this is really cool. This doesn't, like, move the needle that much with me, but, you know, it does a little bit. I do like this. I mean, I don't dislike this stuff or anything like that, so. Regressive this party? Is that the actual name? Yeah. Can you choose which country you want to liberate in additional demands? I... It's, I don't think so. I think it's actually still bug, to be honest, because we could only liberate... No, no, maybe it's not. We could only liberate um, New Africa there, but I think that that corresponds with our interests here, right? Because we only have interest in Dixie and over here. Uh, speaking of interests, we have an interest to declare. So we're going to do here... Um, we don't really care about these interests over here anymore because Mexico just rolled over. Big sad. Let's go in the Balkans, I suppose. Might go after Greece. Terrible. So we have subjugated Transvaal now, though. Or we will once this war is over. Naval range is what I wish was a future update, 2024. That would be interesting. I think that... Hmm. Yeah. David says, Diploplays were initially designed to be unpredictable. I'm glad they've been changing that lately. Well, but it's not just that they're unpredictable. It's... It's that... Okay, so to some degree it's that they're unpredictable. It's that, like, when someone gets swayed against you, right? Uh, you can't just give them the war goal they got swayed for. Which, that would be really nice if you could. And secondly, like... It makes no like so the UK might get swayed against me when I am inside of their customs union and I'm so the the most obnoxious I think sway I ever had well actually you like allies just immediately de-allying you and joining the other side doesn't like that's that's beyond unpredictability the one where I was in Russia's customs union and I was attacking I think Lahej uh, or I was trying to subjugate the Quasmid state. And Russia joins against me, and it's like, what? And I'm literally trying to expand the customs union against, like, an unrecognized... And it just doesn't make any sense. The new fronts look nice, only if I didn't have the semi borked GPU. Rip the dream. I feel like most of the agreements should be made via the diplomatic play screen, and the, uh, from there you can do stuff like request something, and you can escalate to demand something. Yeah. And I also think you should, like, be able to, like... Uh, create like a diplomatic play in the same way that CK has uh, what is it like the the plots or like to overthrow your the it's not a plot but like to install like a new guy like I think you should be able to do that and see which countries you can privately negotiate with and like this type of thing and like it to actually feel like not just like this roulette like does my country just get shafted like type of thing Gains one setback. Well, we're going to gain the setback anyways. Uh, no, but we'd rather get the setback like this. Reset the census suffrage. Uh, yeah, the reset the, the, the chance. So this will give us a setback. Uh, but then we'll be, we'll be reset with much higher chance. And so, yeah. Oh, we forgot to, like, demand other stuff from them. Legislative failures. Yeah, we know. Now we have 19% instead of, like, 9%. So... We forgot to demand money from them as well. Alright. But that's looking pretty good for us. Oh my god, we gotta keep the construction going. We did set up here, though, that we are going to be building here. So let's build this, this, put them on auto-expand. And then, uh, put this on auto-expand. How much- oh my god, we have no infrastructure. Come on, my guy. Yeah. What an effing joke. Coal is abundant. Uh, Bahia, I know, is a decent state for starter, I believe, but lack of coal is a 
joke. There's coal all over the place. Yeah, I mean, they gave... They gave Persia a nice little treatment here. Uh, so let's kind of take a look at that. So Persia got massive buffs. Where do we have... We built coal somewhere. Alright, so here we have... I guess maybe we don't need them on auto-expand because they're expanding into nothingness. Uh, but if we look at potentials... Persia got massively buffed uh, and now has iron and coal in a bunch of states, but like here we just have it here. And maybe they need to rework a lot of these things, but like someone, a community member, like uh, did all the research for this. And like now there's a bunch of coal and iron in Persia, and Persia looks just like way better. It also comes on the back of them giving like a bunch of Persia DLCs, like in various things. So I feel like most of the agreements should be via diplomatically. Uh, yeah, there we go. We all read that. I hate when the. Uh, Put the person puts a war goal on your subject, and because I don't own the land directly, it qualifies uh, me for uh, war goal below zero. What? Schemes? Yeah, I think I'm thinking of scheme. I wish it worked like that. Are companies balanced now, or is same stats in beta? They are more balanced. Uh, I haven't. I can't actually look at all the companies right now. I can only look at companies where I have like uh, interests. Uh, but uh, they nerfed, for example, generic steel, which I think is. Uh, I think it's at a spot now where I'm not sure if I want to use it, but I think the generic ones are supposed to suck. Like, they're supposed to be worse. And so now it only gets 5% state construction efficiency, and so I, overall I think this is a good thing. Um, they also appear to have buffed some companies, so if we take a look at potential companies... Or not potential, I don't think it's in here. Um, or no, maybe it is. Uh, there's one company we saw that had 5% state construction efficiency, which is just like... Uh, uh, like, I mean, that's just such a strong modifier, but it was on, like, uh, yeah, this, uh, this one, no, wait, not this one, this one, uh, this electricity company, so, okay, electricity sucks balls as a, as a good, and, like, I'm, this, like, is maybe worse than steel if you don't already have steel, but it's giving state construction efficiency and infrastructure per population that is uncapped by the looks of it. This looks actually pretty solid, um, and so... I think we'll do spread the word. Look to get a little bit of migration interaction. Siphon off more pops from the UK here. Yeah. Sucks that we can't reduce autonomy. I think maybe we end our defense... Well, no. Let's not end our defense pact because it does allow us to sway better things. But, uh... Yeah. Did you even watch the Persia starting steps? What? Also look at EIC and DIC, uh, East India Company, and I, I'll have a hard time looking at the Dutch East Indies laws, to be honest here. I don't think I'll be able to do that. That'll be a, that'll be a little bit of a challenge. I won't be able to look at the Dutch East Indies laws. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Alright, we can look at these guys' laws, though. <laughs> hey, look! Look at this! They were forced to enact agrarianism? Oh no, they're currently enacting it. This is nice the way it looks though. Um, what, they start with the industry banned? No shout. Did they really start with industry banned? What the hell? They made corporate charters a tier two attack instead of tier one. Oh, that is a good shout. General Paradox uh, should sponsor you instead of the other people from Vic 3 trailers. I actually disagree. I think that Ludi makes more sense. Uh, like, uh, if we're just evaluating it from their perspective, Ludi makes more sense because he's more likely to bring pl newer players into the game that follow his EU4 content. Like, if you're looking at it from Paradox's perspective. Uh, I also think uh, the way he read it, it sounded like Paradox wrote the script anyways. And so if Paradox is writing the script and not Ludi, then, like, me reading the same script as Ludi, it's, like, one thing versus another. Uh, Japan now have ten, two 10% through... They have throughput on rice? Dutch country. Two 10% throughput on rice, uh, two coal, and 10% on a lot of natural harbors. Let's take a look. I, I, I haven't looked at... Is this what we're talking about here? Rice farms throughput. Okay. Oh, and they have more of these, too. Yeah, that is big nice. 
and they get a coal mines. Yeah. Do they nerf the 5% education access one? Wealth edu uh, I'm not sure. That one seemed insane. That seemed like they inputted it wrong. Yeah. But, like, that's wild that they start with banned industry. That is, that's, like, a big change for... This is a big change for 3v3v3. 3v3, like, which is, like, a lens through which we evaluate, like, a lot of stuff. Or at least I think it is. Eh, maybe it's not too big a deal. Yeah. It's super... It, but isn't it super easy to switch off industry bid? Yeah, so this might be better. The, the underground. Yeah, this is another thing. Is like, my videos do not have a lot of... Uh, they don't get, like, wide viewership. I just release a lot of videos. So, like, I have a decent view count. But... But, but, but... We might want to go after some of these guys here. Given the current state of affairs. Which is, uh... That they were all released, so we might want to go after Sandbass Pontiac. So we'll. Oop, are we at war right now, anyways? No, we're not. Okay, so let's take a save and go after some of these boys. We did boys. I'm not even sure which ones of these guys are the best to go for. Hmm. I actually don't know. I mean, I know that there's a ton of sulfur here. I guess South Sumatra is maybe okay. One infamy. Jesus. What about Java? Java actually has the most pops. So how much does this cost? 43 infamy. Yeah, no thanks. Smell you later. This costing one infamy. That, that's more my speed. All the pops are in Java. Is not being able to lower autonomy in intended future? I don't think it should be. I, I think the problem is these guys are considered our overlord. And so uh, we can't reduce autonomy uh, in here because they are, like, it's the same as declaring war on our overlord. And I think decreasing autonomy on your subjects should not be considered declaring war on your overlord. Like, uh, I think that it's a bit of a problem. Rice is nice. What happened in Austria? What do you mean what happened in Austria? Whatever do you mean? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What do you mean? Nothing happened in Austria. That's not even Austria. That's Prussia. They need to change Java being recognized. Oh, is it really recognized? Is that the problem? Yeah, I guess that is a problem. Interesting. Underground idol face, Jesus. I think they broke the military with the fronts. Electricity should be accessible by all state that have interrupted land connections through the production state. Thoughts? I don't think that that sh should be how it works. Uh, the technology for the time, I looked into this a little bit, is such that like that would not be even remotely in the neighborhood of possibility. Like, uh, you can't transport electricity. Like, if you had a... a you can't, from where electricity is produced, you can't really even transport it. What do you want? Okay. You can't even really transport it like half the length of a state. So like it even being just adjacent state, like uh, doesn't make sense from a realism perspective. Now, there we get the noise again. Uh, now it is absolutely completely miserable to... There we got the noise again. Oh. Is it hovering over the army? When zoomed out. <laughs> That's so obnoxious. <laughs> the phantom noise. <laughs> um, I completely lost my train of thought. I apologize. If what I was saying is important, please remind me. We don't mind that guy getting grifter, so we'll just go with it. Jamie, can you just, like, back down? Like, you know you want to... But this is going to be a ton of resources for us. Weird, interesting game start. God, the USA is going to hate us forever, huh? Good. Oh, it was regarding electricity. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, I, I just... Uh, I think it's super miserable to actually use 
and I think the gameplay is actually so tedious and annoying that I I, th I think that it's quite probable that they should just make it like not like local in the way that it is like it actually makes me not want to research electricity like it's not that the PM is like or the the tech is like objectively bad or something it's just like bro I don't want to do this you can't make me crying screaming and throwing up trying to implement electricity can someone tell me if is Great Britain buff for state modifiers or were they in 1.4? Uh, we can take a quick look. I think they're roughly speaking in the same in 1.4, but the Great Britain has a ton of really good mappy states, so they're effectively a bit buffed. Uh, oh, you know what? Relative to 1.4, I can't remember if all these coal fields give negative construction and uh, other stuff, but if they didn't before now, or if they did before now, they don't. But like the 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 last minute like mappy changes on the rivers is like such a big deal. All right, let's check our infamy. Reputable, of course. Once this gets integrated and the turmoil starts coming down, we'll be in good shape. A little bit rough right now though. Rough around the edges. I guess we'll just add more gold mines. God. All right, let's just check here what we can do. The gold fields, there's such a bad infrastructure there. God, it sucks. Wait, wasn't this the capital? Oh my God, the them play, putting the unis in the other place now is like really throwing me off. I think we'll just put this on auto expand here, and we will maybe build artillery foundry here. And recruit out of here the reason being was artillery and arms industries both use hardwood this is a place we're using making hardwood we will also build a furniture manufacturer here and we'll put it on auto expand we get our little voting voting wait why is that not the basic one? Oh my god did our pms get what did our pms get messed up by terrible we're about to get railways, though. Which is going to be fantastic. What time is it? We're going to have to get food eventually. I'm going to try and do this with, like, one food slash bathroom break. There's probably no way I can do a 10-hour stream with just one break, though. Which is kind of the goal. Unless there's, like, still 200 of you, then we might just keep going. I saw a video of me saying Iraq should get iron. I don't recall saying Iraq should get iron. I mean, if if there's video evidence, there's video evidence, right? But I, I don't remember. I don't remember putting that one in there. Thank God. Oh, I always forget we can build freaking naval places. I always forget we can build ports for the infra. Terrible. The transportation of electricity is still a major problem even today. Yeah, you just have like a lot more power plants all over the place, right? Uh, that's why green tech is still having a hard time. Did Zulu have oil extraction? Uh, Twenty percent. Wait, Zulu? Zulia? Wait. That's new. Nothing had oil extractors throughput before, to my recollection. Interesting. Let's check Bahrain. No. Nothing there. Is that just the only state that randomly has that now? That seems new to me. That's interesting. Okay, I mean, it's on the fishes, too, which is a little bit wild. I know that actually introducing more state modifiers 
actually causes quite a bit of lagginess or like performance problems so like it makes sense that they've just merged it but like this is a picture of a fish and it gives infrastructure and oil throughput i'm not sure i like that cosmetically as a representation of what's going on but okay fair enough we could offer support probably not Definitely seem a lot more reasonable than the ones before. We fully occupy there, and we will be pushing into Jambi. Ugh. God, it's... It's so... I'm, I'm correct, though, right? I, that this used to have iron and coal in Sao Paulo, and now it just doesn't? They just bricked the map, eh? They gave it all the content and then they bricked the mappy. Whatever will we do? Gonna need a lot more pops here too. So maybe gonna need to go to the drawing board in regards to swapping off the road maintenance here and instead uh, putting on, uh, you know, uh, migration edicts. Something like this. He doesn't know by heart where Zulia is. Terrible. Why do we even watch this guy? Extremely tedious with the electricity, yeah. Why do you prefer building icons over a course to list? I don't know, man. It just the... Uh, this, like, hurts my eyes. Sometimes I do this when I have to put in a lot of subsidies or, or uh, a lot of auto expands or this type of thing. But this just... It's probably bad. I should probably just play with the list. I could probably play faster without it. But, like... Also, uh... Oh, you know what? When I first started playing a lot... Uh, I actually considered whether or not to use this or this, and then my thought was, in terms of viewability, this l gives a better viewer experience, was my initial thinking why I started playing like this. I think it was a reaction of a playthrough by a developer playing as Iraq, I think might be mistaken. That might be it, I don't know, I don't remember it. Ludi has more of a salesman showman vibes, you have more of an engineer accountant. What do I say? Stack and wipe and something, something. Joke about wallets. Uh, the Anatolia should have a shit ton of more iron, though. Turkey was the seventh largest steel producer in 2021. Steak, steak oil salesman vibes. <laughs> oh, it looks like Ottomans fixed the border gore, except they didn't. Jesus, not like this. <laughs> the border just looks so bad. <laughs> oh my god okay yeah, basically uh so no uh non uh, none of dlc is native they just uh and they just focus region flavor packs yeah i don't think that the they're necessarily like needed but like they definitely do change things a little bit so for example at the very start of the game we promoted uh agitator to government this is not this grant leadership uh interaction is not available uh, if you don't have the Voice of the People DLC, for example. Um, France's uh, unique interest groups are only present if you have Voice of the People. So there's definitely, like, stuff that changes things uh, a little bit. But for the most part, yeah, it's not needed, which I think is great. Because it makes getting into the game easier. They, they're trying to make it so that nothing's necessary, but... <sighs> okay. Do we want to give this guy a radical? Probably not. Wow, we're gonna give the moderate, fearless visionary? Jesus. Would we want a reformer, though? Because we don't want to get... Uh, what we don't... We don't want a radical because we don't actually want to get off a of monarchy. But I think we would like a reformer, so we'll change him to a reformer. <clears throat> but we don't actually want... I thought we changed you to a reformer, my guy. Was that a different guy we changed? Traitor Wolf. Okay, so we could go elected bureaucrats, cultural exclusion, we could go, census suffrage, big nice. Rights of assembly would be okay. Oh, let's go no migration controls. That's kind of an easy one that we want to pass. God. Maybe it was a mistake not to research this next. Nationalism's not spreading to us, so we will get our some more dopamine. I mean content in just a sec. Sure. 
Maybe we could import some stuff. I think we don't... Yeah, we don't have any trade writs. We probably should have trade writs. <sighs> Are we importing silk? Let's import silk. Yep, yeah, we can import from the Ottomans and the Qing. Not a lot from the Qing. And we can try to export tools, maybe? Probably can't do it that well. To Qing, sure, I guess. Actually, this is the stuff we really want to export pretty aggressively, so... The luxury goods. Alright. We'll just leave it at that. Nope, we won't. We won't, because we saw that. Nope, nope, nope. Just kidding, we didn't mean any of that. Did it really not update instantly? What is this? Okay, fair enough, I guess. Maybe it's because they have a trade agreement with uh, the UK or something? Ideal Egyptian border, the truth hurts. Oh my god, I'm getting behind on the, the chat. Alright, let's try and get ourselves a war and then get caught up. So we'll save and then we'll... Generalist smite this intelligence, yeah, agitator. Who's trying to get rid of Pedro? Yeah, you know what? Fair. Smell you later. How dare you? This is Brazil. This is an 81 Honda, how dare you? No one's gonna get that movie reference, I feel old. You strongly dislike local prices? I apologize. Building list hurts. So if I have higher mappy, does that mean my goods are less affordable? Uh, so it means your goods will be more expensive, where you have a ton of sell orders for the goods, which means you'll have more profit, and it will be cheaper, where you have a lot of buy orders, uh, which will uh, help your profit and your SOL of your pops. Well, steel producer and iron producer are different. Uh, I imagine they're kind of tightly correlated in IRL history, though. There's some bad borders in real life, that's true. Do you know the what country shares the largest land border with France? Uh, let's see if anyone in chat knows this. Um, there be gold, Transvaal and Orania and good mappy. Yeah, so this is why we took, uh, took a little of this. Do have some other stuff to be doing though. You're low key salty. There isn't a Connecticut River. It helped New England industrialize during the Revolution. Yeah, there's a lot of, but there's also like, uh, with the canal uh, that led into here. I forget exactly where from, and like some of this stuff. Why no migration controls? It's the same as migration controls now, like in 1.4, uh, because you need it for the new Colossus event. You need to, you need to do it eventually. It's, it's small, but the, I mean, we, I mean, maybe we can do a better law, but this one's pretty easy to pass right now, and we're like, maybe there's better, but it is because the new Colossus event. Minus decree cost to the highest standards, Emperor Pedro, for five years. Whoa! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. When Vic 3 released, Anatolia didn't have an opium, but we have a state named Aphion, which literally means opium. Paradox being paradox. To be fair, it's not like they can get everything regionally right, like the Brazilian dream. Hell yeah, brother. We'll just give him that one. 
watching the start of the stream right now just to see your starting steps, and I want to say that the landowner will be coming abolition is funny as hell because the historical character was an abolitionist IRL. Maybe it's just functioning properly. WAD working as design, right? All right, so we get another one of these guys. Let's take a look at our infamy. It's starting to get a little bit low to go for these guys, but uh, we can probably still do it. Sambas is also going to have gold. We can't reduce autonomy, unfortunately. Uh, as long as we have uh, owe them an obligation and uh, also have a defense pact, which we want to maintain. I guess we actually do want to kind of subjugate uh, Selangor. This is like uh, a metagame thing that we've done re uh, repeatedly. We see some saying Brazil, Spain, Spain, Brazil, 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 Chile, Brazil. Chile is the best guess. <laughs> Magnificent Pedro Beard. I wish we could buff the Erie Canal. It would be so helpful to make the Midwest have naval bases. I hope uh, Russian, Australian, Ottoman all get flavor packs. I'm sure they will down the line. The correct answer, though, to the question is indeed Brazil. The largest land border with France is Brazil. So we'll just go after these guys here. Uh, this is the largest land border with France. Uh, of course, the map projection makes this one look bigger. Uh, this is IRL borders, uh, you know, where you have the border with Belgium. It looks bigger on this map projection, but in terms of actual land, this border is bigger. And is the biggest land border. What's up, Arcade? How's it going? Here, let's look at Pedro's magnificent beard. Look at him all proud and Pedro-like. My name is actually Peter, which, like, in Spanish is Pedro, so, fitting. Just topped on. What did you miss? Everything. Uh, well, I mean, we've been going for, like, th three hours. No, we've been going for four hours, so quite a bit. Uh, but we're starting out, we're playing as Brazil, and we're playing the new patch, and we're having fun. We've got some memes, and, uh, the UK thumbed our pie immediately, so it's just like, you know, to some extent, normal Victoria 3. Is Guyana France proper? Well, I d what do you mean by France proper? It's the de jure and the de facto border. It's de jure and de facto border, like, French territory. So I, I guess I, it would depend what you mean by France proper. I'm not... I, yeah, I don't know what you mean by France proper. Are there a lot of French people there? No. Well, actually, maybe they are considered French. They're ethnically not French. They're nationalistically French. The truth deepens, the truth hurts. We get nationalism, which I think unlocks new options here. Oh, we have to integrate Paulistas. How do we do this? We need a regional national hero that has been proclaimed. Uh, the river of coffee journal entry is activated and completed. Okay, so let's take a look here then. We have the river of coffee. What do we need for this? We need intensive agriculture. Maybe we should research it. But that hurts our soul, so... And we don't like when our soul is hurt, so maybe we won't. I want to start leaning in now to some of these... Oh man, it's finally getting Infra in like these places is going to be so nice. So, so, so nice. Oop, let's make sure everything's on... This... I think we pop off a little here with the railroads. And then, you know, coming up on, what do you want here? No. But now we have a native interest here. So we can start declaring more interests. So we do want eventually want to put interests in Canada so that when they rev, we can sway onto their side. Um, Let's just put it in the Rhine for now. You mean a French state? Oh. 
Yeah, I don't know the statehood status, like, vis-a-vis, -vis, like, French stuff. Look at Oregon, though. They actually colonized this stuff instead of just leaving it blank for all of eternity. Yeah, we could definitely... I think we just, like, can't... A little bit rough on the construction. I suppose we're only at 49, though. You just wanted to start the stream and went away? Did generalists lose per oblivion? Nope, we still got it. Well, we got it in the second war. The first war, we backed down, so that was a hot mess. Like, in terms of optimal starting steps, definitely, uh, you're going to want to... <laughs> you're going to want to find another war to get the UK to dogpile you on. Like, if we had rivaled Argentina and started a war goal to humiliate them, and then the UK joins to ban slavery, and then we back down, that would have been preferable. Yeah. So... Did they fix the mass Indian migration? Yeah, they reverted it back to 1.5.4. So the migration, there's now, uh, we are struggling. We're in the British market, but we are, you know, struggling to uh, get migrants. So, which is kind of just back to business as usual, to be honest. We maybe should have gone pharmaceuticals before water tube boiler. I don't really know. Um, especially because we're passing like mi no migration controls where we could in theory be going for better laws. Will Britain still give you EIC this patch? I don't know. We'll find out. They did give us Oregon. They gave us their Oregon. So, uh... We get a Sotho secession. A little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Oh, and we also have a war. They didn't just back down like all the others. Paint me like one of your French maps. Alright. So, odds protector, I forgot mid-step doesn't change tax color. Rip money, yeah, rip the dream. Generalist checking that P-jug, yep, yeah, basically. In both directions. Alright, let's take the inactive chance and the setback and uh, just try and get on this a little bit faster. But yeah, do want the whatever Colossus of that. The new Colossus, not the great Colossus. <laughs> All right, we'll just put these guys in on this border. And I think that we're gonna change your icon, my guy. Ooh, what? Nope, we're gonna, we don't wanna do that. Iron Army, the landing squad, the landing squad. They both have pushing, all right. I think we wanna, let's see, we have, let's change your icon here. Let's make it universal like this. A little lightning, and then let's change your icon here. A little Praetorian action, and we'll make them, I don't know, green? Sure. Oop, we see. Wait, what? Why can't we offer our support? Bro, we can't do this if we have an app. <laughs> what? But we're not even allied to them. I'm so confused. We have a defense effect. Oh, it auto calls in because the defense effect is. Wait, what? Why can't we sway in here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> That makes sense, of course. Of course, we can't join a play against our overlord. <sighs> Joining would be count as being against our overlord because it's against one of our overlord subjects. Man, this is just like... We're gonna screenshot this. This is gonna be the screenshot we use when we make a complaint about this on the Discord. <sighs> Regarding, like, the, the overlord, like, relationship. Like, there needs to be, like, a third relationship where, like, overlord... Customs Union Overlord is just fundamentally different than, like, other Overlord types, because it causes really weird interactions. Uh, true spading meta, yeah. The Greater Colossus, the Greatest Colossus. Oh, wow, we get a new national hero! He's the hero of Brazil. And he will be to integrate the Sulista people. Are those the ones we needed? No, we needed the Paulistas integrated. 
Do a promotion? Sure, he's earned it. I think this is the really good guy anyways. Yeah, yeah, let's do this one, I guess. We're already losing so much money. What's a little bit more? Really need our, our auto queue to pick up some st slack here. Our investment pool is not really... Yeah. The truth hurts. Wait, why are we... Uh, we're going to kick this to the back of the queue. We will want it eventually. We get no migration controls. Maybe it was the... Yeah, maybe we got nuked because that one guy stopped approving of us. Okay, so... We are going to want to... I mean, I didn't want to rev here. I guess this doesn't force a rev, but... And the Catholic Church is a little bit happier with us. Maybe we go that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if play is still in chat and he was complaining about law passes, it's like, we already passed a lot of the laws we want to do. I don't think we want to go on a universal... Or we can't even go on a universal right now, so I think we go rights of assembly, but like... Uh, earlier this was looking like it was going to spike a rev. It still might spike a rev, and so... Didn't want to go for it then. I think we'll just go for it now, but, like, uh, we might not even... We're really waiting on the health institution being able to do it. The greatest colossus. An interest in North India is good with all the minor revolts. That's true. Where did we put our... We put another interest somewhere, but, yeah. Ryan. I was thinking eventually we want to maybe do some vassal feeding Confederation of the Rhine business. Oh, what's this? Luxembourg got independence at some point. That's interesting. Don't see that. Is the new combat system fun? I like it a lot. We've definitely been playing a lot with it already, though, because we've been playing the beta. Uh, a decent... Oh, we lost our... Oh, okay, we lost our big-ass big, big -ass gold state. That makes sense. Mm. I mean, we want to spend the authority, because it's, like, really not that useful. But, like, what are we going to use with it? I mean... I guess we just tax people. Wow, is transportation tax going to be super profitable? Jesus. The transportation tax actually makes sense. I don't think I've tracked transportation once in my life. It makes the most money while not taxing, like, uh, the, uh, the lower run pops goods. And then we are now under the threshold, so we're going to up the taxes here. We're also in a lot of pain. Crying, screaming, throwing up. Mostly throwing up. Probably you should order food soonish, though, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Let's ask chat. Start a little Polsky here. Are we getting pizza or Brazilian? <laughs> pizza or Brazilian? Sind into Punjab? Ah. That also makes sense, uh, but the the UK is also likely to join against you for sin. This happens a lot, so like in theory it's good, but in practice it's like uh, this is the best Victoria three patch. Uh, Victoria three is saved. This is the worst Victoria three patch. It's dead. Yeah, basically it's, there's no middle ground. Uh, Tarkasar, shout out to Tarkasar for everyone who likes uh, the tutorials that are more min maxi. He has a lot of Victoria three content. I, I recognize the YouTuber this time. Last time I had a big stream, I didn't recognize the YouTuber, and it was humiliating. Uh, sure, I guess. Lewd book time. I'm here to see if Vic3 is good yet, Copium. Uh, on release, there were three things I complained about. This kind of fixes the second of the third. Would be kind of the way I would do it. Reverse swaying looks really fun, but also super exploitable. It is. They need to nerf particularly the numbers you get. Uh, they, they've adjusted so that 
they won't be willing to give states, but in particular, if you have an alliance or a defensive pack, they're way too willing to transfer subjects to you. Um, and so I think that what you do is you, you know, get a defense pack slash alliance with the UK, and then you just, like, transfer all of Canada and then Australia and the EIC, and you're like, ha ha ha, I'm so good at the game. Uh, and so this is uh, kind of the meta games here. What do you think about mechanics? I mean, for example, instead of general water mechanics, that was in Vic 2, now they're using trade points. Wait, what? Trade points? I'm not sure what you mean by trade points. I might have lost something in translation. We're going to import a couple things and export a couple things, but for the most part, uh, you know, our, our trade routes aren't going to be that, that great. We're going to specifically just trade all the luxuries with Ching. Why is this not costing us any bureaucracy? I'm so confused. That might be bugs. We don't have a trade... Or does the UK... Oh, the UK must have a trade agreement with them. Got it. That all makes sense. It'll all check it out. Okay, so now we need to incorporate this again. Big sad. And we're going to get rid of this railroad tax. And then we are going to increase this so we can put in three edicts and we're going to put in again violent suppression oh wait why can't oh it's not doesn't need to be violently suppressed no more yay we're going to encourage resource industry and we're going to do greener grass perfect per -per perfect and then we'll come in here and we'll start building up again i can rebuild them she says looking at the lifeless corpse okay We'll do this and then put this on auto expand and add a couple, I guess. I mean, we're really just going to be cranking up the gold mines after we get the railroads in. Order food? I'd go with Brazilian, definitely. Yeah. YouTuber approves. Starvation pizza. <laughs> Brazilian, absolutely. How are we going to make the bar higher? <laughs> We need a neutrality sway. Yeah, this is, so my other complaint about, like, so three things weren't very good on release of uh, Victoria. Uh, the first was the UI. The UI was massively improved. For anyone who remembers the dark days where, like, you actually couldn't figure out infrastructure unless you clicked here, and this was the only way you could look at infrastructure, those were dark times. Uh, so that was the first thing. And then the second thing was, like, warfare. And I think they fixed it, fixed it with, I think this fixes a lot of the front problems. And so... You can kind of like set your warfare in like this type of thing and like it's not perfect because you can't declare multiple wars simultaneously you can't change war goals after the war has been declared but whatever okay it's largely a, a, the bigger problems are fixed but like diplomatic plays are still psychotic so um yeah also like replay playability is a little bit of a concern but like i don't know maybe i'm just memeing with like the amount of hours i have saying re replayability is a bit of a problem Let's switch everything to condensing pump and continue. But we do need to. Where's the wallet? There's the wallet. Do need to think about the food at this point, or I am thinking about the food at this point. Allow me to. <laughs> allow me to rephrase. We don't need to. We are. I am become food. We're getting Brazilian. It looks like. I do. I do like me some Brazilian barbecue. Trying to catch up on the chat. Oh wait, you know me? Well, that's Pog. Uh, you watch my content all the time, dude. That's wild. The the like I was gonna do a what is it? Uh, I was trying to figure out the best way to do the one where you go like uh, industry band. By the way, if you in case you haven't noticed, uh, Tark, uh, the you start with uh, industry band. You start with industry band on your laws in. East India Company. It looks like they've swapped out. Uh, but <clears throat> I was trying to do the industry band achievement, or I was trying to figure out the way to do it. And I was doing, like, I thought you had to have Dixie or, like, or a Dixie or Yankee primary ho homeland. And so I was, like, trying to do some arbitrage thing out of here. I thought California didn't work. And then he released a video on doing it with California, which I think is the best way to do it. And then I was like, okay, I'm not going to make a video on this because there's already a good video on it. I remember once OPB stream dropped generalist. Yeah, he did. 
Someone like really big dropped me, and then I was like, I don't know who that is. And it was uh, it was humiliating. Uh, Cuban Wargaming says transfers subject sways should we give you a metric ton of infamy. Yeah, it should give you infamy too or something. You wish incorporation progress stayed? I do too. Uh, like it's super annoying with the twenty year incorporations. If you're like ten years in and you hit it, just but generally speaking, if you've had a place for an ex like over five years, it usually you don't lose them afterwards. Can we offer a sway? Come subject? No. All right. Become subject might also be like impossible to sway. We haven't swayed it yet this round, so we'll see how it goes. Trade root points uh, dots. Sorry, I don't mean to describe the yellow circles. Oh, these. This is just how many, how much convoys it costs. But yeah, uh, initial release was a nightmare. Yeah. Did you try the leak build? I did not try the leak build. Pizza Hut makes the best Brazilian facts. No one out Brazilians the pot. You could declare uh, multiple wars earlier with a bug. Yeah, but I, I think you should be able to declare multiple wars. I think that you should just be punished more for having high infamy. Like, it, ooh. Wow, well, speak of the devil. Let's do some stuff. But, like, currently, like, the infamy is, like kind of a bit of a non-factor. What should we even use the infamy on? I mean, we want to reduce autonomy and... Oh, we can change their laws. Because uh, they are a subject. Ban your slavery. Get rid of it. Um... <laughs> we could just try and gimp them as much as possible. I think we won't do this for now. We can see their companies, which is also nice. They have the gold company. Oh my god, I'm losing my train of thought. C nodes. Yeah. But yeah, the EIC starting on it is like crazy. If you're playing the EIC, you can kind of pass whatever laws you want, and then the UK helps you out when you force a rev, so it's like whatever, but yeah. Super excited to catch you live. Uh, thank you. Ah, no. Uh, only recently discovered channel. Yeah, uh, welcome to the street. PL has ruined you now that you think any game with less than 104 hour, 400 hours of gameplay is too short. Yeah, this is like the classic, uh, the classic like Vic 3 experience, right? Or like Paradox game experience like, going on Reddit, and, like, people are like, this game has no replayability, and then you have, like, 500 hours, and you're like, okay. It's like, I feel like sometimes people haven't played, like, one of those games that's, like, it's just a storyline game, and it's, like, uh, it's only, like, it's, <laughs> is barely, like, 25 hours long, and then you'd never replay the game. The game has, like, zero replayability, and, like, it's like, all right, then we're done. Oh, we don't need to do this one. Yeah, let's not do this. We have some government admins in the queue. So we can just finish those instead. I forgot about that. Lifting a strategy game is perfect combo, basically. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, it should be in the description below. Not saying it is, but it should be. Um, it links to my other, one of my other YouTubes, which is Lifting YouTube. Um, so... Someone big dropped me and I didn't even know who that was. Giga Chad General is Tark. I'm pretty sure you're bigger than me, so. I'm, or I think you have more subs. I don't know if you have more monthly views. Just arrived. How's the new narrative content? It's pretty good. We're kind of cruising through it. Banning slavery was very easy because we are super handsome and good at the game. How do you pronounce, uh. Jif? <laughs> Gif? <laughs> Jif? <laughs> Brazil? New form parties. Let's take a look. Ooh, uh, the Liberal Party looks looking pretty hot. <laughs> Did you refer to generalist as gaming? Well, if you're differentiating between my channels, it makes sense to call it the gaming channel. Are we really losing a power rank? That's, like, not very pog. I guess we'll just do this. Our economy is like also like not doing so hot. God, please make the pain go away. 
It's <laughs> Mr. Gaming to you. <laughs> Diplomatic play uh, limit capacity or DDLC? Oh my god. I would love to say DDLC. All the time. Any idea how performance is on this version? No, we haven't gotten deep enough in here. We're gonna slow this down so we can catch up on the, the chat. I think one of those people with 500 hours who thinks the game is, uh, you're one of the people with 500 hours. I got, I got some news for you. The expectations, uh, is, does not correspond properly with reality, if that's the case. <laughs> I definitely, like, get it, because you want the game to be different, and you think about the game a lot because you've played several hundred hours. You know, like, the, nobody cares about the 20-hour games because they just, like, move on and, like, play something else. And so they don't get mad. The, the, yeah, the hourly is, like, you're paying, like, per hour for entertainment when you have, like, 500 hours. Well, as long as you're being entertained and you're not suffering, like, the hourly is absolutely insane. Remember in battle reinforcement? I remember a bug where one troop would just never die and I would just get stuck with an army just getting meat grinded for forever. And they were still recruiting Isabel de Branca. Women are not fit to rule. Isabel must be groomed to be the throne. I think we uh, will choose this one. Whoa, whoa. Unfortunate pa passing of Francisco de, de Paula de Branca left Brazil without a male heir. All right. I think I know what chat wants, but maybe we vote for chat on this one. So start a poll. Oh, yeah. You patiently await the turtle aisle run. It has to get through the votes. Although one uh, the one person so far has subscribed to my uh, Patreon, which I like launched yesterday or the day before, so that person will get to decide the fate of the run. <laughs> one person should not have all that power. If it was two people, that would actually be like hell, though, because like, what if they vote for different things? Uh, more subs for me, sure, but that's. Uh, about the respectability of the content. You're one of the few Vic 3 containers that you can watch. Big nice. Endorsed by Tarek here. You heard it first. Let's screenshot that. I, to be honest, I don't watch that much Vic 3 content, so. What formables did they add? They added uh, the European Union, uh, of which the funniest station to form it as is the Dutch East Indies. Um, or well, what was once the Dutch East Indies. They added a Benelux, which is just Netherlands United. Um, they added the Confederacy of the Rhine, which is, like, kind of a bit to explain, but it's, like, an opposition to Prussia and Austria, and you can get it if you get two subjects in this area. Um, and, or you can form it yourself, I think, under certain conditions. And then um, they added uh, this, like, greater uh, Rio de la Plata, which is Argentina Plus, and then uh, also, like, I think a big formable between the three, which we're not going to be doing, but we would have been doing if Argentina won the vote, and so um, we will groom her for the rule. It seems that people are uh, pretty much fan in, uh, but Pedro does get less popular. Big sad. Pedro less popular. Womp, womp, womp. But Isabella, got her head's enormous, and she's hated. She's also reserved and tactful. She's also, notably, not a child. Isabella, we're gonna screenshot this. Not a child. You thought she was a child? No. Not a child. She's just not very popular. A little bit of a problem here, though. We'll have to... We'll have to get the progress bar kind of going. Magnanimous Monarch. Not sure how we do that exactly, but okay. <sighs> this DLC is not available for you. Steam says you don't have it. Uh, try control alt delete and processing Steam and restarting Steam. Uh, I'm still to surpass 26 hours uh, on Dota with Vic3. I'm still 600 hours short. You have 2k Vic3 hours? That's more than me. Big facts. Big nice. Um, did you check the possible journal entries and how can I, how to unlock them, etc.? We took a look and I love how they're actually sorted now, but we see National Agenda, we have Naval Power, uh, which requires we get kind of a new PM and the Rise of Coffee seems to be the ones, but there might be some invisible ones, some hidden ones, some ones we haven't heard of. I think we have to resolve Magnanimous Monarch and the other ones first. 
so yeah how exp how's the expensive railroad ro looking man the railroad is finally finished or in here at least and so i think we will be fine on the we're not even fine on the infrastructure this is a lot this is terrible uh railroads just got nerfed in the ground in general it's like barely worth it to build a railroad for the purpose of uh getting like labor saving pms it's like it just feels which feels like really bad i think um I, I i don't think the tech should feel this terrible or like the the building should feel this terrible but it does groom the daughter to rule all right chat confirmed chat wants me to groom a minor perfect uh let isabel gatekeep girl boss gaslight it will pedro be what's the what's the three for guys uh mansplain uh manscape manslaughter all right that's another yeah that's which one's best let's get it in there I mean, he has a beard that's pretty big. So I'm not sure which one. We'll see what chat thinks. Chat will defy Pedro's fate. Do not fail, Magnanimous Monarch. I don't really know how we're supposed to gain progress here. Uh... So, it's, not, it's like, it doesn't tell us how we, or, well, okay, let's look at it again, then. It's not really telling us how we're getting progress. We're just getting progress through events, and they just give us one, or they don't give us anything. And we lost progress from doing the Isabella thing, so, like, what formidable tags does in Indonesia need? Interesting. The visible ones, but the navy ones practically impossible. <laughs> basically also continental regional formables like every Scandinavia would be nice I was really really pulling for commander command civic coalition sure why not we'll stay on for or uh, we say they can't leave do want to continue to pull migrants into there so uh, oh baby oh yeah we want that we actually have more pops there i think than we do here so oh we're gonna have so much gold it's gonna be so nice rice you said rice is nice gold is nice dlc seems quite difficult for brazil interesting what happened to railroads uh so they like proportionally their inputs and outputs are about the same but they like uh just crushed the overall level of transportation output and also the like input level such that like uh it's like they're just really not that profitable anymore and also um their their prices are entirely local for transportation uh which is like almost always going to be bad for the like good and so like now you either like you tend to get a lot of places with super depressed railroad prices which is also not ideal but like we can turn on rail transport here but uh so it's a lot harder to like actually consume stuff it's also very tedious like needing to like come in on everything and like uh like we don't have to do it right now because we only have level one railroads but we will have to like you know sort through this map mode and just comb through everywhere and just be like all right Let's find all the places with railroads, like, that have minus 75% price, which we do, so then we have to come in and then, like, hey, we gotta turn on the railroad PMs in here specifically. We can't turn them on everywhere, because then there will be shortages everywhere, but we need to turn them on here. And so, like, that's a that's a tedium thing and not a balanced thing, though. Balanced thing, like, overall the PMs are, are worse. And so, yeah. According to the game, she's an adult. That's fair. Jesus. Jolly Yolly Bolly hitting us with the, she may look like a child, but she's really not a child. The, like, classic, like, Jesus. All right. <laughs> OPB did a good one by making railroads, of course, give a uh, qualitative increase to Mappy. That is one railroad gives 5% and another. Yeah, that's, like, a good shout, too. That makes you want to build one port everywhere, one rail everywhere. But after the after the first one, it's, like, not that useful, right? 
Hover the word positive in the description. Okay. Pedro has been crowned emperor, ending his regency period. She's been confirmed heir of the throne. Landowners or uh, are these guys are uh, marginalized and complete the journal entries. Okay. I mean, if you guys want, we'll try and do the naval power one. We need to research power the purse, or we need at least one of power the purse to screw frigate. Fine. All right. Oh, it's not spreading to us. Perfect. Just kidding. We're not going to make any adjustments to how we're doing. We're going to keep being the problem. How do you integrate the Brazilian nation? We're waiting to just get a general for this Paulistas thing. Uh, who's going to be a national hero. I guess we have to fight people? Oh my god, this is forever ago. We were like, we need to start a war. Jesus. I apologize. I should probably try and get some calories and then also pee. Um... Because I do need to pee. That's a vibe. We won't mobilize the defensive army. Please show the cultures in Brazil, sir. Sure, we're gonna sort by, I assume this is kind of what you wanted sorted by. Number one, Afro-Brazilian, the Brazilian, then Zulu. So we could accept them. Actually, maybe we should go the, the cultural next step. I miss the days of running the economy on a government-owned railroad, Sag. Yeah, now this, uh, the problem was that it's also mutually exclusive with deficit spending. Or it becomes bad with deficit spending. Is non-government, non-subsidized railroads still sustainable? Depends what you mean. Uh, not really. But you know what I mean? Yeah, I probably do. That's true. <clears throat> I guess we will actually also mobilize this iron army. And we can do a free government reform. The truth hurts. I guess we'll do this. Where are we passing? Rights of assembly? Alright, so we need to have the intelligentsia in, which this does. Mm, it's a little bit of a yikes here. Considering those guys should leave. Intelligentsia is now powerful. Hot damn. So we get a little bit more enactment chance here. I would if they're cheaper per infrastructure. The... I mean, if the if they're less profitable, then they're not cheaper per infrastructure, but also they... Uh, they were, I think, one of the buildings that also went up by 77% construction costs, so it's a lot worse. Guess you'll wait till tomorrow to see if Paradox fixes. Fixes what exactly? They're not going to rebalance railroads, if that's what you're referring to. You were not expecting you to read the comments? Yeah. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, basically. The, I mean, <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny if you were joking. If you're not joking, I don't think it's funny at all. <laughs> Ottomans? What is the Ottomans doing here? What the fuck? This is why we save. Like, what the actual... They changed the AI. This is not something you would see normally. Sag. Um... Kind of want to reload here. Kinda don't want to randomly have to give up Amazonas and be humiliated. But this is what, uh, one of the things with diplomatic plays, like, this is not like, you know, like, if we're making decisions about what to do as a nation, like, just think as Brazil. Like, just think you're thinking of Brazil, you're like, I'm thinking of taking New Granada. Who do I have to worry about? It's like, okay, you know, Great Britain, France, I should have, try and have good relations with these guys. I should try and think about, you know, what they might think and look they're protective and we're inside protective i think i can make a move i think i can go for new granada okay let's do it and then it's like the ottoman empire is joined against you <laughs> what <laughs> well they have all this internal turmoil and they don't care about borders at all obviously um they've joined against you it's like okay okay and then denmark denmark with their like five boats or five battalions they're like no you can't have new granada it's like okay 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> you got us here. We do need to generate a decent amount of infamy. The thousand year old dragon defense. Yeah, the thousand year old dragon defense, basically. <laughs> she's not a child, she's a thousand year old dragon. Yeah, I'm not gonna even like make a, make a larger commentary on what I think of that defense. <laughs> like, other than it's like, uh, it's, it's never made in good faith, <laughs> I don't think. Or generally, well, yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Paradox always releases DLC just before the exams, it's a conspiracy. You find it frustrating PMs have to be managed by the player, each player should figure out, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I would like the ability to override something if I'm just, like, so for example, sometimes you actually use bad PMs intentionally. Um, and, like, I, I think that this adds a lot of texture and nuance and interesting stuff to the game. However, <clears throat> however, what do you want to be swayed for? Transfer states? Transfer subject? I don't know. They're very unlikely to be back down because they're, um, yeah. God, we're really just hemorrhaging money. Alright, we're just gonna put a lot of this stuff that isn't gold to the back of the queue. Um, if these landowners are out of government, Denmark started with New Granada, basically. By the way, why don't you see an outright annexation plays for the one na state nations? Uh, are you talking about going on these little guys? Uh, just because we're trying to keep the infamy low, and, like, we don't really need slash want the territory immediately. Ottomans are like, excuse me, New Granada's in our sphere of influence, little bro. Basically, 100%. Like, this is why... Like, when people ask me to play on Iron Man, first of all, I've pulled it multiple times, and the general public uh, prefers that I don't play on Iron Man. So this is thing one. If in those pulls, Iron Man play crushed, I would play on Iron Man anyways, and then I would just tear my hair out a lot. So that's the first thing. But the second thing is, like, diplomatic plays are just so absolutely psychotic, that, and, like, you're just, like, super the victim of, like, uh, the AI, and it just, like, super speed bumps your run, and you just wouldn't declare wars. Like, this would be the the, the, the adjustment, and I think that people, generally speaking, don't want to see that adjustment. We're gonna order some Brazilian soon. In my game, Peru, Bolivia was torn apart by Brazil, Grand Colombia, and Chile. That is cool. That is super neat. Who are you playing as? Because, I, I mean, we, we chose that path, but we didn't walk down it. Really? Truly? Alright, so this is the landing squad, but, but, we have the landing squad and the twosing squad. We're gonna transfer from the twosing squad over to the landing squad. Uh, a couple line infantry. Oh, uh, we have hussars instead of lancers here. We don't want that, actually. Can we upgrade? Oh no, we have now too many. Okay, we can upgrade these guys to Lancers. And we'll move one line infantry back. Didn't mean it. Do we have anyone with off expert offensive planner? Hell yeah, brother. The landing squad, ramming speed here. We'll land over here, or attempt to. Ten weeks. All right, cool beans. Take Denmark colony. Yeah, I don't even know how they have an interest there, but that's like not even a normally a place either of these guys declared interest as well. Like they don't normally put interests here, anyways. I don't fuck with the historical Brazil Ottoman War of 1851. I do not. <laughs> Specifically, want the Suez Canal, but uh, do want the Panama Canal. Makes perfect sense. They just forgot which one was which, to be honest. A normal thing. In the span of a year for the destruction. Also, feels like Vic 2 needs military access, diplomatic requests. I assume you mean Vic 3, in which case I would agree. If you mean Vic 2, I don't know. 
genocides were bad PMs. What hair, bro? Exactly. This is what I'm saying. I would normally have a full head of hair. I've already I've already had to tear it all out. I, <laughs> everybody was goofy on this game. I'd do it if the diplomacy wasn't so stupid. Yeah, this is basically my point exactly. There's a uh, reason achievements in this game are available without Iron Man. 100%. This is, this is also the first... I played, uh, like, Iron Man on the other games, too. Although, latest Vic, uh, Crusader Kings run up is not on Iron Man, but... Like, I played EU4 on Iron Man. I restarted, like, some rounds, like, 50 times. It was super obnoxious, but, like, this... I didn't reload. I also birded, like, sometimes in some of my rounds. Like, my one... One... One fates, one tag, like... But, like, I'm not... <laughs> It's, it would take so much longer to make content, too. As well. They definitely made AI more aggressive. Yeah, they feel more aggressive here. We're gonna say let them fight. Unless there's some spectacular reason not to. This guy's actually pretty nice. Good. We're gonna let him fight. <laughs> He's fucking dead. <laughs> oh, tragedy about. Alright. Smell you later, bro. Alright, we probably have to order our Brazilians sometime soon. So we'll kind of be half doing that half. Is this the permanent one? No. Okay, never mind. They said they changed the permanent one. The one that gets permanent negative approval. They said they got rid of that, which I'm a big fan of. We were Grand Colombia, but the wars were started by Brazil in like 1846. Interesting. What's your army comp uh, meta in this patch? I'm not sure what it is. I have to pay like closer attention to exactly how the barring of troops works because this is it's highly contingent on that. Uh, but I think it, it could just be like half and half across the board for um, you know artillery versus uh, infantry, with the exception of landing squads leaning more on lancers and artillery. So this should just be Lancers plus Artillery, um, but which we might actually start working that in. Rights of Assembly, big nice. Laws. Guaranteed Liberties. Yikes. Suppose we don't need the Greener Grass, we probably actually don't need the Roadmate. Well, what do we have here? Get rid of one of these. <sighs> Let's get rid of the greener grass. I'm not sure if this is the correct one to get rid of, but we're getting rid of that one. God. Can we just, like, not have to decrease construction? That would be fucking spectacular. But it's not looking like it. Mr. Gaming plays CK3. I played a little, little bit on stream uh, this Saturday because I didn't want to play more Vic 3 when I'm about to play a ton of Vic 3. That's kind of the idea. Uh, I also like, I really like the vampire like mod. Alright, how, how do these look? Not good. That's not ideal. That's super not ideal. God damn it. Alright, let's, let's put one of these back at the top, I guess. Which will increase our landings, uh, like, number to 16, but this is not ideal. Unless we manage to grind them down, but I, I don't know how well we can do that. He plays the best Paradox game, let's go. In the abstract, is it the best? Like, if we're trying to judge it, not based on, like, what we like, but, like, which one is actually, like, best? What's the best game? I feel like Hoey might be the best game, or EU4. Alright, we should get multiple battles in. And now our mod is up to level 16, so we won't have to suffer the malice, because we built up one more ship. And their ships are trying to do something, trying to be somebody, trying to not just talk about it, but be about it. Birding, birding is when you, uh, so birding, if you're playing an Iron Man on EU4, and a full month hasn't passed, you can just go control alt delete and task on the game. It will not auto save out, and you can do this to re roll uh, like RNG. And so, for example, uh, my, for my one tag, one faith run, 
I was playing as Austria, and every time a royal marriage or like there was death of a royal marriage in a way that was not beneficial to me, I would just bird. And in doing so, like in the first like 20 years of the game, you can get like personal unions with like France and the UK or whatever it is, uh, which makes like the rest of the game very, very easy. And so like this is how uh, you can still be on Iron Man and also get stuff you maybe shouldn't be able to get. So uh, this is the idea. And like that's that's how it works. So that's uh that is the bird. Surely he will order the Brazilian hut soon. Yeah, you're right. I'm actually like super hungry and like I'm actually thinking uh it's starting to affect the quality of my play quite a bit, so let's actually maybe do that. Oh my god. It's a qual it's affecting the quality of my ability to order pizza, which is actually probably even worse. No one out Brazilians the hut. That's fair. The spineless moderate. We will not give him the popularity. Just gotta order our usual. So what's our usual, bro? The truth hurts. I hate when they change the menu. Oh my god, chat's gonna be so far behind. So chat, what's everyone eating today? Is everyone eating Brazilian or Brazilian? Oh, it's not available yet. What, they don't do delivery? Oh my god. This is terrible. They used to do delivery at this time of day. We gotta wait like an hour and a half, boys. This is terrible. This is the worst. Brasilia the Hut doesn't deliver yet. But our, our naval landing's getting in. Our naval landing is getting in. Coincidental crashing. Yeah, convenient crashing. Control out fog. Definitely putting his input in here. <laughs> Defaulting the old hoey type approach with a balance of infantry and artillery with extra horseback on the flank. There's no, like, I, I think you don't use horse seats for the flanking, but. Because it doesn't give you, it gives you the most proportional to the number of units that have it, so. I have to live through you, generalist, although I have the DLC bundle. I don't have the DLC because of Steam. Rip the dream. Rip the Steam. Baby, we get in. Let's go, baby. How's our week monthly balance? Still terrible. All right. Can we join this? Offer support. Transfer subject. A. I'm assuming the transfer states they're very uh, open to transfer. If I recall correctly, unincorporated states. British Kenya. Well, you mean to tell me that we can sway in for British Kenya and completely kneecap their ability to colonize in exchange for our ability to colonize? Okay, I get. Well, actually, I guess we should actually look if EIC transfer EIC was in here. We're gonna feel really stupid if it was. No, it's not. Okay, perfect. Wow, South Africa. Did you become South Africa? You did. All right. They accepted our support. Expected our support, more like a. Objectively, I think either Hoey or you for it. Yeah. I, you, you, I said it before you could type it, rip. The, like, I, I mean, I know it's not Vicky 3. I certainly enjoy playing Vicky 3 a lot. White piece? Bro, what are you on about? Wait, why, the, why is he offering white piece? The hell? Don't we have partial occupation? Bro. We're getting in there, my friend. Nice and deep, like... We're grinding your bones to dust, my friend. EU4 has less snowflakes than uh, it. Yeah, I stopped playing EU4 at Leviathan, and it left just, like, a really bad taste in my mouth. But now if I want to play it, I would get the, like, $5 pass or whatever. Oh, look, a bird. What's the cost-effective way to remake your army starting as GP? Is it, what, when is the cost-effective way to remake your army starting as GP? I think you don't remake your armies. I think you just 
slowly built up the artillery only or something like this. Has the game crashed yet? No, we, we, we're in like four or five hours, so um, we're doing pretty good. Holding strong. Show credit card details on stream, basically. The classic. On the numbers on the back, 6969, obviously. Numbers on the back of my card. You try to speed rub <laughs> fishing or something, basically. <laughs> New fishing speed run. Fish. He's trying to make a video. How to speed run streamers. This is dirty. I think we go for Hudson Bay Company now. Dirty, dirty. And then we will be able to federate Australia. So I guess they haven't fixed all of this. Or it, what? what is, in my opinion, would requires fixing but fair enough uh we're building up the gold mines we're starting to not run too big a deficit here so this is kind of nice are we still landing i think we're still landing god this naval landing's taking forever though it's almost gonna take as long as the pizza although if we don't have pizza we are gonna need to take a bathroom break and like very very soon so i'm but a man i must pee you're gonna eat some Brazilian and chips pretty soon? Perfect. Tark understood the assignment. <laughs> Brazilian and chips. Hey, we finally get in. We're finally gonna enforce. Sigs and coffee? Don't you mean... I mean, how do you add Brazilian to that? Brazilian and cigarettes? I don't know. What toppings do you get on my Brazilian? Uh, so... If I'm ordering delivery, like, I hate to not order a lot, so I'll order enough to have, uh, leftovers, but the plan was to get, uh, an extra life pepperoni, and then a, like, cheese bread with jalapenos and bacon, and then another cheese bread with, uh, bacon and sausage. And the cheese bread is, like, it's just, like, a regular pizza, but instead of having the marinara base, it's got, um, it's got, like, a butter base or something like this. Um... But it's, like, effectively the same thing. And it's got, like, garlic dust on it. So that's good. That's what my Brazilian needs is. What's your social? Mother's maiden name and uh, first pet, please. Yeah. My mother's last name is not even my last name. So this, uh, Godspeed. I have, like, docs that she has a PhD in economics, I suppose. So... I mean, if someone was, like, hard determined to figure out who I am and who my mother is, they probably could. Wow, we're, we're getting a, quite a few subjects out here. What's our infamy? Alright, so we're gonna take a save, and we're probably gonna abandon the UK in these wars. After having get, gotten... Gotten Kenya. Almost the same color of Galetti here. And the Hudson Bay Company. We're gonna say... We're gonna say, smell you later. Like, in theory, this should just give, like, huge relations debuff as well, but it doesn't, which is, like, pretty stupid. Um, I mean, we would go for New Granada, but apparently uh, the Ottomans don't like that. It's in their sphere of influence. Maybe we could go for Venezuela here. We do have to land Venezuela. We don't actually have a land border with them, but we have a big enough uh, army that we could land them. God. This is the worst timeline. Can I get Brazilian pizza with extra Brazil nuts, please? Disgusting. Vile. You know, uh... Oh, man. I mean, technically, I shouldn't say it because of demonetization reasons, but you know, technically, uh... Brazil nut allergy is actually sex sexually transmittable. You can sexually... It's the only allergy that you can trans transmit via, uh, sex. And you can transmit Brazil nut allergy. Which is, like, the wildest thing. I've ever heard of. I guess we probably do want cultural exclusion and not to wait for multiculturalism. And maybe that's kind of the last, like, really good law we can pass. Except for we're researching pharmaceuticals. Just kidding. No discrimination. Well, we, we're going to give you that instead of healthcare. Uh, I think we'll go intensive agriculture next just because, uh, for the Brazilian content. I would just want to be as clear as possible. I don't think this is the best to research next. But we can confederate Canada, though. <laughs> we can confederate Canada as the Brazilian. Everyone remembers the Brazilian, you know, things of Canada. So, 
We'll also get our pizza order set up, I guess. I see, I sorry, I mean our Brazilian order. Definitely a Brazilian. Order Brazilian the Brazilian coffee? Oh you're right, you're right. Brazilian coffee. What about divergences? I love divergences. Is it updated for 1.5? Yeah, that's what you get in Mexico for just rolling over the first time. You get the business after the USA already got the borders. What do they want from you? <laughs> get sound gated, chat. You didn't hear any of those smacks, but I did. <laughs> They're just going for it all. Brazil seems strong early game, but tough. A similar Ottomans if you want to keep the monarchy. Yeah, they are a little bit tough uh, from lack of pops, and then, like, the migration is, like, diluted, so you don't actually get your migrants to the spots you want them as much. Uh, but then, like, later on, you get, like, really strong. We could sway with transfer subjects. It looks like Ottomans are okay with this. Thanks, Daddy. I'm going for war reps and other stuff as well. Ban slavery. I guess we want to start swapping our landed squad to using mobile artillery as well. So we'll build a couple of these in Sao Paulo where we have, you know, our, our stuff. Do we not have any access to sulfur ourselves? Is this something we don't have? Yeah, we don't have sulfur. That's kind of what I thought. All right. We're going to need uh, also some more railroads here. So we'll build them in Versat. Freestadt. It sounds like something my cheating ex would say. The truth hurts. Did you ask the Ottomans first to take Venezuela? Basically. <laughs> Gotta ask daddy. I hate to be the guy that found out about the Brazil dead allergies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Brazil nuts are kind of disgusting anyways, but like, uh... Or I think they're disgusting, they're, but they're really good for you. So like, I try and eat Brazil nuts. They have a lot of selenium, and so I would be a, I would be annoyed <laughs> if I couldn't eat them anymore. We're just gonna land cap. It maybe is better to land the other spot so we don't get two fronts, but we'll see what what happens. All right, thank God, we can finally get some good fucking healthcare. What do we need? We need the church folk. All right. How do we put them in? Dear Barbara. Alright, this is okay. Oh no. We can't put the church guys in. Not like this. How do we get public health insurance without the church people? Okay, they want to join the Liberal Party. God, the most cursed Liberal Party, right? Okay, these guys want to join the Liberal Party. Got it. These guys are, will be joining the Conservative Party. Got it. The Conservative Party is like, oh my god. This is so cursed. So there's no shout, right? Yeah, so we can't do it like this. We can do it like this. God. Okay. I mean, I guess. You got me. The things we do for public health insurance. The industrialists are going to be pissed. Not daddy. Ugh. There's a little inside a crazy amount of selenium. Yep, 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 yep. I wonder if siding with the slavers early game and making the super agrarian Brazil could be strong. If you're gonna do an agrarian run, Brazil's a pretty good country to do it with because I think they have like one of the better bonuses like over here. Although they nerfed it with the, the plantation throughput, but they also have migration attraction on there. Uh, these guys, I mean, they get the nerfed out like intelligentsia, so you don't get to do super migration, which I think sucks. Uh, no come to Brazil. You used to, you would be able to make a ton of come to Brazil jokes, but now you can't make the come to Brazil jokes. I mean, you can still make them, but they're not as funny without getting over 50%. So, yeah. I mean, I guess you still make the jokes. Come to Brazil, but... Yeah. Guess we are not getting good healthcare. I gotta go, but I wish you all the good in acting chance. Success RNG. I think we used it up. We didn't even use our one time, though. We didn't use our one time chat. Specialty pizzas. Specialty Brazilian. Let's take a look. 
Oh, I forgot the garlic thing is inside. Terrible. Bacon and... God, it's making me hungry to look at it, and it won't come until, like, for an hour and a half. This is two thirds. We're about to get all the Americans coming in, though. Americans coming home from work, they're like, let's play in Brazil. Come to America. You got a question, says Guildbird as MSE. I have an answer. Why do you always pick uh, auto over direct controlled investment pool? Well, there's a couple of reasons to answer. One, I think that the game is with the auto queue. Uh, I think that the challenges uh, given by the auto queue are fundamental to the game, and I think the game's more interesting with it. So that's like thing one. Um, thing two, uh, it is a lot more tedious to actually do manual thing. Even though it's higher powered, it's more tedious and uh, I think also less interesting um, because there a lot of there's a lot of things you can do to try and influence the auto queue that I think are really interesting and you don't get to do those if um, the auto queue doesn't exist. So the combination of kind of all that is like makes it so I don't really want to play it. Wow, did we really low roll the healthcare after we got wished good luck? Terrible. Uh, we will do this one. In war, we will find bees, which is big nice. Oh my god. The Catholic Church, what the hell? What the hell? Where'd your clock go, buddy? Yeah, do we really have to do it like this? This hurts my soul. Oh, there. Oh, we're. We did total separation before we did this. God damn it, we're stupid. I hate it when that happens. We're supposed to do that. We're supposed to do total separation afterwards. Guess, yeah, maybe we're not getting good healthcare. Maybe we have to wait for the trade unionists. Come to Brazil, hut. <laughs> yeah, basically. Does Mr. Do I like black olives on my Brazilian? Uh, they're okay. I'm generally not going to use a topping choice on them, but I'm not going to pick them off either. Hey, we get Brazilian naval power. On behalf of our officers, Admiral so-and-so reminds us the government importance of maintaining Brazilian sea power. We must strive to be the first and most naval power in South America. Aren't we already? What? I think you're a little late to the party, bud. Perhaps we're late to the party on that one. Filing cabinets. We don't have the PM yet. We don't have that one yet. We get screw frigates, though. I think we will increase our home affairs. Maybe want to decrease law enforcement. I'd rather have another level of home affairs than another another level. Especially because we're not annexing people in the near future, it looks like. What do you mean by one time? I've heard you mention it, but you're too lazy to ask. So, it's, it's more a joke than anything. Um, and it's like kind of a poker joke, so I think that no one should really get it. But... Ugh, that's disgusting. Minus 10 legitimacy while we're getting acting it? God, dude. Well, this will just give us a setback, right? Because it'll be under, and so we'll just do that. Um, they Either one of them would give us a setback. Uh, so one time is like... Uh, so sometimes poker players call it like to get their like one out or like they only have a 5% chance to win the hand after all the money's in, and they call one time. And sometimes they do it, you know, seriously. Like, they're just like, just this one time, just give me this 5% chance. Uh, but a lot of poker players also do it mockingly, mocking the people who do it seriously. You know, like, one time, one time. And so I'm doing it, like, the, I'm doing it for the memes more than anything. But when I call one time, I'm, realistically, I'm not expecting any sort of different chance. But the joke is, when I whenever I call one time, the game has to give it to me. And if they don't give it to me, I get upset. I get upset. And so... But yeah, it's like a, it's kind of a poker thing. I mean, I make fun of people who play poker and, like, I think call one time seriously. Because <laughs> that's not how odds work. <laughs> uh, do you want to make it harder for yourself? I feel that, yeah, it makes it harder. Also, it's way faster to make content with the auto queue. It's way less tedious than this type of thing. Um, but, uh, the, I also don't, like, min-max the game super hard. Like, uh, I, like, try and understand the game as well as I can, but, like, uh, in terms of playing perfectly, like, my execu- I try and have my understanding be really high, and then I don't really care about the execution that that much, and so I poorly execute a lot, so. Uh, I think we'll just do this. Legislative failures, yeah, we know. We'll get another 4% chance. God. Not like this. We just had to do total separation first, because we're an idiot. Um, I feel- or I'm an idiot. I feel like you have more control over the game, but yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you always have the most cursed games? I don't know. I don't know. 
which we're talking about this one's not too cursed I mean the Dutch East Indies blew up Brazil's in Canada but it's not the worst Ooh, we have a lot of floating extra here let's see if we can improve relations with some people yeah, let's do France and Russia and then let's see if we can rival anyone can rival a lot of people let's rival Java Let's not rival the East India Company. Let's rival Wallachia and Serbia. That's free Diplo. Let's rival these guys. <laughs> For a second I thought that was something other than Prussia. I forgot that that's Prussian dirt. That way we get a little bit more decay. Time Time's out in 69 years. Nice. <laughs> nice. Don't think we'll. Ooh, we will be able to sway into this. That's unusual. Or a little bit interesting. I'm very curious how the like sway stuff's been rebalanced. It looks like it's been rebalanced decently. We're not going to increase construction, even though we kind of want to be running roughly even because we have such. We're going to look to decrease this back down to maybe like a middling kind of tier here. Looks like our landing's getting in. We're going to see what they would. War goals, open market, war reparations. Well, war reparations on. Mascarin. I think we'll just ignore that. We could get on the same side of a play as them, but they're already protective towards us. But I don't think it's really that worth it. You played for a bit and got rid of slavery and your economy was in ruin. Probably better to focus on agrarianism rather than industry. It's pretty in inefficient early game. I don't know. You're like... Your goods prices get really cheap if you focus on agrarianism. I suppose I'm not like 100% sure. I don't have the answer to sway, but. Yeah. Any advice on si surviving as Grab Power for the achievement? I'm not sure how doable it is, uh, but the biggest thing is you almost certainly have to be using the enlistment efforts decree and um, the conscripting as much as possible. Oh, did we really not get in? Tragic. Alright. Well. That's awkward. We'll wait for their morale stuff to recover, but, uh... Let's see. We're gonna use extra supplies, too. Hmm. How about, uh, maybe we come back to the drawing board here in terms of their unit composition as well? Wait, why do they have mobile artillery now, too? Oh, I guess we added it in. Okay, fair enough. Too many? It's too many. Do we really not have... What is this? Oh, we need to have one more? God damn it. It's not 50%, it's more than 50%. Yeah, fair enough, you got us. The truth hurts. Yeah. You got us. Caught us with our kilt down. Don't worry about bad public health insurance rules, just remember... That yeah, you know what? We're gonna call our one time here. Just remember that an event gives a 40% enacting chance. Yeah, we're going to call our one time and we're going to roll that event. So calling our one time for enacting public health insurance in this session. That is our one time. It's been called. One time has been called. Bro, as a new player who's trying to learn on the last patch, I'm so lost now. Yep. The, I'm redoing a ton of tutorials for this patch because local prices definitely affect things a whole ton. And, uh... Yeah, we're about to roll high right here. Brazil's in Canada. It's about to curse Brazil's in Canada. Well, you know, a little alternate history. It's not that far off history. Come to Brazil, come to Canada. EU4 has messed up your perspective. Okay, I can, I can respect this. The double, the double setback... The double setback into pass, you know, is obviously objectively, objectively, it's the funniest. So we're gonna, we're gonna be rolling it that way. What is up with, why are we getting, oh, because it's 10, because I don't know how to do math. That's true. All right. Oh, I thought it was, okay, I thought this was different. I thought the line of tree had to match up particularly with, got it. I just can't read. It's not the math that's the problem, it's the reading comprehension. Got it. We'll do this. Yeah. 
math wasn't the problem, it was the reading. Little Billy couldn't read. The, 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 the artillery and the cavalry are combined, so you have to have at least half. Well, I don't know if this is the biggest problem. Yep, new, new Bill, new me. 4%. Seems like a lot of strides is going to be roll Democrat ideology for landowners on day one. You can actually do that. Oh, it rolls? Yeah, that is going to be... Holy heck, five hours? How's 1.5? It's a, it's a lot of fun. I mean, a lot of it's already stuff we're used to, because we have we have a few hundred hours on the beta, but, you know. Yeah. Do you have the cost of the South? I do. Uh, try uh, Control-Alt-Delete and hard-closing Steam, and then reopening Steam. This seems to have helped some people. Although not guaranteed. And they will immediately support Census Universal. Bro... Do we need more than 50% infantry in an army? We need exactly 15%. More One time, more like one Brazilian, the truth hurts. I remember the great Brazilian state in Canada. Local prices and traditionalism, brutal combo. Yeah, you just gotta get off that as quickly as possible. It's it's like wild, like Great Shing, you like, I think want to go agrarianism like super, super bad. Which is like uh, a little bit of a new play pattern. Alright, I am going to use the restroom, otherwise I'm going to burst. So, I will be back in, like, one minute. Um, I will see you all then. in the room not at the board and of course we have some of this you feel like you were studying a Sumerian tablet with a Rosetta Stone while I was trying to apply some of the guides in the beta to be fair they're gonna be a little bit more refined um, you know as we after having played a whole lot. I think the 1.5 tutorial series is going to be a little bit better. Chatty's gone forever. Tragic. As Canadian, you do remember when Paul McDonald founded our confederation, the Brazilian founding father of Canada. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> no mods, no masters. Oh no. Chat riots while I'm gone. This is why I need a pee bottle. Pee bottle is also like a meme within the poker community. That's, like, where that joke comes from. Because, uh, obviously if you're playing for thousands of dollars and you have the option between, you know, pissing in a bottle or missing a hand, what do you do? You piss in a bottle. But, uh, we're not playing for thousands of dollars. Tark, when are we getting achievement run for Vicky? All achievement run? Look at this guy, thinking that Tark has the do the, do the tutorial achievements. Complete the game like three times uh, for that cause of the achievement because the, for the objectives require you hit 1936. You're good. Yeah, exactly. Bro, I haven't played past 1900 in forever. Native American is one impossible to get in the newest patches. No, it's just really, really inconsistent. It's not impossible, but it's like, um. What's the best way to put it? Like, you. You have to cry a lot and restart a lot. I mean, it's it's actually you just have to restart a whole ton, and it's like really miserable to have to restart that much. But like, uh, you have to roll a particular uh, someone helping you out with an immediate independence roar, and Texas has to win against Mexico, and you have to get both of these things simultaneously, and then it's pretty easy. But like the it's just chance, and you just have to keep re-rolling. 
uh, in theory, someone can make a save file for it, like, roll it once and then share it with other people, but, like, I don't know who's gonna create... Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. We doing it. This is the one time in action, everyone. You guys were asking, what's the one time thing about? This is what it's about. This is what it's all about. We call it one time, we get it. Alright, whatever. Alright, I'll try the hard close. Unfortunately, it did not work. Oof. I don't know. Uh, I would check Reddit or the Discord. Probably the Discord. <sighs> Are we just gonna keep getting this over and over? Bro. Now the Emperor turns his attention to overseeing a particular cog in the machine. Dude, we just get this every five years? Insane. Brazil's the new best country. Come to Brazil. Alright. 10%. The piss bottle shit bucket combo. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you just shit your pants, but yeah. No, that's definitely it. 100%. I washed my hands. I just dried them on my shirt. Uh, it was too fast. Bro, if you don't pee on your hands, you don't even need to wash. <laughs> Who's washing in 2023? Who's colossusing up the south? Yep. Yeah. Maybe we should start playing Vic, uh, Vicky for thousands of dollars. Bro, I was try I'm trying to make the competitive 3v3v3. I still need to hear back from how for how the performance is on 1.5. But, you know. This is an idea I've floated a couple times, Tark. And I don't know if you've been around for any of that. Or discussed, like, depending on stream or whatever. But uh, doing a 3v3v3 playing multiple... Ooh, defensive strategies. Um... We'll recruit that into this army. Where we have, you know, players from different Vic 3 communities play as different teams. So, like, uh, hypothetically, like, OPB has a team, you have a team, I have a team. We either play on the team or we don't. Probably don't. Uh, and then they duke it out. So we have community duels. Your PC starts dying by 1900, but for the fans, I played several games to 1936. You'd have... Yeah. I, like, can't play it past 1300 since 1.3, basically. So, and then I have to have the window open so everyone gets the Cars content. Which, of course, everyone apparently loves, but, you know, Cars content. Seven hours of gameplay. 1836 to 1880 is about seven hours of gameplay. Then from 1880 to 1900 is, like, another seven, and 1900 to... 36 is, like, full 10 hours. I'm kind of in a similar boat, and that's why I haven't played, like... I don't think I've had a single run past 1900. Unless you start as a really small country, and when you don't have, like, really that much construction by, like, that late in the game, so... What's so good about 10% construction sector through the play here with the jokes? You love to hear them. Mr. Jokey Man telling his jokes. <laughs> made it to 36 in the first patch and never again. The last 30 years was, like, a two-week endeavor. Yeah. And, like, uh, in terms of making videos, it's, like, the ROI is, like, terrible. Like, people are like, oh, conquer the whole world. And you're like, bro, that's, like, the equivalent of, like, four whole runs. And, like, there's no way I get 4x the views. You know what I mean? Just not happening, man. I was, like, tearing my hair out with the Rome one. I stayed up till 3 a.m. To, to make that last episode. You can tell by the end of the episode I'm so freaking haggard. And I'm just, like, I won't, like, want to no longer be there. And by the, be there, I mean be conscious. Like, be there in a, in a, in terms of a present state of mind. Like, be located within the realm of reality. I no longer wanted to be there. Are you going to do Poland, Lithuania at some point? Depends what the chat decides. Who could be fun. Multiplayer games for Paradox are always so cursed. Yeah. It would also be super min maxi, so I'm not even sure OPB's community would like it that much. Because I haven't... I, my understanding is he plays much more RP than me. Or that's what everyone who comments on my videos about the difference between us says. <laughs> Your team would have pee bottles and one-time rolls. 
How do you pick your nations in uh, 3v3 format? It's a draft. Uh, it's like the pick of order that we use is like 1, 2, 3, 3, uh, like 1, 2, 2. I forget exactly how it goes. It's like, it's roughly fair. Uh, General's uh, Vicky 3 bootcamp to win the 3v3 format. Yeah, really just playing the long game to, like, uh, sell coaching to, to, for Victoria 3. <laughs> Victoria 3, not a PvP game, and you just, like, crush the AI no matter what you do, but <laughs> selling coaching. That That's, like, one of the... I, if I were to have a complaint about the game, that would be one of the bigger ones. We are having serious qualification problems here, so we actually will build a university. Just a single one, because they have diminishing marginal returns on, like, the amount of quals they're giving you. But, uh, yeah. Put uh, Mr. Gaming and Moody on a team. Clueless. Yeah. Mm, not sure. Not sure if we want to do that. <laughs> no bans in, uh, in the 3v3s yet, but it might be interesting to include. Yeah, I've considered, like, after the first three th picks, including bans. The thing is, you introduce a ton of AI variants. Uh, because uh, you can have a new national hero. Hopefully he's, like, for the thing we need for the this... Uh, but uh, the the problem with the the one reason why I haven't done bands or haven't done only small powers or this type of thing is like the random pie thumbing by the AI is like uh, the is random. So we got a guy for the Sulistas, but they're already Brazilian. I'm not sure why we were able to integrate them. Whatever. It needs to be a police to homeland. Do we need to just take dirt from people? Here, let's just take a look at the cultures. Do we see police to anywhere? We have territory that's a police to homeland. What are you talking about? What are you on about? Whatever. Maybe that's bugged. Bands could have a massive strategic implementation. Yeah, so this is one of the reasons why I think bands... Why I'd be interested in doing bands is it shakes things up dramatically, but 1.5 already shook things up. A dramatic amount. Uh, we could make this guy a politician. What is he? He's a land reformer. Bruh. Do we even like land reformer on rural folk? He likes homesteading and collectivized agriculture, but they already did. Uh, and they hate land-based taxation. I can... We'll just, like, give him some... Some of this. I want an idea for 3v3 where on each peer is of great power, major power, minor power, and uh, one greater minor. Seems like it could be neat. This has been proposed a couple times, and then the biggest counterexample to this is, uh... This minor power here. This minor power here is a little bit uh, too good. Also, uh, the like, uh, I mean, it's a little bit more balanced now between the three best GP. What is that color? That's new. Okay. Um, but now, Great Britain, France, and Russia are actually a little bit more balanced. And then you could just say, EIC is considered a great power for this purpose, as is Great Qing. Uh, and so you do, you know, one, we do the draft like this. Before, there used to be an enormous difference, but I think France is still considerably better, and I think whichever team has France in that sort of environment is going to be way better. But then, in theory, the 6v3 would balance stuff. Disgusting France borders in that run run? What do you mean? The France borders were perfect. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? One problem I could see with Victoria 3 is when they eventually make DLC for later start dates. I don't know if they're going to do that. I think the, the they'll just extend the timeline of the game. It seems like a lot of effort to, incre to create a start date. Unless they do an earlier date. But I think they've explicitly said that they're not going to. I heard they're making DLC that extends the end date. Yeah, so this is what I would expect. Uh, 49 and adds new mechanics that related to division designing, air combat, etc. This would... <laughs> Playa with the trolls. You almost got me with that one. You were in the process of getting me. I hear the color of Holy Four. Yeah, baby. Alright, we're in it. Let's check our infamy. Zero again. Wait, do we have one of the infamy things? He used to have the bandit trait, which was actually like super obnoxious, so you wouldn't want to actually do anything. So maybe we go after Uruguay here. Just start getting all of South America. We could just conquer state Uruguay. I think we go after our... I wish we could reduce autonomy on people, but we can't right now, because we have uh, this situation here. 
we get to end the customs union, and this would let us do it. Uh, I think we still have an obligation to them, so ending the defense pact wouldn't work. Oh, no. Well, looks like... No, we don't owe them an obligation. Huh, so ending the defense pact would work. Could just end the customs union. Really just low-key been hoping that Russia invites us to the customs union instead. Once the guy becomes a ruler... Oh, maybe they're not doing it. Oh, sorry, once this guy becomes ruler, I believe, usually they change their this to include economic... Oh, well, they have economic imperialism, so... We'll just keep our defensive pact with uh, Great Britain because we want to have it long term. And we'll instead protectorate these guys. We almost protectorated everyone here. And so we'll be doing that. Or trying to. I think we saved. Maybe we didn't save Rip the Dream. One university, huh? Yep, 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 yep. Pray I never get picked. I'm going for the Grand Central America clutch in the competition. Someone, on the very first one, someone went for Italy, and then that was, like, the, or, I think Italy and Brazil, and then that was kind of the end of picking, like, the lower ones. Vicky Intergalactic Immigration win, basically. What are you doing this for? Transfer Salangor. God, this guy with his jokes. This guy coming in with his jokes. Mr. Jokey Joke Teller. Imagine a band UK AI getting into every play, yeah. You could just turn off AI. <laughs> I mean, we could have a different AI script, but uh, I think Russia's OP now with the rivers. France only has Alsace. But the five. Russia has insane resources, though. I'm not sure. In the 3v3 context, it's, I don't think it's going to go late, late game enough that the, the mappy bonus is going to, like, really, really high, like, make an enormous difference, you know? Maybe it does. Oh, we also have to go for New Granada, but the Ottomans won't let us. Daddy won't let us. The truth hurts. Is forming Germany at all, or is it the same as the beta? It's I think it's the same as the beta, but I guess I wouldn't know, because I have only played the beta in Brazil. Okay, we gotta stay calm. We gotta stay calm, everyone. We did call her one time, so we are going to be getting public health insurance. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Maybe it wouldn't be balanced, but listing nations is taking tier 1, 2, and 3 nations for teams? Yeah, this is, uh... This is the way you could do it. You could also just give teams... I think I, at that point I would rather... If I want to make tiers 1, 2, and 3, I would rather draft three picks and then ha give teams bans and then uh three picks and then bans and then three picks or something like this you almost fall for the bait lw yeah i get got sometimes someone got me with the uh, like a pretty good like lamau got him i think it was a couple streams ago you wish they create a date for the rise of Napoleon? I wish they met, had the start date be the end date of uh, EU4, but alas. Poor Yorick, I knew him well. Horatio. There we get the noise. Ayo. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Yeah. You can always respawn. You think they should add more products, resources, and crops to the game? Absolutely not, because it negatively affects performance. If it didn't negatively affect performance, then maybe. Pretty, pretty hard on that one opinion. All right, so now we should get our little coffee thing, and we can also research some technology. Definitely love the new like button appearance on this thing. Maybe we go Quinine, to be honest. Oh, but we could get another company here. Oh, we're not even using... Yeah, we don't even have the companies, like, fully expanded. I think we go Galatang. Well, we're not spreading it anyways. Let's go Dialectics. Okay, so that's, like, thing one. We actually also do need to get some of these up to, like, level 11 or whatever. So that we can get the thing. I think that's what's required for generic. I mean, we could focus more on the logging. Maybe we focus more on the logging? Let's focus more on the logging. Trickle of beans. Over 19 years? Holy shit. 
Landowner approval or plantations or trade route competitiveness? We're really not running a lot of uh, trade routes, so let's actually do this. Decaying over 30 years. I love how we just marched through Peru, Bolivia to get to this landing. Look at this. We're marching through Peru, Bolivia so we could try and land Ecuador. That makes sense. Napoleonic Wars in 53 would be a little underwhelming. I agree. It would be cool if countries could focus on specific crops that are local to create monopolies, but that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, there needs to be... The problem is Mappy disaffects... So Mappy currently... Or, sorry, local prices uh, only affect the market price, right? Or, sorry, trade only affects the market price. And the fact that... Look at the British market. Uh, the fact that a big chunk of your price or of your prices are now determined uh, by locally rather than market means the positive effects of trade are just diluted, and so its specialization is even worse than it was before. Um, so they need to give some sort of bonus to companies, I think, uh, to encourage and facilitate specialization. Any thought on the Sugon strat? I think it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> the Sugon strat's my favorite. <laughs> Here's an idea. Put all the nations in a list uh, during the draft and give each player a choice of three random nations to pick from, like a starter Pokemon. Wait, what? Put all the nations in a list in the draft and give each player a choice of three na That sounds so high variance. You're talking about, like, uh, they get, like, they pull three names from a hat and they have to pick one of those names? So what happens when someone rolls, like, Salangor, <laughs> Paraguay, and Venezuela, and then the next person rolls just any GP? <laughs> That'd be super unbalanced. I mean, maybe it'd be more interesting. We could have fun with that, but that wouldn't be, like, the standard 3v3 format. Can you not integrate the Brazilian nation now? Wasn't that the Rivers of Coffee? No, that wasn't the Rivers Coffee. Now we get this. Okay, but we can see how we get progress in this. We have to be the lead producer of meat, coffee, and sugar. Increase the buy orders uh, for coffee within the British market by 150%. Brazil has a greater or equal to level 125%. Okay, so let's actually increase coffee. And we do have... We have some places that have specifically coffee output. But I think that this is our specific coffee output now. Is this... So... We're going to start increasing coffee here specifically. Is this coffee? Coffee. 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 So uh, we will do coffee specifically here. So let's just do five. Five. We'll put that one on our expand as well. Okay. So that'll be a lot of coffee. So, you know, you didn't get me because I wasn't confused. I knew you meant Sugum. Sugum these nuts. That's why I said I don't like the strategy. Because it's not a strategy. <laughs> not like this. Oh my god. Don't worry, chat. We called one time. <laughs> we called one time, so we're definitely getting it. <laughs> well, as Mappy goes down, that would ha significantly... Uh, that would signify the rise of global trade. Yeah. Or as Mappy goes up. But I know what you mean. It's what happened in real life. A mile better bunker up in Paraguay. Yeah, definitely more of a silly idea than like for a fun game. Not a lead producer of all of them, just one of them. Okay, I guess we're going for coffee then. Rivers of coffee seems overwhelming uh, amount of plantations required. It is quite a few. I mean, we can build a lot, like, relatively well though. Like, we're, yeah. We must do better. Unworthy Navy? What the fuck? Alright, so what do we have to do to get progress for this one? Six or fewer countries as a naval power projection greater than what I'm guessing ours currently 10. Yeah, okay, well... Do we have a place that... I don't think we have a place that has better boating. No, we don't. So it doesn't really matter where we build it, so... We build some here and some in Rio. 
can get up to 30. It would still be 3v3v3, so your teammates' choices will impact yours. What do you mean? So the proposal where you're pulling three names out of a hat and you get to pick one of those and then the next country pulls three names out of a hat and they get to pick one of those and then the next team pulls three names out of a hat? That's how I understood it. Maybe maybe it's not what you meant. How's the update? Update looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, there's, uh, you know, the most significant update change from 1.5.5 to 1.5.7, which is what we're currently on, is they gave Mappy on a bunch of rivers... So now a bunch of rivers have market access price impact, which in the long run will make these the best places to build in the game. And so, you know, China has a huge long-term buff, which maybe, maybe it's really good. So, or maybe it's like a good realism simulation thing. So, shh, it worked, bro, it worked. Just take the L. <laughs> yeah, okay, but <laughs> Tark got me, guys. Confirmed. Actually, chat will decide. Yeah, let's start a poll. I actually don't know how chat will do this. I don't think chat will... However it goes, I don't think chat decides fairly. But we can let chat decide our fates. <laughs> Just by how things work, one player would need to go before the others. The range of options has to decrease picking order. Continue. Oh, you mean like... Uh, three countries are picked from a hat, and then that's even, like, worse, if that's what you're saying. Because then it would just super high roll whoever picks first. I just want to let you know that your videos helped you a lot relearning the game, since I haven't played a lot since launch. We're going to be doing a bunch of new tutorials. You did a great job explaining why you do this instead of just doing it. Thank you. I'm glad to have you. Welcome to the stream. Uh, this is what I meant by generalist. Uh, that's what I meant by generalist. I had to mean it as a half troll anyways. Good news for you, Tark. Apparently I got got. Well, now I got him. <laughs> we take those. This is terrible. This is unjust. We called our one time for public health insurance. Uh, this is unfortunate, unfair, and embarrassing. I would like to, you know, create a support ticket. <laughs> Not like this. I feel so dumb for for passing total separation before the health insurance. God damn it, dude. Alright. New plan is we gotta bolster the trade unions. Holy shit. So I guess that means we have to go on to universal... Uh, we can't do universal suffrage. Son of a bitch. Is there just no useful law to pass right now? God damn it. Alright, I guess we're getting rid of... Yeah, I mean, this is what we have to do. <sighs> the truth hurts. What do you mean, like, the number of possible nations would decrease as the draft would progress? If you So if you take three names out of a hat, right? And you have teams one, two, and three. And team one has to pick from those three names. And then team two has to pick from the remaining two te teams, two names... Then you are decreasing the number of options as the draft goes through. So it greatly favors uh, picking earlier. Uh, if you're talking about what I thought you initially... My initial understanding was Team 1 is picking. They pull three names from a hat. They have to pick one of them. Then Team 2 has to pick. They pull three new names from a hat. And they have to pick one of them. And so on and so forth like this. That would not uh, decrease choices. Of course, uh, if you return the names to the hat, then you're still decreasing choices as time goes on because all the best nations will get picked, uh, you know, as they are available and they will no longer... Like, if the first pick is France, then France can no longer be pulled from the hat uh, unless it unpicks it for another nation. Movement for generalist own started, yeah, basically. I wonder how the yeah radicals of 100 support 200 yeah basically <laughs> general has got owned there's no objectivity in, in chat only memes i demand a recount <laughs> we're gonna continue to build in free stat which is unfortunately the best place for us to build the best brazilian province is south america and the truth hurts We'll do up one naval base from each of these as well to the front. 
Okay, so we've subjugated all the boyos. We still have some infamy. I think we go after Uruguay. I think we just hard annex Uruguay. for outlawed descent. Your initial impression was correct. Sorry, two conversations got mixed. Yeah, that's fair. Because you're not adding each individually. Pick bands, but for the banned countries, uh, get fucking removed from the planet. Just delete them. Stop the count. <laughs> to be fair, it was about 50 It's not 50-50 no more. <laughs> it's like... Very much generalist got owned. <laughs> Classic. Oh my god. We're 45 minutes away from being able to order some Brazilian. Can you guys feel it? I can feel it. Alright. Here's our Democrat. So now we have someone, no, oh, he won't endorse universal suffrage because he doesn't prefer it to census or wealth. He just wants democracy, he doesn't care what kind. Spineless coward. Feckless. No, we'll get cultural exclusion, that's what, okay, yeah. We're definitely behind the thing. Alright. What happened? What? Why did we lose Lower Canada? Not like this. Turns out, the UK doesn't need to be a UK subject <laughs> to do the Oregon event. <laughs> doesn't need to be a UK subject. Our, yeah, that's kind of annoying. I mean, we got that subject for free, so I guess how, how upset can we be? But, uh, yeah, apparently the UK can sign a deal which uh, revokes them giving us organ. Uh, we lost our organ, my friends. We have no more organ. Uh, and, of course, it was a long organ, but now it's gone. Uh, and it's returned it to the USA. This is the worst of times. This is the worst of times. There was the best of times, and there was these times, and these times were the worst. Anywhere from like 2 p.m. Uh, to 8.30 in North America. Wait, what? That's a big time range for North America. Britain did a little confederation. They're confederate. No, it wasn't confederating. It was that. It's that this event only requires the USA to have positive relations with Great Britain. And not that Great Britain actually had Lower Canada as a subject, I think. This is a bug. But they are a UK subject, you're a UK Oh, that's right. Yep, this counts. Ah, they're technically a subject of the UK because they're a subject of ours, and while we are a subject of the UK. That is right. God, this game is like, the way some, it's, oh my God. This is the worst of times. Please let me out. Yeah, that's what you get, eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. We can't side or anything, but... Do him some more interests. Where do we want to put him? Oh, we- wait, wait, why did we lose our Oceana interest? Bro, this got confederated away. Dude, that sucks. All right, I guess we can't go for those. Son of a bitch, dude. This is all, it's all terrible. Subception, yeah, basically. We're gonna, we're gonna screenshot this too. Tell the, we're gonna whinge on the Discord later. We're gonna whine and complain about injustice. We'll also tell him how we called one time and then we didn't get the law passed. Awful. 
peasant revolt when Idaho joins the market. Too many potatoes. Couldn't handle it. I've also proposed the merging of uh, Montana, Wyoming, uh, North Dakota, and South Dakota into a single state titled et al. Uh, the, uh, the game developers have not gotten back to me, but I assume that they are for it. Bro, how are we losing so much money? Is it because we're no longer getting that dirty, dirty uh, organ money? Probably. The truth hurts. It won't set you free. It just hurts. Bro. Well, we're about to have a whole bunch of coffee. I guess. And we're about to have some Brazilian naval power. Still ten, come on. Have we not built- oh, I guess we only got two boats since then. Is this our navy power projection and not just a- Okay, yeah, it's ours. It's not just some weird abstracted number from- pulled from the Aether. Because if so, we would have to clap people to do it, but this is just, we have to hit, hit a particular number. Which is easy enough. God, the Magnanus Monarch is having some, having some struggles. I guess we also maybe want to suppress landowners and... Oh, now the Catholic Church has 7% clout. That's great. Yeah, please look into the U.S. Civil War. This is not the Civil War, because it's not led by the, the right interest group. This is led by the uh, rural folk. Which is, I, it doesn't count as the American Civil War, because the landowners are still over here. But they are snapping the shit out of the landowner. I guess they're probably going to ban slavery afterwards. Man. So that means we're going to lose this when they get confetted out, dude. Or they get confetted into, or you know what, also what can happen is they can get confetted into this. And so that can just grow. So I guess we have to get New South Wales if we get a transfer. Because I think they all get confetted into New South Wales. I think they also get confetted into the, the Hudson Bay Company. So I think we're actually going to full get Canada. So we have to stay as a in their customs union for longer. Alright. I think we just subjugate Paraguay here. Rather than annex, because we do have to go after... Unfortunately, they have two states, which just, like, the minimum value uh, for a state does create some problems, which is why we went after Transfall. I guess it's going to be forever till we annex, like, a ton of these guys. But let's go here. Protectorate them. They say no way. Can we get some wee-woos in chat? Pour one out for whoever's having a medical emergency. Are there gold mines in BC? Six hours streaming mark. I said we were gonna go ten hours or until we drop under a hundred viewers, whichever comes last. We unfortunately can't go like twelve hours because YouTube doesn't let you stream over twelve hours. It's pretty stupid. The stream just auto ends at twelve hours. I guess we could go for twelve hours. Oh wait, that was actually a, a reasonable what's actually Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. <laughs> Thanks for helping us out, bro. Pretty sure Nebraska can also get included in the state. Yeah, but I have family in Nebraska, so... <laughs> Actually, no, I'm with you. Let's include Nebraska. I think we can also include Idaho. So, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, all this at all. It has, like, uh, it would have, like, a uh, freaking, like, a thousand arable land. <laughs> F. So uh, Sokolov pours one out. We don't know if they're dead. Just just that they're having a medical emergency. 5.0, we all better run. 5.0. Yeah. Someone is about to change a kidney. Just start another stream. I think... I could start another stream. Look... I, my, my other thought was if, as long as we're over 200 viewers, I'm not ending the stream. Can't stop, won't stop. And so, maybe we do this, and if so, we'd start another stream. But if the other stream dips below, uh, you know, 200, then we would stop. They're afraid of the 12-hour general stream. They fear me. 
streamers want to be me. YouTube fears me. Something like that. 10,000 arable land. <laughs> and about the same number of people in it. Perfect. We've crafted the perfect state. Also proposed was the merging of uh, both Texas and California. And this was rightfully, perhaps rightfully, uh, dismissed out, out of pocket. No one took that one seriously. The merging of California and Texas. Cali, Texas, or uh, California. Take your pick. He's drinking from the pee bottle, boys. Yeah, I'll refill it later. Don't worry. Egalitarianism is unlocked. I guess maybe we're gonna have to... God damn it, dude. We should have long ago gone land-based taxation. Mistakes were made. Now we have to get... We have to somehow demarginalize the, the trade unionists, and we're not, like, remotely close to this. Sucks. We should be making progress on River of Coffee, though. Hey, hey. That's cool. Naval power times out in 69 years. Yuck, yuck. Okay. Currently nine, so we're coming on up. We have too many capital ships. Okay, so the capital ships have to be outnumbered by the light ships, or they have to be an even number. So we, let's do this. And that should be enough. We may actually maybe want to cancel some of these capital ships. Got it. And then let's cancel some of the light ships as well. We'll do something a little bit more like this. I think that'll be enough. View count is big. Never stop stream. That's what I say. Yeah, this is the this is the correct approach. If if people just want to watch you fall asleep on stream, they can watch you fall asleep on stream. He's never getting proportional tax, guys. Man, Palea, the truth and hurts so bad. We don't have a lot of pass, so I mean, we could. Can we put the landowners in and go? We can't even put the landowners in like legitimately. So otherwise, we we could go. We could roll it back to land based taxation, but everyone will hate that. I mean, what we need to do is... Oh, my God. You know what we ha probably have to do? We probably have to go oligarchy to universal suffrage. To get the trade unions up, out bigger, faster. Bro. Why is this game so hard, man? We just wanted public health insurance. We all That's all we wanted. We called our one time. We got positivist here. So, I mean, we could go for technocracy. I don't hate it, except the armed forces. Like, yeah. We would need someone other than armed forces. We need the... We need the, the positivist on, like, the industrialists. Or the uh, intelligentsia, I think. God, that sucks. That's big, not nice. Cut America to three states total. New York, Los Angeles, and Texas. Oh, man. The European geography. Uh, you can't do 24-hour streams on YouTube. That's wild. I know I'm, like, eight minutes behind. I wanted to listen to Indian Territory Achievement with Collins a couple times. Yeah. 1848 uh, would be... Would, like, its radical reformations back. Empty. Yeah. Uh, oh, I just see the 70% general has got to own poll. Let's end that poll. That poll can be done now. It's still going in the wrong direction. Terrible. Oh, well, you know. You, you stay in it, bud. I still think if someone gets full occupied, if all the, if all the people in the war get full occupied, it should just get auto-enforced, but... That's just me. That's just what I think. Can we incorporate? Let's also hit the smacky wacky button. Okay. Maybe this is our problem. Uh, I mean, I guess we go Quinine next. And I think we can change our company over now. The thing is, we don't want to disband this while we have the bonus, if uh, if this is not the case. So let's just quickly check. 
Do we have the full logging? Okay, so unless they changed what the requirement is, we can swap over. And they didn't. And this will give us infra, which will be nice as well. Alright, let's establish. Let's also make sure we're building all the gold mines we can, being the best uh, gamer we can. I think that we have serious qualification problems here, though. We have pop problems? Alright, so actually we're not gonna, we're just gonna do that. Unfortunate. Yeah, actually we're just not gonna build that. Alright, what's the railroad, railway price though? Alright, so let's do some of this. Okay. But this is one of the things I mean by being tedious. Railway, it's expensive here, but it frees up some pops to work in the gold mines. Send them to the mines. That's what I always say. People's Republic of Ohio. P and they pull at 68 votes. Oh my god, terrible. <laughs> this is the worst. Yeah, let's we'll start a new poll. You guys are right. We'll start a new poll for everyone in chat. Stop the cat. He's he's up to date with chat, so everyone spam the chat now. <laughs> Should have won it in 69. Texas seems to lose the war to Mexico a lot in this patch. They didn't on 1.5, some of the 1.5s, but I guess maybe it's common in this 1.5.7. Are you getting closers to joint companies? Wait, joint companies? What do you mean by joint companies? I'm confused. Is there a new companies mechanic I'm unfamiliar with? Joint companies. Is that a specific company to which you're referring? Joint companies. Hmm. Okay. Can you invite us to your customs union already, Russia, please? Is the Hudson Bay Company. I can almost order pizza. Infinite Pole Tech. It's got 29 votes now. Let's take a look at our pizza order. We're gonna reduce the speed while we do. What do we want on this? Bacon, obviously. Italian. Sorry, I mean our Brazilian order. We're ordering Brazilian as per the chat's vote. Let's go to checkout. Do I want soda? No, I have my bottle. Alright, we'll finish that in a second. Come back to chat. Chat's here just to watch us pee out Brazilian the hut. Just like insult to injury here. We don't want them to get minus clout because we're trying to do. Jesus. We have a dream. We have four weeks so we can relive the dream. 39 votes. Oh my god. Tark here with the real facts. I thought we were ordering Brazilian. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely ordering Brazilian. <laughs> it's the Brazil stream. We have to order Brazilian. Dude, how funny would it be if I actually ordered Brazilian and insisted it was pizza? <laughs> if I knew of a Brazilian place to order from, I would actually do that. That'd be so great. Tricks chat into thinking he's ordering pizza, calling it Brazilian, orders Brazilian, and calls it pizza when it arrives. The pizza's here, just starts eating a like plate full of meat. 
delicious pizza. This is my favorite pizza spot. <laughs> Alright, we gotta start a war. <laughs> what are we doing? God, I wish we could reduce infamies. Um, I guess Banjar is pretty big. We saved just so we can start some more wars. God, that's not gonna be enough, though. What are the best high infamy wars, man? I don't think we're gonna be able to go after Persia. I think Persia's gonna be too strong for us. I mean, I guess we're a little bit stronger, but we don't have the navy to land them. Let's go for Benjar for now, I think. God, that's not enough infamy, though. Son of a bitch. We have to figure this out before we order the, the Brazilian. <sighs> okay, think, 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 think. Oh, New Granada. Still haven't subjugated them. Let's see if the Ottomans uh, have a problem with this. See if the Ottomans have a problem with this. Oh, we're gonna have to transfer like uh, infantry over to that. Something like this. Pulls at 46 votes, man. I actually have to keep an eye on this poll. Part of the tricky already ordered Brazilian. What is Brazilian pizza? Earlier in the stream, we did a vote whether we were going to order um, pizza or Brazilian and just call it, or sorry, we had a vote on what we were going to order. And the two options were pizza or pizza, but we just call it Brazilian. And pizza, but we call it Brazilian, won the poll. So we're ordering Brazilian, if that answers your question. He's not ordering Brazilian pizza, he's just getting Brazilian. That's right. <laughs> we are just getting Brazilian. Can't stop, won't stop, we'll get Brazilian. Alright. Time to input the credit card information. I confirm I'm over 13. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's in their sphere of influence. No! <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Ottomans in Denmark, why? <laughs> Just the two? <sighs> We're gonna transfer them Selangor, which is the least valuable of these, <laughs> but this kind of is annoying. I think we do need their help for this, so... I guess we could have seen what else people would have swayed for. Maybe Venezuela wants, yeah, Venezuela wants war goals, return state. It's, we're indifferent to which one of our subjects gets the thing. Maybe we should have just tried to win it like that. I guess it doesn't hurt to have Venezuela too. Because we do not care which subject has the Amazonas. Really. In fact, I think we, well, I guess we kind of care in, in theory. In theory, whichever one we annex first is actually preferable, but like, uh. I'm too tired. I'm too blind. I'm too fucking old. It's like my favorite meme ever. Alright. Russia's antagonistic. No, bud, why you. Oh my god, Russia sided against us? What the fuck? What is this, dude? Are you a rival of the UK or something? Bro, we're just trying to... Yeah, that, okay, I mean, it makes sense if you're a rival, but... Holy shit, I think we're just gonna load. This is what I mean with the absolutely psychotic nonsense of... Difficult plays, man. We still gotta... We gotta think of one that's relatively high infamy as we input our pizza cart... I mean, our Brazilian information for ordering the Brazilian... Oh my god, we forgot the expiration. Because I never save credit cards. Because I'm a psychopath. Except on Amazon.
The lack of blood sugar is going to my head, chat. I apologize. Oh my god. We entered it wrong again. We should we change the title of stream? Journalist struggles against his uh, credit card. <laughs> this is so bad. I swear to god, I'll get back to you in a second, chat. Alright, we're at 55 votes. Steak pizza, no crust, no cheese. There's actually a place near me. Is this dox me? I don't think it does. There's a place near me that, an Argentinian place, that does uh, chimichurri pizza, which has a chimmy base instead of a marinara base. Uh, and then it has steak on top and it's so fucking good. We could have ordered that. that. That actually would have been the meme. Son of a visual. That's just not normally the place we order pizza from. Like, if we're ordering pizza, we don't order it from there. So, we're just double checking with our email that our pizza thing did in fact get sent. Alright, and when do we expect to get it? 503 is bullshit. Ottomans will not give up the canal. Okay, yeah, but we do need to find a war. Man. Persia's too big. New Granada just... Maybe it is over the canal. You know what, if it's over the canal, that's actually, like, not incoherent, and I actually think that that's neat, but, like, if it's not over the canal, it's, like, psychopathic AI. Man, what's the best protectorate? Jeez, if only I understood this game better. Uh... I mean, we could keep going after these guys. Siam's also not terrible because we get their subjects along with them. <sighs> can we land them, though? I don't know if we can land them with the 24 stack boat. This is a question that's beyond my, beyond my thing. I think we just merged this with landing squad, though. Oh, did we not? Yeah, we didn't click the buttons. We didn't do the things. Okay, so we have a 25 stack landing. <sighs> Can we get it on Siam? I mean, we, we wanted native interest in this area anyways, so maybe we... Uh, Siam's probably the best one, huh? Maybe this makes sense. Okay, we're gonna try it. 62 votes, alright. If you read me the numbers, I'll order in Brazilian. Bro, that'd be so sick. Except I'd have to give you my address. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try, guy. <laughs> has, so, uh, has someone problems with the uh, fronts that do not advance and hiring problems in some PMs? What PMs give hiring problems? Let me know. And say that they give hiring problems. Don't just say the PM in chat because I won't necessarily remember the, the full shebang. Maybe we can sway with the banning of slavery? Probably not, but... Hey, sway with ban slavery. Let's go, baby. They're very likely to back down on the back of that, so... We're so good at this game. And handsome, which is why we failed our law pass earlier, and why we went total separation when we shouldn't have, and why we're suffering now. Truth hurts, mainly pain. I mean, maybe we're supposed to just do this for now. But plus standard living for the upper strat is not really that useful. That's actually just like pretty yet, but it's booty. It is booty. 64 votes, Jesus. That's an Argentinian, not a Brazilian. 
Yeah, the Argentine restaurant. Java sides. Wait, what happened to the UK swy siding with us? Did we just not click the button? Okay, we didn't click enough buttons. Java's, yeah. I think we just avoid putting in Morgul on them. Here, yeah, show us the card, we'll help you, basically. Tark's still speedrunning it. You need the numbers, I'll order Brazilian for you. <laughs> Argentinian pizza is the only good pizza. All those pills and comparison. They have really good pizza. They have good marinara sauce, too. Buenos Aires says the best Argentinian pizza. If the Ottomans get Panama and then Suez, they will be the true gatekeepers. Gatekeep, girl boss, and, uh... Oh my god, we have 65 votes. I have to watch that. Give me your address, I can come over and deliver the pizza for you. Order pizza for me, bro. You just come to my house and then order it to the house? Perfect. Someone who was, uh, like, across the street from my house in the car ordered, uh, like, ordered delivery to my house one time. And then, like, I answered the door at this delivery, and they're like, they come out of the car, they're like, hey, that's for me. And I was just like, alright, bro. Fucking interesting. I guess the delivery driver didn't le read the instruction, or the guy didn't leave instructions. But why are there so many... Wait, what? Oh, Dynam, too. Bro, can we just subjugate Dynam? Not worth it. We just... It's not worth the infamy. This is just so weird with the new Granada. Like, they absolutely cannot stand it. Brazilian pizza is required to have bananas. No, we're not ordering Brazilian pizza. We're ordering Brazilian. What do you mean? <laughs> we ordered Brazilian. Oh, let's do power the purse as well. We should get the dialectic thing. Bueller. Did some of these get deleted? No, oh, where's our journal entry, man? We went velocity department. Where's our journal entry? We want our dopamine. Should've been like, it's my Brazilian now, little bro. And like, taking the food. I thought about just taking the food. Telling him to fuck off. I was like... It's like so dick, but like it occurred to me and I was just like, I was actually just annoyed that someone like, that I answered the doorbell for someone else's food, you know? Yeah. You think Mr. Gaming's neighbors uh, know they live next to a literal legend? I think they can hear me if they walk past my door or past my window. I think they can hear me. A little awkward, to be honest. TBH. Especially if I'm making, like, inappropriate jokes. The, like, where if you don't have the context, they'd sound horrible. So, no! <laughs> if you average them, if you average them, it's 69 on both. Uh, at least it was 69%, yeah. There we go. At least it was 69%, yes. Perfect. Couldn't have had both, right? Can't have 69% and, uh, unless it's, like, 690 votes. I don't think we could swing that, though. That'd be a, a bit of a task. Alright. We're gonna need more government administrations down the pipeline soon. Do we have not enough tax anywhere no we don't but miniscus is going to run out of tax capacity first so we'll just put that in there uh, we'll swing it to the front of the queue too what queue god such a depressed looking queue part of this though part of this is actually a good thing because it now they won't overbuild stuff so i think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grossly we're gonna do some of this action we're gonna because we're using the wood company, and the wood company is really strong, and wood's really, really strong, we would be super okay just, like, overbuilding wood to an extreme amount. So we're going to come in. Actually, what are we doing? We're going to, yeah, everywhere that's, like, in Brazil proper, we have at least one level of wood, and we are going to put all the wood on auto-expand. And then we're going to export wood. So let's come in here. I think we... Oh, it's not even expensive. Oh, it's not even cheap. It's not even exportable yet. We'll see how that goes. But now, 
Ba boom! Look at all those logging cams up in there. Balanced as all things should be. Yeah. A lot of generalist neighbors are actually longtime viewers. Yeah, I get approached on the street like every day, and they're, "Are you generalist gaming?" And I'm like, "Yeah, dog." <laughs> Uh, we'll let them handle Mapuche on their own. Imagine the neighbors listening to the conversation of the African hunger problem stream. Oh my god, yeah, basically. The one where I was like, you shouldn't feed hungry people. I prefaced it by saying this could be an unpopular opinion. I think it still is an unpopular opinion, or like, people think that the justification is at the very least callous, but... Yeah. To be fair, I didn't word it very well the first time. Let them fight. Let the boy watch. Okay. Um, like, the better way to word it is, if someone is already starving, uh, the, the solution is not just giving them food. Which I think is true. Let the boy watch. We're gonna give this one unit, I think. There we go. Most of our army's in the landing squad now. Interesting. I think we don't want them to have the artillery, though. I think we want the artillery in this unit, so we're gonna move it on over. And then this unit now needs more infantry, so we're gonna do that as well. Get everything kind of nice and squared away. This just has a bunch of lancers. Do we have any lancers anywhere else? No, all our lancers are there. Perfect. And we want to have a few more lancers. Why don't we make them? Paradox is on a streak with fat updates. <laughs> yeah. Neighbors be like, what the fuck is mapping? Basically. Someone's just like, mappy. More mappy. I'm also very excited when I say the word mappy, because I like saying it, so... We're gonna give them momentum. We actually want them to do well in this election, because, oh my god, do we wanna... We'll, we're so much more legitimate like this. Is it worth... How long until the election? 152 days? Yeah, it's probably worth doing some of this. These guys also will instantly marginalize, so we will actually lose this uh, malice. So actually, it's super worth, because... Smell you... Oh... I was trying to say smell you later, but then they just decided, no, we're not going away. We're not fucking leaving. All right, we're going to do that. The case against monarchy, a worrying turn of events. Landowners gain elitist. Ugh. All right, well, we're making progress on this. I guess we need more coffee, huh? At least one of those. Increase the amount of buy orders within the coffee. For coffee. I think we try and export coffee then, too. Because this is a way to create increase buy orders. Well, this goes to level three, so I guess we'll just go for it. Didn't we build a bunch here? No, okay. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Except this one also has a bigger sugar bonus, so I guess maybe we... Maybe we didn't want to... Well, we have other places with sugar bonus, so that's fine. So, let's put this on... Oh, my God. No, not the dream. Not like this. Can't find enough people to work in the coffee places. If we could increase the price of coffee, that would work, but... Bro. It's a migration problem. Okay, so... Well, in Rio... We do have... This is a sugar bonus, right? Alright, but I, I think that building up to... Oh, we don't even have that much unused arable land. 
We do here, so maybe we build up the copy here, but we want these guys from mines. Bahia, maybe. Let's see. Get ranches throughput. But we should be building tobacco there. God damn it, dude. It's not even that much arable land. Did they nerf the arable land all over the place? Where Didn't they used to have like 200 in a bunch of spots? Bro. They, res they released this Brazil patch and then they nerfed the crap out of them. What the hell? Alright, where just earns the most? Er, Uruguay. Okay. And you have plantations and agriculture? Yeah, that, okay, that's probably fine then. I started the rampage on Mapuche, not like this. The truth hurts. Don't uh, word your arguments in the worst possible way to alienate and piss off. You don't y'all don't word your arguments in the worst possible way. No, I usually like to. I generally don't do that. Sometimes I do that, but the the way to the higher level troll is to. Uh, pretend like you're supporting their argument and then actually be putting down, laying the foundations for a different argument. That's like the opposite of their argument. And you get them to agree with your like premises and then you go after them. The petite bourgeoisie smelled you back? Yeah, basically. I said smell you later, they smelled me back. True thirds. Damn, you got Republican landowners through an event? That's new? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, where they drop the ideology, which is annoying, because I'm trying to stay on it. Bro needs, needs some uni students looking for a part-time barista job for this coffee place. Is damn, yeah. I mean, we need more migrants. I mean, we could use, we could encourage migration here, but we're really trying to build up in, you know, here. So if we're going to encourage migration anywhere, it's going to be here, which we're not even encouraging it here. Because we're like this, like we would much rather these places get employed, right? This is much higher priority. Uh, you know, and so, yeah, man. Just grim, 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 grim. I think we can, oh, we're, we're going to see the end of the election. Once the election hits, then we'll see if we can, um... Put in the devout. Let's check our infamy. Alright, yeah, we have a ton because we... Oh my god, we're not even fighting this war because our brain... We turned it off. Okay, fair. Alright, where is your capital exactly? Alright, we're just gonna land the cap. Or you being invaded by Great Britain. Well, that's fair enough. We'll land here if we can. Looks like we're going to need another one of guys. I guess we'll go with this guy. Sure. You just got here, uh, says Yint Keeling. I have the game crashed on the street. That seems to be a common problem. Uh, being unable to get it. We haven't crashed once. Uh, we've just had a, a very nice... Uh, things have been going spectacularly for us. So uh, we'll do this one because we actually want the devout to have a decent amount of clout. Um, but we haven't been having problems. Um, the conservative party wins. Okay, thank God. Kind of. Oh, kind of, thank God. Bro, really? The real real? Alright, I guess it's the real real. The real real but um you could try force closing uh and then uh reopening steam uh, this has helped some people some people said it doesn't hurt Debo debate bro tactic time let's go 
basically. Alright, we called our one time last time. Maybe the one time gods just didn't hear us. We will reiterate our one time here. And of course we will get it this time. Because we have called one time, so. Obviously. They changed unemployees to job seekers. The game is literally ruined. <laughs> Basically, I mean, job seekers is actually a better term, to be fair, or some more accurate term. Or, accurate's not the right word, because it, it refers to whatever it refers to, but it describes the thing better, because if you're not employed, but not currently seeking employment, you are not considered unemployed. Has anyone had the problem of none of your buildings are produced for profits at the start of the game? This is a consequence of Mappy. The truth hurts, capitalism's hard. And the U.S. job seeker rate is up. You can tell something else, but it means the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I was thinking, like, um... Like, one I've deployed... So I get, I've gotten in a lot of arguments in the sauna. And for those who don't know, just politically speaking, I lean liberal, although I'm fairly centric. And one of the things is, like, I'll complain about how, uh, you know... I'll complain about how liberals uh, couch or describe their arguments, right? I'm like, the liberals are just ter like, it's such a bad way of arguing. And then, like, conservatives in the sun are like, yeah. And I'll, then I'm like, they should argue like this. And then I give the liberal argument, and they're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the immigration's got some of the better ones on that, but like also a lot of I, a lot of liberals would disagree with me on immigration. So, conservative party with devout IG and it wins, and he says, "Thank God, this guy's thinking of four do, four do." Job seekers is intelligentsia language. This is a landowner stream. <laughs> this is a uh, anarchist stream. I think if I'm gonna let the stream chat decide the things. Holy shit. I'm shocked at how the view count is spectacular. Alright, so we're gonna try and sway for... to get transfer subjects, but we're not gonna transfer Australia or Canada because we just lose them unless we... Ah, no! We clicked too slow. Now they don't want to offer anything because they have help from China. Terrible. China also making moves, apparently. Bro, did they sway Canada for Canada or something? No, okay, they just join. Yeah, fair. <laughs> if they swayed for Canada, that would have been rich. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to do this ourselves then. Fine, we'll do it ourselves. It looks like the UK is no longer interested in this war. Bedridden government. Good riddance. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> We've rolled that actual event three times now. <laughs> Son of a bizzle. We'll move this other army here too. We'll just look to push it in. Yeah, I don't think they have too much in the way of subjects. Oh, it looks like the UK actually was landing them. Okay, fair enough. Job is out. Peace. Unemployed pops don't uh, didn't really exist at the time. They would be more like uh, day workers who didn't find work every day. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, subsistence was a lot easier. If you wanted some firewood, you just went out into the woods and you chopped some firewood. You didn't have to buy it, but now you cannot, like, legally just go out and chop firewood. Uh, yeah. I subscribe which to whatever, whichever position it's funniest to defend. That's fair. The Just generally being a contrarian is also to some degree my style, because I think that people th see things in, like, black and white ways, and, like, generally it's more complicated, and, like, the position it's complicated is always the the reverse of whatever the other person's position is, and so, yeah. Or show an enthusiastic support of your idea to your friends and then throw an extreme idea that remotely link it. Yeah, that's also a good one. You just gotta hit him with the... You gotta confuse him. I hate that liberals argue this way. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, like, once, once someone that, like, agrees with you, it's like... Yeah. The 
and like yeah i mean a lot of people have also just like another one to drop is like you just ask people what literature they've read on the subject and people don't really read books and so their answer is almost always like oh i haven't read anything and then they just shut up <laughs> then they just like generally shut up about it <laughs> it's like <laughs> which is always kind of funny Oh, you're talking about the Chinese eco uh, economy. What have you read on Chinese economics? <laughs> They're like, uh... <laughs> or they hit you with the, you know, I've watched a lot of videos. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> it's sad that they didn't fix the police problem in Brazil. It was uh, historically until this day military police. Interesting. But we do enforce on them. Nice. Getting ourselves kind of a large customs union. We have a ton of auto expand on the logging now. So maybe now we can export soft wood? I mean, so the wood, we probably should have done this earlier, but the wood is like such a good thing to export. We're even prioritizing. Why can we not? Is it because they're tariffing it? Oh man, if the UK is tariffing it heavily, that's obnoxious. Oh well. I mean, these things are still disgustingly efficient. We're getting some mass migration events too, which is gonna be super nice. We're almost finishing the succession, so... How easy is, uh... How easy the UK gives up territory should be nerfed? It has been nerfed a little bit. It's been nerfed. A little bit. So is that part of the game now? How do you fix it? For example, I produce no glass, but there are full people that have... But there are full of people and have five glass producers. Do you have demand for glass? Mind you, I have a real position, but it's easier to piss off the friends. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I, get, I understand. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Everyone has a position, you know? Some people are just wrong. <laughs> What's the most useless good in the game? Most useless is kind of an interesting question. I mean, you'd rather build opium and alcohol than use tobacco, so tobacco might be the most useless good in the game. But then, like, also it could just be cars. Or fine art. I don't know. I guess it depends what you mean. Bedridden government. This is now the fourth time we've rolled this event. Bro. A row. We'll see if we could sway for banning slavery. But the truth hurts. Yeah, legislative failures, you're telling me. We called one time, too. I don't know what's going on, guys. I think the game is bugged. We called one time. We're not getting it. Congress state, no. Transfer subjects, no. We're seeing if anyone wants uh, something else. Doesn't literally look like it. Not that we need help, but they might be... Well, they're actually probably not likely to They'll be just as likely to back down versus just us, but we were just hoping to get someone in on the ban slavery. He spit in chat. I'm trying not to. Maybe I need a napkin. <laughs> Hi, demand. The price is 75. This is also true for everything you produce. Then you're bugged. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Some people are just wrong. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's not wrong. It's really hard to, like, be purely and in an objective sense completely, like, right. Because reality is complex and, you know, we describe reality with words and words don't actually properly capture reality. But there's definitely some things that are just wrong. <laughs> I find anyone else having this problem update so far. I haven't noticed someone... I think someone mentioned it earlier, but I haven't been necessarily trying to keep track of exactly everything. I don't think realistically there was a way that it would have given up any of its territories. Uh, I do like that they're willing to trade some of this stuff. I also love that we got Kenya, but um, yeah, they should be really unwilling to give away unincorpor or incorporated territories, which generally they are, but would they give it away for like help with a civil war that otherwise it looks like they're going to lose? Like. I think that would maybe be re realistic, but I think that they should have to regard the war as existential, which should be really hard. Uh -oh. hmm. 
Just pass private health insurance at this point. Brood, dude, no way. Private health insurance sucks. We're just passing it for, like, the plus SOL is only on the upper strata. So, like, it's almost just like old uh, private health insurance. Besides, we called one time. We're just getting it, obviously. <laughs> As long as I think, as I think, as long as someone is able to conceive that they may be wrong at, uh, may be wrong at all times, then society will advance like five thousand years. Benjar backs down, big nice. Look at this market. So nice. I mean, CX got quite a bit too now. That's a decent chunk. We'll keep that in mind. I think we have a good amount. I guess maybe not that good. We'll save again. Go after Siak. Also make sure we're... Let's see if we can... Yeah, let's improve relations with them. like this. Yeah, it's super easy to be wrong. It, it, it's really easy to be uh, at least like partially wrong and like partially right. But like it's it's hard to be like 100% right. Uh, but it's it's not too hard to be like 100% wrong. I contradicted myself there as evidence. That was performance in that, you know, it's hard to be 100%. <laughs> it's hard to be 100% right. <laughs> I think you guys get what I'm putting down though. Pick it up what I'm putting down. All right, let's see if they go for war goals, like for banning slavery, which I don't think they will. Oh, they will. Okay, sure. Thank you. CX relatively big, so... Four goals, what do you want? Conquer state? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, they changed it? Yeah, they made it worse. Uh, but it, it, each one only gives half a point of... Uh, of uh, what is it? Uh, whatever it's called. American health insurance, basically. The truth hurts. They'll also set you free, but it hurts first. Um, what Portugal sided against us? Is it worth it to nab any Portuguese territory? Probably not, really. Maybe South Angola, but... That's probably it. That would be worth grabbing. We could grab war reps off them as well. South Angola would give us more frontage into uh, doing this. We could also humiliate them. We could also just... I think we just chill out and don't get anything off that. I mean, we could get war reps. Do we want war reps for a little bit longer war? I guess we're in for a little bit of time. I just They just won't give us that much war reps. The GDP is not that big. It's really not that worth but we could do war rep plus humiliation. And watch as the Ottomans join and then we're sad. Because we use all our maneuvers. Paradox really hated that private health insurance was actually meta in some playthroughs. Terrible. It's kind of dumb that you can't have both private and charity hospitals. I agree. I think that there should be, like, a uh, state-run, a law for st uh, the degree of state-run uh, health insurance, and then there should be, like, a social underlying system that uh, ends up giving you charity hospitals or private health insurance. Alright, alright, alright. Nope, we didn't high roll. Bro, just every time. I'm just so pleased to see that. I'll click that button every time. I think we do this. 
this guy here. We're gonna land with our landing squad. We're gonna leave the defensive army defending in the home HQ, and then we'll land. Yeah. Okay. I think we're I think we're set here. Victory, yeah, I'd be like, I'm Russia. I want to squeeze one of my Cossack subjects. Oh, Brazil's reverse swing for Alaska to help me out. Shit, bro, I need the help. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. 100%. Speaking of, let's make sure we have interest in regions. So let's do France and in case these guys have like revs. Let's do this. I think I like that. Uh, we'll also. Can we export coffee yet? We made some more of it. The UK might be protecting domestic supply. I actually don't know exactly how that mechanic works. If the if the subject leaders. Protecting domestic supply. Alright, that works for us. That they just backed down. We have 12 infamy, so we're gonna, I guess, take a save and go for Banjar. Something like this. Hopefully the Ottomans don't intervene. Oh, We already went for Banjar. The truth hurts, I guess, if you're Banjar. Uh, go for Katai, I guess. It's so hard to be 100% right. I do it every day. It's not so hard. <laughs> the American healthcare system is currently a mix of, of all three systems. Yeah. And I think that, like, the... Actually, does in some states you're required to have health insurance, so I don't think... I mean, I guess it would still be a mix, but it's, like, a kind of more nuanced mix. We're gonna see these guys probably back down as well. We'll just ban slavery. We'll leave their market closed. Where you have to pay 15k for giving birth in the US? Yeah, basically. Thought of a use for a new enforced law feature. If you spot a nation in Africa with Jingo's leader, you can force them to start colonizing as a subject, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think the biggest one is, as the East India Company, you want to get them, uh, you want to pull them off of, um, how do you do that? You probably force them to go homesteading, and then they rev, and then you just help them with the rev. Something like this. Tried Chile and killed 40k in your attempted invasion of Ecuador. Did you know, uh, whether something is sufficient or insufficient? Whether something about insufficient naval support has changed? I think it's the same, where you just need to have a number of ships uh, greater than... Well, we have too many mana wars. Truth hurts. Too many heavy ships. Who else could we sway here? What is this for? Obligations? No thanks. They bill you, but you can just not pay? Uh... Don't think that's exactly a good way of, uh... Characterizing how it works. If you don't pay, and you get sent to collections, and collections just never collect on you, you can never buy a home, and you can never, like, take a loan. Like, it's not like... It's not like nothing happens. Alright, alright. We called one time. We got two setbacks, then we failed, and then we called one time again, the second time, and then, uh, let's see if we can get it now. You do it with half ships, but you, you get a pretty severe malice. But we are gonna have to land these guys, it looks like. Good time. Smiley later. Landing squad. Ramming speed. So you need actual navy. Yeah, no more of this nonsense where you could just, like, do whatever. Luckily, we can now increase our institution level for, uh, health insurance. Oh my god. 
God, my brain, dude. I need some calories. I'm, I've been hungry for like two hours, but then I couldn't order pizza. I mean Brazilian. Couldn't order Brazilian. Could not order Brazilian. Charity party is the GoFundMe. Lol. We was in chat. Pour one out for the for the person who hopefully makes it. We'll see. If someone's having a medical emergency, or a cat's stuck in a tree. You never know. You could do it with way less than half though. Before on on like patch 1.4, you could just naval land. You could just double land with a bunch of level ones, and you just or like triple land, quad land. Navy, la Navy landing was like insane. No, you actually need a Navy. Seven hour stream, blind me. We're going 10 hours or until we dip under 100 views, whichever comes. Uh, and if we're over 200, we'll just keep going. Uh, but we're not over 200 right now. But we're whichever comes second. Is streaming your gig? Yeah. This is, I'm trying to, I have until about February to increase my income by doing this by a large percentage. Otherwise, I'm going to figure something else out and probably stop making content. So, I'm a fitness-based enthusiast as well. Yeah, though the, my, my lifting YouTube is not monetized though. But I do lift heavy stuff with one hand. I can put 200 pounds over my head with one hand. That's my best. Bro thinks he can beat the IRS. Well, the, the, the government, you don't, you don't not pay your taxes, but not paying not paying, like, your medical bill is a little bit different than not paying taxes, and very often they, like, uh, I mean, but, like, if you, you get sent to, like, collections, and then, like, you, you, you screw your credit for the rest of your life, like, that's not, like, <laughs> that's not, like, a, huh, I got away with it. <laughs> uh, and even then, I still think it can turn out badly. Like, if you actually have assets, it's not like you can, if you don't have assets, they won't, like, my understanding is, is like, you can get away with not paying, right? But if you, if you actually have assets, they will, like, come for you and make stuff inconvenient enough that you would want to pay. Also, if you have assets, you probably have, like, health insurance, so you're not, like, getting wrecked anyways. Some states, they can't go to collections for it? Okay, well. Fair enough. This is not exactly my area of expertise, to be fair. A lot of things don't look at medical debt because so many people have it. Interesting. How's the update? The update's really nice. Uh, I mean, like, a lot of it's stuff we were already aware of, but, like, visually, relative to 1.5.5, it's, like, visually looks way, way, way better. Um, you know, there we've been doing the Brazil content. The Brazil content's been nice. We've been having fun with that. We're trying to become a Brazilian naval power. We're having some trouble with that. Wow, they just keep, like, expanding. The AI keeps expanding their navy as well here. Which is kind of hurting us a lot on that front. But, mm, I think we should... Nope, we don't have another interest. I mean, I guess we expand the Navy some more. So this is going up to 17. Let's... One, two, three. Let's do some of that. And we're going to get public health insurance as well. For those of you who just came into the stream, because we called one time. The government would rather collapse than not collect money from average pops. Oof. Oh, shoot. I saw something on the phone. I just realized they might call me or text me when they're here. Nope. The pizza should be here in three minutes, according to the, the thing. But, uh... Yeah, pours one out, basically. I even have quit making content. Yeah, but I gotta make money. I... I have, like, money saved. Oh, Jesus Christ. I actually think this is the sixth time we've hit that event because I think we've hit it and then had to choose the other option after we game. Mm -hmm. It says it's out for delivery. So do, mm -hmm. Almost read my address on stream. That would have been awkward. But, yeah. I mean, I also, like, yeah, I'm trying to make this work. That's also one of the reasons I started Patreon. The link is below. I'm pretty sure I put it in below. And so, uh, I was also, like, looking at some of the bigger YouTube creators and realizing that in the space and realizing that, like, just based on YouTube views alone, they don't make as much as I thought they were making either. So, well, it looks like they don't want their, our help. I thought they were making, like, a lot more. 
just based on YouTube views alone. So, uh, they get like a lot of like, uh, what is it? Uh, the the game that's like terrible that like sponsors everyone. Raid Shadow Legends. That's the one. Reducing health insurance to 0.5 SOL is a good change. Yeah, it, it was obscene. I mean, I st it's still like an insane institution, but it's a lot worse. Uh, oopsies, I just doxed myself, basically. Basically, like, actually, this is why I need the food. I need the food before I dox myself. We're doing this to see which places we haven't uh, subjugated yet in Borneo. Or, 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 hear me out. We could dare, we could dare to dream and go for a new Granada again. <laughs> let's, let's see. Let's see what Paul Allen thinks. Why do these guys really want to help? Do, are we rivaling them? Bro, we're not even rivals. What the frick? Hold up, one sec. Alright, estimated delivery time was 5.03. I do like the new color on Austria Hungary, though, here. We could ask for Hudson Bay, we could ask for an obligation. That's really not gonna do much. I mean, we're not getting very useful sways here, unfortunately. Oh, bro, just to be transparent with you, I only on good months make over 1k, uh, Canadian, not USA, in a month. It's hard to make good money on just ads. Yeah, basically. So, like, I was just, uh, because I was looking, uh... I, I'm actually getting, like, decent numbers in terms of views relative, like, my YouTube's only, like, a year old, so, like, this is one of the reasons why I don't have a lot of subs. Um, like, I have very low subs relative to my view count, and the view count's, like, what, like, does the, does the money, but, like, yeah. But, yeah. I, I basically need to at least double it by February, the income, so I need to figure it out. You can slap down some emergency relief and promote social mobility decrease to your house. Yeah. The dock stream has begun. What is this? Oh, exporting. Yeah, sure. That's... that's oh, wait. No, it's time to load. <sighs> no, Russia just sways in for what? Trade agreement? Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> Damn slavery. New Granada. These guys are for sure going to join, too. God. What? What is up with this, though? Why do they just absolutely, like, can't not meddle with this? Bro? Yeah, there we go. Denmark says no. Call. Oh, are they allied? Am I just stupid and I can't read? I think I'm probably stupid and can't read. Holiday season helps with CPM. Interesting. That's good to know. These days it seems like YouTube uh, YouTubers rely on sponsors. Like, yeah, I don't have any sponsors. And I just shit talked Rage Data Legends. Terrible. After YouTube ad blocker change. Interesting. Journals meet up where he pays for the Brazilian food. Just in dark alley. Brazilian food. Okay, so we can't go for these guys, but can we read? They've rivaled us. They have an alliance with Denmark. Okay, we're just stupid. Just kidding, chat. We're stupid. That's what's going on. Sorry, I'm stupid. I won't lump you in with this. <laughs> I, all the ad blockers just improved. Nothing else really changed. 69 fast cars has speedway, basically. Have I thought about adding a higher tier list on the Patreon? I just started the Patreon with a $1, like, thing. 
I'm glad we go up to five or ten just for uh just to support. Well, thank you very much. I mean, I might add more, but I I'm. The thing suggested starting at a lower rate, and to be honest, like I don't have more stuff to put on the Patreon to offer other than the voting thing. So, I think that like for now, just having it at a lower thing and just trying to enter the space and then adding more stuff later makes a little bit more sense. Um, I would like to at least uh. uh I would like to, I would like to actually be able to sell like products that like obviously have a markup to support me, but like uh, to have a merch store more so than like uh, charged for stuff that's like gating information and like gating voting on, well I actually think wealth voting is kind of funny and so we have wealth voting now, but I mean I could look up the Patreon. I think one person had joined in, like, the 24-hour, like, since I created it. Oh my god, the pizza's late now. This is terrible. I mean, sorry, the Brazilian is late. God, I'm losing a, losing a touch of my step. But I appreciate that a lot, Alyssa Rose. Oh my god. Is that the one female we have in chat? Crazy. I'm, I, we still haven't gotten an event for this, and I don't know how to get it. Or we have to, uh, River Coffee's... Speedway, everyone. River Coffee, so I guess we have to try and really force this, god. We have to be the lead producer of coffee. Let's see who the lead producer is. Or let's look at our prestige and see if, if this is one of a contributing factor here. Okay. We're the number two producer of coffee. Okay, so we're close. Allegedly. TM. We're close, oh, supposedly. Oh. Uh, as they fair is so bad. I don't know why anyone ever goes it. All right. Let's see if we can export coffee. All right. There's a at least a couple of these that are profitable. I think we're gonna export to the Russians. Even well, actually, let's just look at productivity and see. Okay, we're gonna export to Ching. Really wish we could prioritize export, but we can't. I think it just follows whatever UK's logic. <gasps> yes! Oh, it's magical! It's everything we ever wanted! Tremendous. I'm so happy. We got invited to the right customs union. Except they're not gonna have enough, uh... <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have uh, instant problems, I think, because they're gonna not have enough convoys, so we're gonna need to build a shitload of convoys, but we'll get there eventually, guys. Alright, so, yeah, massive problems initially. Let's take a look at where the problems are. Okay, no ammo. Sulfur is not a sh quite a shortage. This will adjust. The steel is a problem, so we'll import it. For now, we'll eventually want to be producing steel ourselves. We don't really have very good states for producing steel. And then we also want to import this. Uh, but uh, we just will do maybe a couple of these. So that'll help solve it. And now, what's our market access look like? Oh, it's actually not bad. Okay. Perfect. Spectacular. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And now, we can reduce the autonomy of everyone. Because we don't have a special pact. They don't accept. Okay, we're, we don't want to fight a war with them over it. That's okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Let's end the rivalry. Let's put, let bygones be bygones. Let's reduce autonomies for some people. Oh my god, my kingdom for this pizza to get here faster. Okay, 
87 percent come on god we're trying to remember every single person we subjugated and it's a little bit rough they just categorically don't accept maybe we just reduce on argentina anyways they've well maybe we reduce on chile we're gonna save and reduce on chile and we're just gonna have ourselves a little bit of a fight a lot of cars outside sue them for the no brazilian I can I can respect that. Brum, let's go. UK in shambles. Are they really in shambles? Let's take a look. Yeah, eat that market. We're gonna improve relations with them though. They probably say yes. They accept demands. Cool. We have a decent amount of infamy now. I guess we can import opium pretty profitably. Oh my god. Did we put the wrong address? Why don't we read my address out loud? No, we didn't. Please. You guys are normally so punctual. This is awful. And maybe it's because everyone's ordering uh, everyone's ordering Brazilian because of the release of the, you know, patch for Victoria 3. I think this is obviously it. Hey friend, hey uh, Jao. How's the patch going so far? Is the system more fun now? Yeah, I definitely love the war system a lot. I, I think that there's there's three things I complained about uh, since the release of the game, and they fixed two of them now. I think the last thing is diplomacy. I think diplomacy is really oh, mm, I think diplomacy's got some problems, uh, and that we would, yeah, they yeah maybe need fixing. Oh, but we should be getting so many Russian migrants now. Let's actually take a look. Because the Russian migrants should be a lot better than... God, after 1.5.5, you just look at the migration number and it's not 20 million and you just get sad. <laughs> it was never meant to be 20 million, but... Uh, yeah. Rabbit Duck t-shirt merch when? Bruh. I think I'm not allowed to like use this out of people's thing. I mean, we really want to annex these guys. Maybe we save and just hope we get a nice looking play, but 6.5 infamy is not an amount. Or that is an amount we can afford right now. Okay, I've convinced myself. Um, so some of the, I mean, I guess we could do, we could make a pie thumbing shirt. In terms of brand for this, like for this channel, like the pie thumbing makes the most sense now. But that's what I would think. The Iron Army. We probably want to have a, a defense, some type of defense thing. Did Transvaal colonize? It's colonizing now. Transvaal colonizes now, which is uh, a little bit interesting. <sighs> Public health insurance has failed. Rome has fallen. This is terrible. God, we are also just generally not very legitimate here. Oh no, wait, we were still going? No. Wait, is that gonna kill it instantly? Okay, it doesn't. No, well, mm. I mean, we only have like nine percent. All right, so we either the monarchy will endure the. Magnanimous monarch gets depleted, or we have a Republican proposal. If it is the will of the people, we shall form the Republic. Alright, so what is this? Bro. No, this isn't what we want. Well, this will just deplete the, the thing. Maybe we should reload and just say no. Let's just reload and say no. This isn't what we're trying to do. God, this is actually tough, though. Loud car outside shirt. Maybe we could we could take a vote for it, whether people want the loud car outside or the, the thumbing of the pie shirt. Say it all, bro. I'll tell you if you got it right, bro. Yeah, you... <laughs> Doxing speedrun, Tark. Make it the, the next level content here. God. I don't know how we're supposed to fucking... Whatever. We have to maybe start... 
We have to tr somehow marginalize the landowners, I guess. They're gonna be real tough, though, because they're in a party. Mm. That they are traditionally the leader of. Oh, wow, we have a smaller military than these guys? What? Oh, are they properly utilizing conscripts? They might be properly utilizing conscripts. We haven't put in on the conscripts, so maybe we need to do that. So let's kind of... I guess we're going to do something like this. It's kind of unfortunate. There's two. There's five. There's two, three, four. I don't know. We gotta pull them from someplace that doesn't like make much sense, or just suffer the malice. We'll suffer the organization malice and just like do this. Russia gives more migrant pops because of uh. Russian market gives more migration because they have more pops and they generally have lower SOL and that's why they migrate better. Uh, the English pops will have higher SOL in general and so it's harder to pull them over. I mean, we don't have much SOL ourselves and we're struggling and so like, ugh. But, uh, how are you confident, my guy? We can't sway anyone. What the hell? Oh, because we can't sway anyone because we have... <laughs> We can't sway Russia, because we're a subject of Russia. We're going to screenshot this, too. File it under a complaint. Uh, but they have an ally to Russia. Can't sway them. God. Insipid. Oh, actually, let's change our mobilization options a little bit here, too. Bro, how's the pizza not arrived yet? I mean, the Brazilian. Terrible. Alright, I don't think we have the medical ones yet. Hmm. This might actually be a little bit dicey. Unless they just decide not to mobilize, I suppose. Do they really just have more battalions than us, though? They just actually have more battalions than us. Why do they have such a big military? Holy snaps, dude. Alright, I guess let's also expand our military. Side shirt. There's more undiscriminated pops in the Russian market than in the British market. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't you use your one time? How's it failing? I don't know, dude. We used the one time. I don't know. It's a mystery to me. Alright, it looks like they just don't believe in believe defending their fronts, so we're gonna get some entry in here. But now, now we're faced with a little bit of a decision. I think we could just try and bleed them out with defense. To be honest. And then try and land them. Maybe this is the way, but so much of our army is actually in our landing squad. We could set these guys to defense. Adamant defense. We have a better defender here. Maybe we do this. And try and push with the this guy. I mean, we're pushing okay. Alright, this is also landing squad, landing squad. Oh, it's not showing us which troops we have or are borrowing, which is kind of a bit annoying. Alright, so our one time's gonna tick here. We're gonna get it. Yep, yep, yep. It's gonna go to the next part. Mm. Alright. Alright, alright. We're coffee now very hard to be done after switching to a market with smaller demand or no. Yeah, I mean, it might, may, it might be way harder because we're inside of the big-ass market. Oh, what? Oh, it just resets. Oh, now we get negative progress. Got it. I understand. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Okay, I mean, I, we can still become the leading producer. It says it completes.
I hope they change it. People not being allowed in because of discrimination is silly. Yeah, the fix leg was just terrible, though. Oh, my God. This is almost as bad as, uh... The... The... Brazilian being 20 minutes late. Is it, did it say it's arriving tomorrow? That would be terrible. No? Okay, well, maybe they're just busy. Turtle Island run waiting room. Hmm. I mean, we're making progress, no? Even though we have a... No, maybe we're not making progress. Progress of a kind. That's not progress. That's the opposite of progress. Maybe we set all these guys to defense. Oh, these guys have rapid advance. The hell? Okay. And then once these guys are no longer pushing, which they're about not to be, then we try and land them, but, uh... And we get to defend with only defensive guys, basically. Nope. This isn't ideal. Yeah, we're not, we're not making progress with any of these pushes, so... We'll take that. I mean, we're pushing them back now. Please end so we can move you. Alright, so now we can land with these guys. We're gonna land here. I'm gonna use this, maybe. We'll confirm. Now, this pulls a ton of guys off the front, but we'll set up to rapid advance. I love this actually feels tactical. Actually feels like we're, we're doing something here. This is maybe a problem. How are they- how's the army getting over there? We're gonna screenshot this. This is amazing. How's the army getting over there? They're just traveling through the enemy territory. No Brazilian in this gameplay. Terrible. Generally hungry gaming, basically. Dude, I'm, I'm so hungry right now. I haven't eaten at all today. Uh, suppress the industrialist. Save scum public health insurance. Oh, it's so tedious to save scum, but you could be you could be onto something with that. Whoa, these guys are really having a hard time here. What does rapid advance even do? General advancement speed and offense. Offense. More casualties, more morale damage, more occupation, more advancement speed. Yeah, okay. I mean... I guess we should have moved that over before. But hopefully it takes them too long to get to the capital. We also do have save before this. Ha ha ha. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay. Getting 26 uh, over negative 2 IF going. You understand nothing about the new war system? Uh, it's, it's roughly the same as the old one, to be honest. Uh, the biggest thing that they did is they fixed frontage. Okay, so they only have like a 3 stack defending here. Oh, look at this! Look at this! They're moving an army to defend against the landing! Oh, that's so cool. They did not do that before. This is great. This is spectacular. They're like, oh, we're getting clapped on the landing. Better bring it in here. I think that we had some barracks in the queue. I think we really need to stop me messing about with this. And start. We should have built those. Like, we should have kicked those to the top of the queue. Their army is way bigger than we thought, though. Like, when we start in... This is a problem. This is a problem. Oh, we're gonna lose this war, actually. Because independence doesn't require that they occupy anything of ours. We might reload. We might pull it. We might send it to the poles. Reload or suffer indignity. I was not expecting- this is like- wait, what? Okay, maybe we don't pull it. 
What did they just... Why is this all 100s now? Alright, well, we'll... What's going on? You moved your guy up the front to deal with the landings? I mean, I still don't think this is winnable, because we're going to get ticks below zero, but, like, uh... Oh, you're moving back and forth. You're bobbing and weaving. You have enough defense here anyways. Yeah, so... You need to examine troop numbers before you go to war? Yeah, this is probably true. Thanks for the advice. We kind of didn't on the, on the beta. And, like... All, well, actually... Peru Bolivia never just added 40 battalions, so we were just, like, <laughs> making assumptions, but, uh, what do? Reload or suffer indignity. There's, that really sucks, because there's two companies of theirs that we want to be using. I blame it on the lack of Brazilian food. Kind of getting shit on here, though. Oh, we don't want this two guy to be pushing. No, no, no. We wanted the other guy to be pushing, then, I guess. Because there's no one defending this front. There we go. Maybe winnable? Probably not. This 68 stack's not really getting into the front in time, though. Oh, we're in their capital, I guess. The front... Hasn't moved yet. Still trying to land. Alright. Now we switch to all defense. I think. That's pretty, pretty balanced on the reload versus su suffering dignity. I'm asking you to suffer even though you would reload. Alright. That'll be the tiebreaker though. To be fair, this is still an indignity. Presidential Republic? Jesus Christ. The people just don't want Pedro, huh? So, if it is borderline, if it's a tie, we'll do the other one. Wow, I just cheesed it. How's it going so far? Just cheesed it. It's going okay. This war is going really bad, though. I think we just lose. New national hero? Hey! Is this from the Palista people? Hey, integrate the Palistas. They're all Brazilian now. Hey, we get assimilation and migration and prestige. Cool. And we gained some progress on Magnano Small. Alright, alright, they came off here. Well, to be fair, we don't have to get them down to 100%. We just have to get them to give up, so. Oh, and we got that landing, too. So that's gonna progress. What are you doing? Where are you going? Bro, you start on this front. Stay there. Mm. Where are you going, dude? I guess we gotta play this one a little bit slow, huh? I'm just gonna check and see if someone just like left pizza at the door, because now it's 30 minutes late.
guys. We did it. Mission accomplished. In the most micro-intensive portion, the pizza's arrived. So we're gonna try and see if we can win this war. And then, if we can't, we're gonna suffer in dignity. And then we're gonna eat. Bro, we're so close, so far. Those guys are so close to that front, I wish they'd. All right, we're settled for no war reparations and some, some Brazilian. The Brazilian is here, you guys. The Brazilian has arrived. Some good Brazilian, see? Oh, they included the table things. <sighs> You'll get your Brazilian when you fix this damn door. Alright. Just cheesed it? No, it's pepperoni. <laughs> this gaming session is as long as your RimWorld Rim gaming session? Yeah, I mean, we need calories at this point. What happened to make my magnetic monarch? We got in so many negative events. Today, General learns that he needs a bigger military to defeat his opponents. Let's just chill out for a little bit and have, I guess, this is gonna be Brazilian and chatting a little bit to some extent. We'll lower his speed and catch up. You're noticing that armies still like to randomly move off the front in your Brazil game? Well, we noticed a lot of weird front moving that's going to make, you know, having a lot of movement speed really important because we're just kind of missing on... Well, the reason we won there was because Peru Bolivia kept on pulling off or getting reassigned. Um, we can confederate Canada? What the hell? How do we confederate... No, we just have one. Okay, yeah, we can't do it. We just have the one. We got the food now, though. Dude, if there was a dog just chomping at the food, I'd be so sad. Can we sway in here? Do you want anything from us? No. What's our infamy? 11. Got it. My front line for a pizza. The truth hurts. My pizza for a front line. I suppose now we'll kind of come through and Kutai, Siak, Ecuador. Oh, we also got Ecuador. Pontiac. Okay. Fair enough. I see you. Some people just don't want to be annexed, you know? I can I can respect that. I can respect the grind, respect the hustle. It's all about hustle, it's about grind. Something, something. Now it's starting to, now it's all coming together. Now the map's looking nice. Some lukewarm Brazilians, we love to see it. Parker's dude, the table thing. You know, I love the little plastic. Last time I got cheese all over the top of my thing and I was just like, I was so sad. We'll see, the, like, having the... We don't have a single food industries, and I think one of the reasons it's not auto-building is because... 
the auto build is calculating profitability based on the booty pam, so we'll put in the good ones. Wait, why are you just scrolling around the map? Why not? What should we be looking at? We're looking at how much stuff is now uh, turned the right color. Which is quite a bit of it. A lot of South America, but not all of it yet. We're still over 100 viewers, so we will be continuing. Until we started at 10 a.m. So we're going to be here for another two, two hours. Oh my god. I can eat a lot. I'm asking you once again to confederate Canada. Britain later. I have no longer going to ask you. <laughs> The truth hurts. Alright. This time we're going to be disciplined and look at the number of battalions they have. And then go to war with them. I'm so used to them, the AI being really, really bad on the beta. And, like, them actually providing a little bit of a challenge now. Should be good. And, of course, we kind of got that. We even won that war through basically cheese, so... I think we'll go for this now. Keeping the, uh, reducing the autonomy on these guys is going to be important throughout. And then uh, Venezuela will be after. Hopefully no one joins against us. We're trying to maintain cordial or good relations with the UK. And we're barely cordial, so. Can we form United South America as Brazil? No. The most united one you can form as is Argentina. Brazil just... And that is all the Spanish-speaking countries. Not with Brazil in it. Never mind, YouTube brought me back to the beginning of the vid for some reason. Interesting. The, the Brazilian hyped you up to make sandwiches. The half brick of chocolate I ate doesn't satisfy your desire for meat and cheese. Mm, delicious Brazilian. We're in your customs union, my guy. Russia's actually the worst about this in terms of the AI. This is why I don't want to play on Iron Man. There's like nothing in the play before we do that to suggest that they're not going to side against us. Let's get some cheesy bread, though. So, there's one more thing that remains. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that, like, the military's a lot better. Obviously, there were some problems with that, like, front stuff in there. But it wasn't, like, splintering into, like, 15 different fronts. Well, let's take a look here. Nothing about this suggests that Russia's going to... Other than Russia in general will be more likely to side against us, even though they're protective, because they don't like us going after someone in their customs union. But that someone in their customs union is a subject. I mean, maybe this is the source of the most psychotic, like, yeah, I think, so we... I mean, they're also likely to side against us on turns. Well, I guess we just have to improve relations with these guys uh, and get it so that they just back down. And then we won't have to deal with Russia. Obviously, if they just back down, we don't. We could also just save Skymite, right? Let one day pass, do this again. And it's like, you get a 35% chance each time. We won't do that. We'll just, like, continue on our merry way. Alright, we're protectorate with Kutai. I think we checked them. Checked Shiak. Uh, checked Ecuador. Really wish there was a better way to access this in terms of the UI. We checked Pontiac. I think we checked Venezuela. Siam hasn't been in the oven long enough. Uh, Transvaal says no. Banjar, okay. Anti-Imperial. Alright. So we already reduced here. 
we're making a ton of money, but I think we're going to let it sit for a little bit. Uh, and then expand construction after. Actually, no, we can't do that. Morally. Well, actually, we have a bunch of more military in the queue, which should make things a little bit easier. Let's add just a couple construction sectors. We have this place auto-expanding, kind of what we need. We would really love to start slotting in better companies, though, so I think we're going to want to get probably iron mines to level 11. The wood company's not terrible, though. That's, like, decent. Let's take a look at behind door number two with this, uh... All right, this is the jalapeno and bacon cheesy bread for those of you who ah, let's not dump uh, the Brazilian food all over my keyboard that would be not ideal I'm super hungry still because I mean you don't get my size and not eat a lot you know truth hurts all right <clears throat> Sometimes I need to uh, remind yourself to slow down the game a bit, yeah. I mean, like, some of this stuff actually is, like, somewhat... Well, that war felt a little micro-intensive, but that's just because guys were unassigning from the front. I guess that's, like, still a little bit of a problem. And, I mean, I... Yeah, I don't know exactly how you fix it. I mean, Hoey people don't unassign from the front, right? We have to get the... Oh, my God. I don't know how we're going to do this, other than just trying to make these guys so happy that they don't... Taking the out of gov immediately gives them minus 10. We could go homesteading here now, actually. Yeah, let's do it, I guess. This will maybe allow us to marginalize the other guys, which will help us gain progress on Magnetus Monarch. Magnetus Monarch seems really hard to do. But we're about to get Brazilian secession. Maybe this gives... Wait, what the... F Why do we have... We have to not have legal guardianship enacted. Okay. <sighs> Got it. Okay, let's actually cancel this then. I learned to read. I swear to God I did. What's Argentina population graph life? This is actually a good question because they've been in a customs union. Oh, it's way up. It's like spiking. And it's, uh, they're getting a huge benefit from being in the same customs union, uh, like the migration benefit. And they have a lot of it. I think they nerfed the crap out of the unused arable land in Brazil. I don't know why. Like, they just nerfed the Brazilian territories, their IGs, and then, like, they're like, here's some Brazil content. Hope you guys don't. I mean, if it's appropriate that they have this level of, like, I, I don't really, I guess I don't really know, like, how much arable land. But I, if I recall correctly, the, uh, the Argentinians have way more arable. Like, look at this 204. Uh, 77, I guess, is not that big. 104, yeah. I guess maybe it's not particularly crazy, but, like, I feel like the really big, crazy territories, like, I, I thought I remembered, like, these having way more. I thought there was over 100 here. I thought there was a lot more here. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. But, uh... Now I need a Brazilian. Yeah. You can order yourself a Brazilian. No one out Brazilian to hut. How do you see yourself presenting the 1.6, uh... How do you see yourself presenting the one... Uh, that means do I? Or is that a question of do I? Uh... I think that, uh, someone like... Ludi makes a lot more sense than me. From their perspective. Uh... And the reason being is that, uh, he has... I think you would rather get someone who's really... Who produces Victoria 3 content and is really big in other Paradox games... Uh, than me. Like, from the perspective of them. You know what I mean? Let's just swap all these over. We don't have too many mines, but... Maybe there wasn't even the tech to research. Let's just put this in, right? I slot it in for now, but we're probably gonna research something else. Hmm. So we have a lot of choices. I mean... We could go for labor movement. I think we're not going back to land-based taxation. We really want to demarginalize the... Yeah, I think we really want to demarginalize the trade unions for a lot of reasons. Because we can't pass public health. Uh, we want to get onto um, the labor voting. So we will have to go labor movement to help with that. And 
and then maybe go for another company, something like this. And that'll be good. I swear to God I can read though. So. <clears throat> oh, and this will advance Magmanus Monarch by three. Okay, so this is probably the thing, is we have to get through these events, get through her, and then get her in place, and then finish the Magnanimous Monarch with her. In Hoey, you assign units to a front line most of the time, but you direct control a small number of units uh, to encircle or break. Yeah, but I, I'm saying that they don't randomly all unassign, right? Like, this isn't a thing that happens in that game. Maybe we add a construction sector here? We probably are underproducing rice farms right now, so maybe we also get the rice farms going here. That'll kill the migration here, though. Yeah, maybe we don't do that. Let's not auto expand, but let's like just put down a smattering of rice farm. Rice is so OP, but like the the situation is just such that we maybe don't want to build a ton of it. So we'll just kind of put in like that for now. If we are Brazil, probably. Japan stream? When? Um, I was just going to be planning on doing one fairly early. Into 1.5. I was thinking I was going to do not... Uh, I was thinking I was going to do a run in terms of records, but maybe we want to stream it instead. No. Medium roast. The plummeting price of coffee... It's prompted Lano's Salo Pal and Sao Paulo to advocate extreme action. They intend to burn surplus supply to attempt increased prices. I don't think we have a lot in Sao Paulo in terms of heavy industries throughput. Oh, I guess we kind of do. <laughs> well, just the engines, right? I think the engines and the weapon. How much coffee do you have? A decent chunk. Ah, eh, burn it. They're not very well employed anyways. Wow, these jalapenos are spicy. They'll grab you in five years' time when the game is very popular on its own and very important to the community. Maybe. I think it would make more sense to use me for... So there's an upcoming 4X four, four, four game uh, that Paradox is making, and I'm interested in making content for that. So... If they wanted me to make content for that... Okay, we'll just assume that we aren't going to low roll the 2%. Okay, cool. We didn't call one time, but... We need these guys to back down. Sucks we can't get Transvaal now. That would be another state we could add in. You'd much prefer uh, someone like OPB, Ludi, beyond all, all the drama behind him. Just comes off as annoying, but maybe I just fundamentally don't think... You'd much prefer someone like OPB, yeah. I think, uh, I think they also gave Ludi a script, so, like, it wasn't even his own script. I don't know. I don't know if he had his own script or, or, or what, but, like, uh, I watched, like, all of OPB's stuff before Victoria came out. Like, I binge-watched all of it. Struggling hard to land the U.S. as Russia? Cold War problems, my guy. We're over 100 construction, which feels decent. Overall, the economy is greatly slowed down in 1.5, for those of you who haven't been watching the public beta. And this is a little bit of uh, kind of just new reality. But uh, what do we really need to pop off? I think we just need a ton more pops. and We needed public health insurance yesterday is what we needed, because that gives you SOL, which helps a bit. I mean, we still have 
We still have a well. We still have four hundred thousand peasants. Okay, maybe we need to think a little bit more with our brain. We have the most labor in this gears. Okay. Then we're gonna be building a lot more here. So let's switch to this. Let's get these going on auto expand. These on auto expand. Try and build a lot here specifically. And this is almost at the level we want. So let's get this to level 11 so that we can swap in the company. I think we're re researching another company here. And so hopefully this will help us pop off a bit. Suffer indignity is still pulling. Alas, we did not suffer indignity. We gave glory by managing to take out our subject. We managed to kick the little guy, so. Just throwing the stream. Tool's bad. Uh, too bad it's not me. I thought it was tool's bad, not me. But well, that's what I read initially. Oh no. Where do I have my fucking... Where are my teammates at? I don't know what it is. Tree thirds. Okay. Alright, fair enough. <clears throat> you just joined the stream? How does AI build artillery and cavalry now? I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Well, I think we'd have to swap to them to really see up close and personal. Let's take a look in London and see if we can click on something. Oh! Here's the, here's the UK's uh, split that they're currently using. This is how they think they should be building. So this is 25% the non-infantry guys. But. They also uh, buffed infantry offense across the board. So it's not as like wet noodle fighty. When it's all infantry versus all infantry. It's a little bit more even. I like the way that interface looks, though. Let's look at Prussia, then. Let's see Paul Allen's composition. Prussia also looking like around a quarter, so maybe this is about what they want. How does one influence demand for coffee to increase your own um, nation? Is it just pops? Well, my first thought was we're going to build a bunch of logging, which uh, D... <clears throat> this deep peasants pops faster than any other thing you can build or it deep peasants at best uh, them best in a way that you can build and the plan was to when they they only consume like 10 percent of the goods when they're peasants then when they are uh, non-peasants and so as guys move out from being peasants they will start to consume a lot more coffee so this was the plan also exporting coffee uh is fine you know to increase the price uh we actually can. I think the UK uh, had uh, a their, whatever their trade policy was uh, prohibiting that uh, us from being able to do that profitably. But then we also wanted to export wood, which we were supp uh, supplying most of the wood. This is probably why our economy is actually stalled out, is because we didn't have all their demand for wood. And so we are depeasanting guys really, really quickly by building wood uh, to help stimulate demand for the coffee. Because the coffee, building more of the coffee won't do anything, right? It's just not employing because it's not. But this will drive up the price of coffee on two fronts. One, all the pops getting depeasanted. Uh, but two, exporting coffee will increase the price. Uh, and creating local demand by getting guys off of being peasants will increase the price. Uh, increasing, like, SOL in general is going to help increase the price. Uh, but coffee is unfortunately also... Um, it's also, like, a, a good that only rich pops consume. So we, like, we really need to get the rich pops richer uh, to do this. So, yeah. 10% enactment and two rural folk approval versus minus 10% enactment and two, minus two rural folk approval. Hard choice. Facts. Spitting facts. Play here with the hard tips. Uh, when do you decide to switch to auto expand or not? You must have explained it a ton already. Sorry. No, it's... So in theory, it's never good, right? Um, 
because you're giving up a choice, and in theory you want to make the choice and um, just be, like, smart or whatever. We'll go for the obligation, because we want to reduce autonomy on them. And now that we're on the same side as a play, we should be able to probably... Oh, we can't launch a play against them. Fair enough. Uh, but we have the obligation, so we should be... That should help out also, uh, us out a lot. We'll also maybe mo mobilize a small army. And actually do this war for them. So, I'd say you're welcome. Uh, but it's it's kind of like whenever it's... Uh, I, I like to do it at least initially. And it's mainly just like to save yourself a headache. Because we know we want to be slowly incrementally increasing stuff in here anyways. Um, we're fine auto-expanding, and so generally, even from the start, uh, in the industrial places we know we want to build, we put on an auto-expand, and then another really important inflection point is um, when we research the, what is it, the pump jacks technology, we start to auto-expand out uh, plantations, because we want to build a little plantations, but not a lot of plantations. Uh, automatic irrigation is a really strong PM, and so um, I, I think this is generally a good time, but, like, is will it lead to perfect play? Absolutely not, but is the play, like, good enough while it's still like informed by like what's good and like you know maybe it's not such a deal that you're big deal that you're not playing optimally in a game where you can crush the ai no matter what you do yeah that's probably where it's at so like because the ai sucks nuts right and so but if i was trying to do the absolute min max run possible i probably wouldn't want you to use any auto expand and probably play like speed one and pause a lot but like that would be like not interesting to watch, I don't think. I mean, we could pull this, but like, I think I don't think people would want to be interested in that type of thing. I feel like people just need to accept that they can't really trust sponsored content. It's clearly biased with the word sponsored, and yet people let the hype seep in. Yeah, I mean, uh, if Raid Shadow Legends offered me money, I would probably say no. But. If I couldn't afford to buy Brazilian on stream, I might say yes, you know what I mean? So, I'm in a position where, like, I can afford to say no, and other people might not be, but, like, in theory, you could have people who... Well, actually, no, it's probably never unbiased, but, like, if I don't use a product, I'm probably... Or would not use a product, I probably wouldn't expect uh, sponsorship. But if I was on the fence about using a product, and then they offered to sponsor me, I'd probably start using it and then sponsor it, so, like, yeah... No training PM in Great Britain, the truth hurts. No training for them. Can you try and see if they fixed a bug? Uh, the reset production method is not working in other countries. The reset production method working in other countries? Really? <laughs> we. Yeah, I guess it's working. I guess it's bugged. We're not going to do that, but it's it appears to be bugged. You don't care if it affects because it doesn't affect armies? Yeah, uh, it affecting armies is... Well... We're not looking to exploit like that. There's some exploitative things we obviously do, but not... Some things are too much even for me. Alright, we will need to increase government administrations, which is fantastic that we keep running out, because this implies, this implies that, uh, we are getting a lot of pops. So let's, uh, kind of come back into this one, and take a look at the migration. Let's zoom out. So hopefully we're pulling in a lot from Russia. This is, of course, the idea of joining their customs union in the first place. I like, uh, I'm just kind of annoyed that they kneecapped their, they made their intelligentsia so bad, and then they streamlined you into being super intelligentsia oriented, and it's just like, it feels so bad, man. You like, want to go, getting an intelligentsia monarch is so nice, because the interest group is normally pretty good and now it sucks. General, it was a pleasure to have your company all day. Well, it was a pleasure having you here, but it's time for you to go to bed. What are you talking about? Bed is for the week. We don't stop until we get under 100 viewers. But yes, good night to you, dear, dear sir. You are also uh, 
The sun's been down a little while longer for you, trusted Choi and Ryder. I assume you're located here. So good night. Well, is Florida a releasable nation? It releases itself from time to time under the disguise of Florida Man. In spite of the infamy, I'd probably have taken the Argentina and Chile and Gold States directly off of them. Maybe. That's probably better. It's not quite my style. I, like... I have a, like, severe bias towards, like, long-term thinking that's, like, actually pretty bad in games, um, most of the time. Because a lot of times, actually, short-term advantages are a lot better, um, because they tend to snowball into more advantages, like, as time goes on. Does Ray Shadow Legends even do sponsors anymore? I mean, I think it's, like, a meme. I, I think that they do sponsors, but I think that most content creators don't actually want spot to be sponsored by them because you would make fun of them. I'd be hard pressed to let any mobile game or expect accept sponsorship from any mobile game, though. I think they're hyper insipid. They're generally like closed loop things that um, don't require like any real skill, and they just promote a ton of a really high level of cognitive engagement while not actually providing either like novelty for like significant do or, or like they provide. They, I don't think people become satisfied playing those games, like, at all. Like, I think it's bad for you, so, like, yeah. It's not so bad now. Before, you used to give minus 100 offense to, defense to enemy nations, but not really because it's super inconsistent. Well, you could... It would be consistent if you had exactly half your PMs on one thing, and you swapped to 51% and you swapped them and then you swapped the other thing to 51 and then you swapped them and then you actually used half your army. Alright, we're gonna roll this. We're gonna high roll it, of course, because it's the only law we haven't really cared about passing this entire time. To be fair, we have, like... We shouldn't talk that shit. We, like, passed so many laws really luckily. We just couldn't get the, like, one we were, like, really caring about. Okay, so now we should get... The Brazilian succession, right? The succession is secure. Uh, she loses Princess Elizabeth, loses Princess Elizabeth, and this progresses by five. So it's not above 50%, but... Maybe we can do Br the naval power one next? seems like the AI is much more willing to expand than our military, though. So that'll be good. But the industrialists are gonna get really mad at us in a second here. They're gonna get a minus 20 approval. Bruh. Maybe we can go technocracy here? No, the industrialists prefer wealth voting. Fuck, dude. That sucks. Oh, what is this? Land reformer. Okay. Oh, that's right, we were gonna go homesteading, but then we swapped off of it. Wouldn't hate going commercialized agriculture, but now we're in a little bit of a t tricky situation. I think we have to do this and take the minus 10 approval from the industrialists rather than uh, before that pops in 35 months or whatever. Looks like uh, Great Britain hates our guts now. Hmm. That's not ideal. It's not ideal, that. We can swap over PMs. Man, those jalapenos are spicy. Gonna do some of this. Spice. All right, so we can. Thank God. They're the ones we care most about annexing as quickly as possible. So. That's everyone. We I think we've reduced autonomy on everyone except for Bahrain. I think Bahrain said no though. They said no. Oh. 
We should have saved before we did that because Russia might join against us. Fuck, that sucks. We, like, 100% win this war, but we don't want Russia to join against us. I guess we'll just load if Russia joins against us, but, like, it's a very obnoxious thing. Chatter is saying going to bed are just cringe. Bang, bang, shots fired. I noticed, Tark, that you waited for a while until after they said they were going to bed. What's that about? That would be so annoying in multiplayer. Just stealthy reset all the production. Yeah, can you do that in multiplayer? I'm definitely going to put that in as a rule. Because if you... If you get railroads, you can turn on railroads for everyone and everyone runs shortages. What if a company made a Victoria 3D mobile game and wanted you to sponsor, sponsor you? Well, that would depend on what are the mechanics of the game. Like, it being on the phone is not critically the problem. It's a problem for other reasons, but I would imagine I would say no. Like, if someone made an economic, like, idle clicker simulator on the phone, uh, based in Victorian era, like a total, totally illegal one-to-one -one copy. Oh yeah, well, if, that, if it was a one-to-one -one copy, like, I don't have a problem with Victoria's 3. Right, so, because Victoria 3 actually responds to what you do. Like, the feedback loop isn't closed. The feedback loop is, like, cl closed in the other games. It just has the appearance of not being closed. Let's look, at, let's look and see what they have. They have an alliance. Okay. What? The defensive pact is gone. With Russia. Interesting. Why don't we keep this pizza here? Hmm. Now they have a defense pact with Venezuela. I think we can fight them, but they have a trade agreement with Russia, so Russia's very likely to defend them. I think we will just leave off of it. I think we've reloaded too many times after going after New Granada. It's unfortunate. But, um... And that's not a big enough chance. I'm pretty sure that uh, Russia sides against us. But here... Let's absolve your obligation. You're still 37, my guy? What the hell? What the hell? We really want to reduce their thing now. They're designed to vacuum money from your wallet and not hard K than most games. Yeah, I think they're exploitative of the human psychology. Uh, in terms of extracting wealth from their users, uh, relative to the hourly, Victoria 3 is one of the worst games in existence. Did you not bring enough groups for the uh, food for the class? Here, let's get, make my camera blurry. There's the, uh... There's cheese bread with jalapenos and bacon. I tried swapping PMs, but that it doesn't always work. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Bombastic. How's it going today? You just really hate petitions? Yeah, I mean, it's really annoying, but we're gonna have to slot them out and get minus 10 approval for the IGs and, like, yeah. I think you can save scum them if you want. You were playing CK3, and then you realized, uh, you should talk? Talk about what? Talk about who? Tarkus is playing CK3, uh, on Victoria 3, 1.5 launch. The game is dead. Wow, Jesus. Actually, a little bit. Although, CK3 just had a release of the thing, right? So it's n maybe not too crazy. We're gonna add some construction sectors here in Minis Gears, because this is actually where we have most of our workers that are available. Which I was not, I was thinking we were actually going to be running out of workers here. We're not, not anywhere close. Of course, we have a ton of mill in the queue, so maybe this is overspending a bit. Tark says he's, he'll play, he's just waiting for the hot fix. That's fair. I mean, we haven't crashed once here. Gold's discovered in Transvolf. It's spectacular because we'll be annexing that soon. Mmm, tasty Brazilian pizza. Someone said bad, so you just said fringe, because fringe is easy. You know what's low-key? On God, no cap. Mildly cringe. The word cringe. The truth hurts. 
we just hate it because we ain't it. Yeah. Little piece of bacon dropped. You had a fun little multiplayer game where your friend played Serbia and you played Romania. How did it work? How was the performance? I'm just trying to collect receipts on how good performance is in 1.5 in terms of multiplayer. Because I don't know if we can do multiplayer this weekend or no. For this Saturday. And act poor laws. Why? Do you want to go on to homesteading? We can do that now. I suppose now's actually the time to make the industrialists piss then, huh? Though, of course, we'll get minus 10 approval. They'll be really mad. And they'll do this. Wow, really? Enact poor laws? <sighs> we don't even hate poor laws. But it feels bad because we kind of wanted tenant farmers, but okay. I suppose this is fine. Stupid petition. Support's very high though, so if we manage to put the industrialists in government, which we can, we'll actually have a 100% enactment chance. Big nice. Yeah, low roll these nuts. Like to see us not pass this law. Oh, Tarkus said going to bed is cringe, and I just misread it. Journalists just misread it. Terrible. The truth hurts. The truth is really feeling painful now, says Tark. Love you, Tark. <laughs> the truth always does hurt, though. <laughs> it's like, uh... Here's, here's another truth that hurts. Back in my day, the thing you used to ironically say, uh, because, like, all the, all the kids were saying it, but you were just saying it ironically, was YOLO, and then you started saying it unironically, and you're like, on oh, God, what's going on? This is cringe, no cap. Yeah. And then the truth hurt. Can you show the new Brazil decisions? We can show some of the journal entries. We got Magnanimous Monarch. Uh, we're trying to make progress. We've gotten a ton of events that killed it, but getting Isabella to be like an accepted ruler has helped it. It's a little bit opaque. All It's just events only. There's no actual progress, like percentage. So I don't know why it's percentage, because it's like literally 5 out of 10, not like 50%. Uh, we have the River of Coffee, which we have negative progress on. The truth hurts. We're trying to build more coffee, but we really just need to create more demand for coffee. So, like, the solution to this is actually just getting 500 construction, which is how we're going to get out of that. But that's a little bit grim. Um, I guess we'll add another one of these. And uh, I guess we'll play a little bit of whack-a-mole. We'll see if there's any infra problems in particular, and we'll add, a, you know, one of these here and there. And then we'll come in and we'll click the this button. We'll do this, and we'll look. Oh, God, Jesus. All right. We got some areas that uh, have overly cheap transportation, which is bad. Okay. So we will put in some stuff that will cause them to use more transportation. Yeah, our, our agrarian stuff's just not in play. I don't know. The people who make the argument that you can go agrarian, I have no idea what their games look like, because, like, agrarian seems so unviable. And I just, like, I gotta take a look at someone's game that's, like, going agrarian, and it's like, hey, you could totally go agrarian, like, what? The, you just can't generate enough demand for your goods for your stuff to stay employed, like, it feels like. Uh, or at least, I mean, this is my impression. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here, though. But as you can see, this is incredibly tedious, right? Because we're just like looking at where the price, and this is us like understanding what we need to be doing here to increase the price of uh, transportation, which is gonna just generally have a good effect, but like, mm, not the most fun gameplay pattern. Swag. Oh no, it's back. We never left. The truth hurts.
From what, uh, other communities, you still heard complaints about the military. I think there's a decent chunk of people simply uninterested because of the direction they took with it. Maybe. I mean, the, it's not like they solved all the problems with the military. I'm still pretty annoyed that you can't change war goals mid-war, and you can't, uh, you know, like, the... Uh, and you can't declare multiple wars simultaneously. I think that these are important features. I think we're just going to do this so that the UK gets a little bit of a closer attitude towards us. Um, but we still can declare war, and we definitely do want to declare war. Now, the UK cannot side against us here, so that's maybe something we want to take into account. Hmm. And yet, we, and we come back... Oh, actually, this is... Mm, oh, well, mm, maybe we want a war for this? Huh, I'm not sure if that's worth... Uh, do they reduce... How much it reduced autonomy costs? It feels like it costs, like, nothing to reduce autonomy. Point two. Okay, that's pretty cheap. Huh... What do we even do here, man? We know what we want to go for, but they will... Hmm. They'll immediately get a bunch of allies. The truth does hurt. It's always hurt. And right, maybe we save and go for triple Atania. This is kind of a good one. Yeah, Vic 2 is still very popular because people prefer the Norma Paradox military system. I have always been, like, less militarily oriented, like, uh, you know, in games. So, although that's kind of maybe a little bit... I mean, the only reason we're declaring war so much in Victoria 3 is because, like, it's, like, just clearly in a way, like, correct and, like, better. And we kind of hate it, but, like, it, I don't know. Check out the video you posted on Discord. I will after this stream. We desync pretty often without reason. Uh, I don't know if it was just the internet. We could play on speed 3 for the, fine for the most part. Mm. How many people was that though? Because we're going to try and get 9 people together if we do 3v3v3. V3 v3. I'm quite the zoomer I met yourself, so you embrace the on god no cap for real, for real Rizzlord vernacular. I respect it. Austria-Hungary sides with Triple Atania? Come on, bro. I think we still win versus them, but... We did save before, so... I think we win this. We're not gonna transfer any subjects, and we're gonna, not gonna transfer any states. We win this, though. So... Uh, mainly because Triple Atania is not connected to Austria-Hungary, so it'll just be Triple Atania troops that we have to land and push into, so... Uh, we will have to set our Iron Army just uh, defending, and then we will land with our landing squad, and everything will be okay. Brazilian naval power. We still have 57 years to do this. Still fucking 6 out of 9. Really? We added so much navy. We, like, I increased it by, like, 33... Oh, I guess it, we haven't gotten to it yet. How do we get more construction? The real question. The only question that ever mattered. Maywar works out. We're just gonna stay in war with them. This is gonna be nice. Let's check out the cloud. We'll see Paul Allen's cloud. It's not high enough that a bolster makes sense. We're gonna reduce taxes one notch. Uh, so we get the next legitimacy tier. At least for a while. Kind of running it up a little bit as a major power. Kind of usually I like to hover a little bit lower. In terms of how the game feels. They're cocky. Yeah. Yeah, you're cool, bro. A little cocky action. Wow, they gave me... They gave me parm. I didn't even ask for parm. Crazy. Usually there's pizza places are super stingy on parm. I think their cost basis for it sucks. But I kind of also left a little bit of a fat tip, so... Maybe that's why. Austria-Hungary also just doesn't have a navy, really. Look at this. What a joke. 32 boats, they have less than Brazil. So. You reject generally. No fear of uh, uni university education can take the zoomer out of me, basically. No level of university education. 
Well, like, I do a lot of that stuff, like, ironically, but then, like, it's only, like, half ironic. I think you skipped my question, but is there any types of info on what the new uh, Paradox uh, for X game is? Oh, I forget what it's called. There is info available. It's, like, I forget entirely what it's called. Maybe someone in chat can hit you with that. Is the employment bug back? Not really, but employment's a little stickier. I will join Generation Alpha of that event. Which event? The Admiral's disappointment that the Navy is eclipsed by such an unworthy power as this Great Britain. Uh, obviously. <laughs> How dare Brazilians have it? <laughs> Basically. Some of the best moments in other Paradox campaigns, uh, come from moving your dudes. In Hoey 4, is a huge and circle one. In EU4, it's, uh, OP generals mixed with tech management and idea groups. Ah, we've gotten it yet again. I love clicking this button. May I never not click that button. 10% construction, hell yeah, brother. Alright, we get it. Now, of course, we can't pass homesteading now, but... Fair enough. Bruh. Oh, what? These guys are still marginalized. I doubt there's a good way for us to put them in gov again. I'm not ready to get hurt again, so we're not gonna try. Um, I mean, we could go back to, like, wealth voting or oligarchy. I don't think this is good, but I don't know why I'm considering it. Oh, I guess we kind of like restricting child labor. The industrialists are a little mad at us still, though. I guess we have a movement for it, which is why we can try and pass it, though. This war should be pretty easy. We're going to slow down because we're still kind of half-eating and half-talking. Uh, Vic 2 is an auto-win simulator that makes people think they're smart. That's like, I mean, just, are you saying, are you suggesting that Vic 3 is not a little bit like that? Because, like, I feel like the player, maybe this is me just having the blinders on because I'm, I have a lot of hours in this game, but I feel like the player should usually be able to crush the AI. Only two people are in your multiplayer game? Yeah. I need a, although that, that is, that is a data point. Last time we tried to do the multiplayer, though, it was just a disaster. Like, it crashed, like, seven times. I don't want to do that to the viewers. I don't think you guys want to watch that. So. We are going to land Triple Taney. By the way, we're going for Triple Taney because they have a lot of oil that appears here. And this is the main reason. It will also give us a native interest in North Africa, which will be nice. Uh, so we can come in here and we can remove this interest. We're going to put one down in Persia. Why don't we put another one down? Just in case England revs, we want to be able to sway onto one of the sides if they offer us something juicy, so we're going to do that. And then uh, continue the landing camp. Having less involved warfare makes way more sense, to be honest. I respect the game choice a lot from Paradox. If people want to troop management, go to Hoi. You know what? Them having less... A big reason why I actually latched on this game and found it interesting was that the warfare was less involved. So... You, I might not be, like, creating content for this game or even playing this game this much if this was not the case. And to be fair, like, the Victoria 3 content creation space seems a little vacuous. Like, there's... Or vacuous isn't the right word. Um, it seems like a bit of a vacuum. So I think I just got lucky that there weren't a lot of people making content consistently. Yeah, we're gonna get in here and we're gonna get the enforcement. And Austria's gonna try and land us, maybe? I don't think that works. Like... Like, Big 2 is literally just get the capitalists, uh, then win the economy, and there's no real engagement with the economy. Yeah, but, like, it might be a better simulation. I, the, I think the game's a better simulation the less you actually have control over. And so, but yeah, I understand what you're saying. Economy terrible in Vic 2, it just collapses all the time for no reason. Well, this no one never collapses, so it seems like a little bit of an adjustment. <laughs> Apple's just described economy's IRL. Well, like, Vic 2 has a limited supply of money, which creates a very strange thing that's not, like, in any way a good simulation, right? I mean, I don't play, 
Vic too, but I don't really know. But that's my understanding of the thing. Maybe we want some more of this action. Let's do that. Still have a pretty fat queue to get through, but a lot of it is also naval bases too, so. The Iron Mine should be pretty nice. When Vic 2 first came out, the world economy would collapse in the first decade and nations would just rebel uprising sins. Bro, that sounds pretty base, to be honest. Because needs were just screwed, pop needs. The new 4X game from Paradox is called Millennia. Thank you, that is it. I wanted to say Humankind, but that was not their game. Thank you so much. You don't mean Vic 2 is easy? Most Paradox games are... Most Paradox games are easy? Don't you mean art? Vic 2 is auto win. You just get the catalyst and then play the game. they play the game for you. No, you move around the troops. See, this is the real problem, is uh, if you if you make the troops detached, you, like, can't make the buildings detached. Like, if you remove the player agency in terms of what they're constructing, what is the player supposed to be doing all this time? You know, I guess you choose your laws and stuff, but... Uh, you know, for a newer player, especially, I feel like when newer players play the game, they don't actually feel like they're affecting things in a way that feels, like, uh, direct, and you actually need quite a bit of hours of Victoria 3 to develop this feeling of agency. Um, there are no crashes, only desync when one guy. Hmm. Usually we restart, though, if we desync, I think. I've said for a long time, uh, my Vic 3 content, that the lack of war is kind of a good thing. Or the lack of deeper warfare mechanic, because there's definitely war. But yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. Like, focus on economy is good. I agree. I think that the system should be focused on the politics and the economy and, uh, like, the culture. And, like, I think there should be another co entire cultural system over this. But I've discussed this a lot. We... No, we can't do that. Wait, why can we even try and pass it, man? Because I don't see a political movement. What the f... Is this a bug? They're not demarginalized. They're about to be, though. Yeah, baby. That uptick is probably when we finished the, the tech that we just did. Which was very much the point. And once they get demarginalized, they'll actually be pretty big. Once we finish labor movement. Once they get demarginalized, they should be pretty big. Big nice, that is. Alright, what's our infamy? 2.6. Yikes. It's a little cringe. Yeah, play. I don't think that Tark meant, like... I think he meant lack of war in terms of what you're paying attention to in terms of the systems. Not, like, that war doesn't exist. That you decide where you're gonna fight, and then you just let it, let it go. I mean, we're fighting. Well, I was gonna zoom in on the front, but I can't do that now. Tragic, the agrarian party will suffer. All right, I think we'll be able to peace out here. No, just kidding. Austria-Hungary hates it. I guess we'll have to pull in force. <clears throat> this area has the most boring wars. Mm. It's a weird thing to say about war. But sure. If you're talking about it like in a historical sense. to the front. I guess we will not be able to decay infamy. Big sad. Or actually, I think we can not start... Can we reduce... 
I think they made a change, so you can declare a war if your subject is having a revolution play that is currently launched. Bro, what the hell? God damn it. Uh, it's so annoying this is still in here. I would have thought that they fixed it. So right now... We can't enforce because we need to enforce on Austria-Hungary. Austria-Hungary is not going to leave the war voluntarily. So we're either stuck in a forever war or we just have to give up, like, the bag. We have to try and land Austria-Hungary. I don't think that works. I don't think we can land in the 70s stack. Fuck, man. Okay, we can reload or we can keep playing from here, but the Tripoli war is bricked. I'm kind of inclined to just keep playing and just take the take the L, but... So the problem is, is that uh, when you sway, uh, you cannot enforce on minus 100% when the war goal that is the sway uh, changes the ownership of this guy to Tripolitania. So Tripolitania, when it changes the subject to he becomes the subject of Austria-Hungary, now we have to enforce on the overlord in order to make the war pop off. So I suppose we could also just wait and see what happens, but... Reformer leader gives you an Ackman chance, 5% from Pedro. Oh, interesting. Imagine having to micro every unit of a colonial empire war. Yeah. So. Also, Hoey uh, has good unit management, uh, but it sucks economically and politically. Uh, yeah, you mean more design philosophy? Yeah, that's what I figured you meant. Uh. In terms of having less direct control thing, I think sometimes sometimes I feel like Democracy 4, but a map game would be interesting. Yeah, that's kind of like one of the things I think about too sometimes. I guess I didn't think of it in terms of it's like Democracy 4, but like that you are affecting the underlying conditions in a particular way and you can kind of decide how that goes. Isn't there, is there one more? I think those are the three. Wow, we were actively, oh, uh, we, we were not actively researching that again. Continue? Okay. Continue seems to be the general trend. We will just have sunk kind of, like, however much infamy for whatever reason, but, uh, I'm sure that, oh, they don't even accept white peace. Jesus. Alright, fair enough. That's cool. <sighs> Obnoxious, but cool, I guess. Yep. We're st currently only stronger than... Yeah. Mm. Will it tell us which 10 are stronger than us, or...? No, just 10. Alright, fair enough. South Africa. Crap. What do I crap? Alright. I wonder if they can get enforced below... 308. I mean, they're not going to try and land us. Oh, they are trying to land us. Good luck, buddy. You have no navy, so... Going to organize a multiplayer game soon. Any idea of rules to establish first? I mean, my kind of... The type of rule sets I like are, like, the no rules types of rule sets, and a lot of people don't like those rule sets. So I feel like... Maybe I'm not the one to ask, uh, but uh, the like one house rule that we have, I guess a new one is you cannot, you cannot change the PMs, you cannot reset the PMs in other countries. Is maybe a good rule. That seems like a reasonable one. Seems like a rule that makes sense to me. I will right, we'll transfer the Mosquito Kingdom. That'll be nice because it'll give us native interest in the region. So. Seems like a reasonable rule to me. Gonna organize a multiplayer. Oh, okay. It's so obnoxious because we were literally trying to protect her at them, so then they sway protect her and off her. Yeah. Not to say that they should rip off doctrines from Poly 4, but I mean, this area is certainly room to complexify war in this area. I mean, that doctrines is a nice one because it's not 
uh, stuff that increases the complexity of warfare without increasing the micromanagement i'm fine with and so having a more nuanced like this where you're setting up the war ahead of time you know with like this we're like mm, we're like deciding our composition and like what tactics they'll use and this type of stuff i'm pretty fine with this you know But just not increasing the micromanagement, I think, is kind of the preferable way to handle. What are we having a shortage of? Transportation here, in particular? Mm. Alright, I guess we'll turn off the transport here on that, specifically. I guess we'll turn it off here on that, specifically. And then we're not running a shortage. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. Blue, yellow, pink. Give me some of those. Where did we put the lid? Terrible. Oh, there it is. Apologies. I mean, we could try and land Austria. We would just never... We would never get to their capital. We would... The, the, the crazy thing is we have to get to their capital to enforce that. Like, bro. For real. For real, for real. Because trench warfare was powerful and planes weren't powerful yet, most of the warfare was very slow and would not work in the Holy Four Sons. Yeah. This works well because it's a midpoint between EU4's large singular armies and Holy Four's front lines. Yeah, that makes sense. The. Yeah, I mean, fundamentally, like, the machine gun changed a whole lot, right? So. Uh, I mean, the machine gun is what, like, makes trench warfare work, because one person can cover, like, with a machine gun can cover an enormous level, amount of area. The shift to trench warfare wasn't because, uh, it was meta, it was because the new artillery, uh, they rolled out, forced them to dig in. It was because of artillery, more so than machine guns. Interesting. That's a thing now, that's what I mean. Or... Trenches were in response, uh, not an in intention. No one was like, yeah, we have trenches, we can win now. Yeah. I mean, I know initially they tried to fight the war with, like, conventional warfare. Like, cavalry and stuff. Our GDP is coming up at a decent clip. Um, I wish our population was coming up a bit more. Man, it would be so nice if we just had a health institution, you know? Would be a lot better. We get the loud noise, the spooky noise. Long may it spooky. You like that the new military stuff is uh, kind of tied to the economic system with uh, just having to make sure your army has more guns, morphine, cannons, and bullets. Yeah, I'm so excited for the the plan of the run for. Hmm, I think it's when we hover over the navy, maybe. Um, I'm super excited for the military-industrial complex run that we're gonna do. I think that's gonna be super interesting, where we're trying to maximize GDP as Great Shing by leaning into the modifiers that reduce uh, military goods costs. Looks like we're no longer above 90, so we'll just pump this up and we'll add a bunch of construction. And by bunch, I mean a little bit. Okay. I guess we'll add one here. Something like that. I don't know. The more they intertwine systems together to make uh, the, the complexity, uh, to make complexity, the better. As long as the it's complexity that introduces uh, like more choices. Complexity that doesn't increase choices like just makes the game more tedious. But yeah. I, I, I think I'm fairly certain that's what you meant. I wish Tark made more Victoria 3 uh, videos in his life instead of him enjoying his life. Yeah, what are you doing watching the stream? Go make videos. The patch just dropped. Terrible. We need we need a speed run yesterday. He's actually working on a video right now. He's working on the getting journalists to dox his uh, location speed run. 
Uh, I'd like a more direct effect, like for example you can only conscript as many and many as you can provide supply for would be a neat change, that way if you wanted to conscript a bunch, Ching, you would need guns. I mean it kind of works like that, especially with the conscripts going up slow, but yeah. When you add someone and never shows their name properly, good. Always at people with disrespect in your heart. I mean, we could just throw one in and see if we can just randomly land the 70 stack. I think it's just, uh, I think it's unalive aside all. Can't say that word on YouTube. Which is pretty asinine, but. Hey, actually, they will get enforced eventually. <sighs> Alright. I guess we'll just wait. We've waited long enough, anyway. It might not even be correct to wait. Like, in the time we're waiting, we might have decayed more infamy than we would have... Uh, that would have cost us in triple Atania, but this is out of... Uh, this is a moral principle here now. Uh, also, these guys are actually in this HQ. I forget that this is a split HQ. So, like, if we look at the HQs, it's Italy and... Um, we zoom out, Italy and Balkans, and so we actually should be able to land Italy, so this will maybe make them move force quickly, so we'll land Venetia with our landing squad. Landing party. Landing party gets it done. Girls get it done. Alright, let's go, baby. Uh, whoa, whoa. We're no longer in the interface for that. Alright. Sure, why not? You got us. How does uh, one use YouTube chat? I only use Twitch chat. True. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to either of those questions, to be fair. What's a good ratio for the armies now? 1-1.01, one, 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 something like that? No, you need to have at least half your army. At least exactly half the infantry. I think it's you... I think it's you just want infantry and cannons. Uh, so, I... I have to see how the underlying borrowing mechanic does, because this does inform stuff, because depending on what troops you can borrow, if you can borrow troops that are just defending uh, or not, this changes things, but I think what you might want to do is you want to, you might want to have two armies on each front, one army be a relatively small all infantry army, and this is army with all the guys set to defense, and then except this is not the way you want it to look. And then one army that is exactly half line infantry and half artillery. And then I think you want half infantry, half lancers on whatever squad you're using for landing for majority of the game. And then they start really falling off, but then you're starting to approach tanks maybe. And so this is, uh, yeah. Pointless complexity just bogs things down. Yeah. Because sometimes there are systems that are just really complicated, but they don't actually introduce a gameplay thing. It's just you figuring out what the correct thing is, but it's definitely the correct thing, and there's no stylistic choice in it. Um, and in which case, like, the the systems... And, and it changes, like, from time to time, and so, like, just extra clicking that, like, has a root decision that's, like, not actually a decision is, like, not useful. I just noticed that YouTube chat becomes way worse for some reason. At Dark, it's because he came in, basically. The truth hurts. Bro, the game is so hard now. Is it though? Is it? What do you mean? I mean, it's hard if you start as a country, like, that has absolutely nothing, I guess. Kalei is done giving- he's given up asking me to do Turtle Island video. Alright, that's Tark's responsibility. Kalei asked Tark- Tark's doing the Turtle Island now. He's been conscripted. This is called offloading responsibility. We do demarginalize the trade unions. Hiya. Can we make a legitimate government with them? We can make a legitimate government with them. Holy shit. Thank god. Give us our health insurance. Oh, that's gonna minus nine them? Holy. Mm. That might be a, bit, a bridge too far. That might be a bridge too far. Ugh. In which case we might want to go universal if we're going to minus five ohm. Yeah, universal will also help to bring up the trade unions. Alright, we're going to try and do that. God, it's only got five percent. This is the worst. We're just going to suffer more. God, this has been such a suffering run. Okay. So we can invite 
these some guys maybe. The problem is, is they always just like. Oh, we can invite this Democrat, right? No, this guy's already a Democrat. No, no, no. The Democrats won't help. Fuck. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. Yeah. These guys won't help us to pass universal suffrage. We're just trying to pass universal or universal suffrage uh, so that we can get the clout of these guys high enough to maybe try and pass something that the industrialists approve of less. But man, the industrialist negative approval is so bad right now. One day we'll enforce on these idiots. One day. Yeah. One of your chatters privately requested that Mr. Uh, Gaming to do to get on Twitch because he hates YouTube chat. Get on it, pal. <laughs> Should we make this an exchange? You'll do a Turtle Island run and then I'll, I'll do one stream, <laughs> stream on Twitch. I mean, I streamed on Twitch a couple times. Not, uh, I streamed poker on Twitch. A little bit. You agree with that viewer? Mm. Gotta go, says so Stupid Apples, but thanks for the stream. Uh, happy to have you here, thanks for joining. Looking forward to the next update when you get home in 14, in 12 days time. Oof, that's so long. I gotta do a Turtle Iron Run? Uh, damn, guess I gotta, yep, facts. Turtle Island speed run. Turtle and Island both as fast as you can. Respectfully, Generalist would have a third of his viewers on Twitch. Uh, yeah, I, this is why I'm on YouTube, on top of the VOD, uh, after the fact, uh, being better, and revenue sharing on YouTube's also better. I think that unless you were already really big, uh, when Twitch started axing a lot of the revenue sharing, this is my impression, uh, it's better, like, if you're just starting out, it's better to do it on YouTube, unless you're already. But he must, he must listen to my chatters, Madge, yeah, double stream, I wish I could double stream, I don't think that's how that works. I could if I wouldn't, I'd just interact with one chat at a time. Actually, that'd be chaotic as fuck. That'd probably be stressful as hell. We finally enforce on them. Now we can't reduce their autonomy. Chile, I think, was the first we reduced autonomy on, and now we can reduce again. So, I guess we have to take a look through all these guys, reduce autonomy. I mean, now we have a big enough army. We're gonna save. Approve Bolivia's the most essential one. Actually, no, but Russia joins. Fuck, dude. So obnoxious. Russia is just gonna join every single time, right? So, like... I don't even know what to do here. It's just, like, everything's bad and everything's sad and I'm mad. But, like, there's no way to... There's no way around this, huh? Although, then we can try and improve relations as much as we can, and, like, these guys are rebellious, though. I mean, we could just do the, the hope and pray, the push and pray method, where you try and push past all the important stuff, and blow your load directly into the country's heart. I mean, I guess we could do that. We took a little save. I mean, it's psychotic that Russia... Whatever. If Russia's gonna be psychotic, then we'll just reload. But, like... Now we have a much bigger army. Yeah, streaming in both is, uh, I mean, who else would do that? Yeah, basically. I mean, is there a way to have, send OBS out to both? It's a little cringe, is that what you mean to say, Tarkus? <laughs> Yo, they made Pedro way more stylish. Here, let's take a look at his styling styles. I mean, if no one joins against us, this will be nice. Oh, that beard, though. Alright, getting ready to see Russia join against us. It's gonna be Big Sag. They're offering an exchange for what? The war goal of return Jujui? I don't think so, because we've already paid the infamy to reduce the infamy of the stuff on Jujui, so now we actually care. Your opinion on troop changes? They kind of feel like uh, level 600 GAT in Ohio, especially in Rizonomics, Big Chunga's department, but also kind of L Riz uh, Penam tax. Yeah, basically. Dormammu's come to bargain. We Fuck, dude, this is so asinine. 
What sucks is they have an interest in every single area we have a subject because that puts their subject... They, they, we can't escape their interest. They are inevitable. Because uh, every single area where we have a subject, we have an interest. And because we're a subject of Russia, they have an interest wherever we have an interest. And so uh, they are... Yeah, mm, the truth hurts. All right, we're going to improve... Yeah. So they have to just full-on just, like, back down in response to us or be unrecognized. I think if they're unrecognized, we can maybe do it, but... Mm, just sucks to suck, I guess. I don't know. Have we tried just being better at the game? Maybe we should try that. Like, I mean, maybe they let us get through on Siam, particularly because uh, they're unrecognized. I don't like that, but I don't know. Fan play, I literally thought it's exactly. Don't worry, Twitch gives 55% revenue from ads as long as you play three minutes of ads per hour. Oh, okay. If you want advice on streaming on both, let me know. I've been doing it for a long time and you get used to having both chats. Do you. Wait, you could actually stream on both simultaneously? This is maybe something I'm interested in. But I don't know. Where's the. Is the best way to contact you Discord? Actually, you hate YouTube chat, right? Can you please explain to me in YouTube chat? That'd be great, thank you. Uh, just ask Tarkus how to set it up. He has chats on both on one screen. How do you do it, though? There are ways to combine both chats and know which message comes from which chat. Joke is chat. That, I... Mm. I guess I would have to watch one of your streams and see exactly how chaotic it is. Well, it looks like them being unrecognized is maybe the, the ticket. Here. Damn, this Targus guy makes cool videos. Did anyone know he did? Just heard about him now. Yeah, basically. If you guys want to check out Targ, feel free to do so. Or I encourage you to do so. I personally don't watch an enormous amount of Victoria 3 videos, so, like, the... I can't necessarily... I did, like, the, the one where you got the... Uh, the achievement... The California... The achievement is California. I did watch that. Slobs are such a cursed acronym. Gross. Were, was I ever, ever a Call of Duty fan? I mean, I liked zombies, but that was just playing with my friends, and, like, that was just, like, that was probably under 50 to 100 hours, like, so calling me, I think it would be inappropriate to call me, like, anything, like, a, a, like a fan. I was never super big into COD. I always sucked at first-person shooters, I was never very good, and I basically only played them with my friends at, like, LAN parties, and this was kind of the extent of, uh, the thing. Psychotic Russia is really something, yeah, I... And they don't, they don't do it here. It's because they're unrecognized, I guess. But, uh, yeah. YouTube chat is horrible. Yeah. You can send some screenshots if you want to get an idea of what it looks like. You're one monitor, Andy, so my... Oh, Jesus, you're doing that with one monitor? Holy shit. Is there a reason for only having one monitor? Like, other than cost? I guess the performance is affected a little bit, but... You kind of like the weird emotes better on <laughs> YouTube, but Twitch is better. Yeah, I know. You definitely drop a lot of those emotes. The disapproving, like, octopus or whatever. But you might be, be even better off with two monitors. Start a GoFundMe for the second monitor. We'll donate one Prime sub. This guy just talks about 50% revenue sharing and then offers to dono a Prime sub in order to pay for a monitor. Not like this. Dual streaming is meta according to other creators I watch, but I'd be wary of Twitch stuff because they've been weird with contact, uh, contracts lately. Interesting. Twitch is kind of a sinking ship. This was also my evaluation, which is kind of why like I didn't want to touch it. Like The, the super big companies eventually are just going to ask them because they have economies of scale and scope. Uh, but you might want to cash in while they're trying to stay afloat fair. I like having one monitor though. <laughs> Copium. <laughs> <sighs> Bro, come on. Can we get a break on one of these 5% passes one time, please? We already called in our one time. We're not calling it in for this. So 
So you, when you play a game, you never miss because your chat box is literally your face. You never miss such a thing, so you respond in half a second. Bro, sometimes you just want to let them mull them chat, though. I don't have it in me, but, like, the... I think the correct thing just to do after this is just to play the game, like, kind of silently for, like, 20 minutes. After talking about letting the chat mull them chat. <laughs> just leave them on their own for forever after reading your comments and saying, just leave them on their own, though. <laughs> You can still do that with two monitors. It, it would be easier if the monitor was one above the other, but I do turn my head. You can totally tell that I'm, like, looking with different, yeah. Girl's been playing for nine hours. Yep, 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 yep. This is true. I said I was going to go ten hours or uh, until we dip under 100 subs, which we're at 133 right now, so we might be on our way. Um, but then once we get, uh, if we stayed above 200 subs, I was just going to keep going until forever, but, yep. Yeah. Check for the Democrat Industrialist. Oh, that's a good shot. Yep, good shout. Not used to this new thing where we get Democrats. The leader of the Democrat party. Yeah, okay. I low-key hate it when conservatives refer to the Demo- like, refers to it as the Democrat party. But it, I also don't think it's like necessarily incorrect. It's just like, it just sounds obnoxious. Because they always, they always call themselves, they conjugated to make it the Democratic Public Party. Or the, sorry, the Democratic pro uh, Party, and then the Republicans call it the Democrat Party. I don't think it's grammatically incorrect, though. Can't offer support, Sag. Only 20 million GDP skill issue, Jesus Christ. Someone comes into chat just to berate me. The truth hurts. It is a skill issue. I concede everything. If only I were better. <laughs> the skillest of issues, to be honest. Oh god, we have no labor here. Why are we building the freaking thing here? We shouldn't be. We should be building it here. We're getting to 200 construction. We'll get there eventually. Ooh, we can slot in our new company here. So let's disband this one and meow. Do this one. Maybe you want to pull back some of the auto expands on the logging camps. Uh, logging is just so good. We'll just keep them in, but definitely want to expand. Oh my god, no way. Come on, dude. You have you said you had so much labor here. What's going on? We just employed it all? Serious? What's this about? Job seekers, 250k. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I mean, we thought that there wasn't going to be any employment, and then we saw the, the tooltip, and then the tooltip was clearly lying to us. This tooltip. <sighs> That's obnoxious. Okay, I guess we have to look by hand now? God damn it, dude. So let's look at Bahia. We don't have... Okay. Wow, I actually would really like to know where we have a bunch of peasants or something like this. Or are they job seekers because they don't like their jobs? Bro, I don't like that. I don't like that change, if that's what it is. I do not like that at all. Yeah, we just yeah we just don't have, like, labor. Alright, I guess it's time to start turning on some of the, the labor-saving pins. On oh, God. When they mold in chat, you just read the molding and uh, don't say anything? Yeah. Under 100 subs. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. Under 100 viewers. Dude, my brain. I've been streaming for seven hours. And, like, nearly talking the entire time. The amount of oxygen that's been reaching my brain has been, like, substandard levels. Because if you're talking, like, you know how sometimes you get, like... 
a little bit less oxygen to the brain. It's like that. You thought that they called it the Demon Cramp Party these days? The truth hurts. I thought you were gonna say the Democrat Party. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's like technically wrong. It's just like annoying a little bit. I also don't identify as a Democrat, so it's really not that big a problem, but like. <laughs> Yeah. I think their uh, their pops can migrate uh, if EIC exists because they're national supremacy, right? EIC has migration controls and then they d discriminate against the Indian pops. So uh, if we were in the UK market, which we are no longer in the UK market, and uh, we could siphon off English pops uh, from them, but not uh, not the other type. All right, we, it's time for us to upgrade. I wish there was an upgrade all button, but I mean, this isn't terrible. Or upgrade all these guys to skirmish. Inefficient agriculture, you're telling me. We should follow their advice. Editor appeared, Joe Biden. Mm. I feel like agitator implies a level of energy that's a little bit inconsistent with Joe Biden, to be honest. Not that I'm, like, necessarily a fan of dragging Joe Biden all the time, but, like, I'm just saying. Target dealing my joke at his uh, user usual. The Democrat one? Steam died. Stream died for a second? Ugh. No job seekers? Mod check? It's back now. No labor? Mod check? Wait, you're saying I'm missing something? Bro, there's no one here to work. 202 unemployed, 14 peasants. I mean, maybe we need to start reducing taxes, actually, instead of adding construction. That's probably it. Fuck. I hate this. I hate this inflection point in the game. I, it's wild that we are reaching it this early, but yeah, we're just, like, out of labor literally everywhere. And it just tells us we have labor, which is completely obnoxious, but... I mean, there's 50,000 pe There's peasants here? Alright, well, I guess... Oh, no, wait, this is Zululand. Well, I mean, I guess if the shoe fits, we'll build... Yeah, okay, we'll build some stuff here, I guess. Wild. And we were just trying to build some coffee plants, man. That's why you don't speak, you're simply hyper-oxygenating the game? Yeah, one shed. This is how I should stream one day, just dead silent and just trying to like micro my like brains out like I'm playing a game that's like actually like micro-intensive, not Victoria's Dream. Oh my god, speaking of, we actually need to navally land this guy. <laughs> oh, we already had it? Perfect. They're just not fully mobilized? Great. We are- we are landing. Okay. We're fucking failing though. Jesus, really? Why is the- man, it's so much harder to land these boys. I guess we should have checked to see how much military they had before we started the war. Wow. It's almost like we've been in this position before. Wow. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we're gonna move some troops out. Oh, and we also started, well, we started switching the skirmish, but I don't think we have a... Yeah. Oh, I can't do this while they're landing, I'm guessing. God, that sucks. Uh, they probably have... Oh no, they have independence. So they can't have totally enforce on us. Dude, this sucks. We're probably gonna give them independence here. Yeah. Mod check is a Twitch emote. Oh, gotcha. You're good, you're not missing anything. No, I'm making the streamer second guess himself. Not like this. Not like this. You say not like this, like this wasn't exactly what you're trying to do. The truth hurts. Alright, can we maybe get this landing in? Bro, how much- how do they have so much defense? I don't even- Oh, why do we have- Okay, we have different- I just thought we could un land the unrecognized country with 30 freaking- units. I thought we could just land them with a 30 stack, my bad. This is completely- uh, people just build way more military now, it seems. Targus is using Twitch emotes on the YouTube chat again. Disgusting. I don't know what other emotes to use. <laughs> Targus in chat. Targus been in chat a while. 
<laughs> it's me, Tokus, basically. Or apologies, I'm probably mispronouncing it. Uh, bruh. Oh, they're all upgraded to Skirmish now, so maybe we can push in now. Skirmish is a bit better. I think they have five more offense. I mean, they're trying the naval land. God, this naval landing's also taking forever. I mean, we're on speed three because we've been half eating pizza this entire time, but like. Tell you play 53, total silence, 100% concentrated, always pause, sweat pouring down my face, never talking. Yeah. Sounds like a vibe, to be honest. How do you have so much defense? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why do they have skirmish infantry? We're screenshotting this with the date in here and everything. Well, I mean, if they're gonna have... I'm sorry I didn't realize they were gonna have skirmish infantry. My bad. Jesus Christ. Why does Siam have skirmish infantry? In 68. Is there a way to win this? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think if there's a way we can win this. I think we gotta do some multi-landing and bring just more forces to bear, but I don't think this works. Oh, they can't because they're using... Oh, they're doing a naval landing, so... My bad for not checking they didn't have skirmish in the tree. Terrible. I apologize. The way you play Victoria 3 is by opening and closing CK3 and then just building the econ icon and putting your castles in there. Wow, the truth hurts. Victoria 3. I dragged idle games earlier and said Victoria 3 was full of choices. You hit me with that. Pain. You're entertained so you stay. How are you paying people? I don't know. You want a pizza? We don't have pizza, we have Brazilian. But you haven't been in chat this entire time. Okay. We can get the coffee plantation throughput. I think we just go for the, the wood, but... God, I fucking... I don't think I've ever seen Skirmish anywhere near this early on them. God, this isn't even very good for us right now because we don't have all the construction sectors built out anyways. I mean, I guess. Bro. Big three, <laughs> Big three Sam taking notes from EU4 Sam, basically. I'm to 25, so I guess we'll go... Mm hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I see you.
All right, so we're gonna suffer penalties, but we're gonna try and multi land here. I don't know, this is the only way I can think of, like, maybe trying to make it work. Oh, uh, man, the army was already partially way back. This is gonna be a little bit late. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Maybe this works? Other than this, it's probably just getting humiliated by Siam. Do the classic victorious restrat of sending 10 naval invasions all with one unit, see if one of them breaks through. On EU4? <laughs> all you need is five boats in a dream. Yeah, the, the strategy no longer works. You formed the hardest nation in the world, Victoria 3, 1.5 patch, first in the world. Is that the Turtle Islands? No more five boats, Strat, Tark. It doesn't work anymore. The truth does hurt. Yeah. You say the, the phrase, the truth hurts, is now stuck in your head after the stream? Well, I have, you know, one thing to say about that, which is that the truth, of course, does hurt. <laughs> What's the blue line sailing over the map? That is the local movement of, uh, you know, our little squad landing here. I wish we could delay this one landing, but uh, it's kind of grim. I mean, I don't think this works either way, but... Baro. Yeah, these guys are going to get started landing here, but... I mean, maybe it works, but... We certainly bring a lot more troops to bear. 52 stacks into, instead. Which is similar to, like, their numbers a little bit more. Unless they've mobilized. Conscripts. God, so stupid they're on skirmish infantry. Unreal. Well, I mean, it's just really un unexpected more than anything else. I actually like that the AI is actually trying to build up more and stuff. God, I hate this though. Job seekers freaking lie to us. Or now, yeah, I, I just. Working adults looking for a new job. And then. It tells us. Well, it tells us the amount that are unemployed. I really just want to know the amount of people who are unemployed and slash peasants. That's actually what I want to know. This is the piece of information I want. They have a 52 stack. Wait, is Simon... Who are we all at war with? Is it... Yeah, unfortunately. If we were at war with Cambodia as well, we could land them instead. And we have this just mocking us. Brazilian naval power? What naval power? God. Terrible. So, now we're in on this huge stack. 30... God. This is just a meat grinder. Are we at zero infamy? We might just capitulate if we aren't. Fuck, dude. I think we just capitulate here. All your speedrun strats are killed. No, yet. Yep, yep. The truth hurts. Life is ruined. Yep, and you already agreed to Ford Turtle Island. You didn't know that you couldn't do it without one, five boats and a badge. I mean, five boats and a dream. Yeah, it lists all the people who hate their job as job seekers. That's an awful change. I mean, there might be a point in time in which you want that information, but what you really want is peasants and unemployed. Like, I want to know exactly where all my peasants are, man.
Yeah, I think we just capitulate, bro. That sucks. I don't think we're getting in on this. They also just have, like, mono infantry. Cambodia probably has squad infantry by now. Yeah. I mean, this is a... I guess this is a little bit of a learning experience. It does suck. I mean, in theory, we can reload, but I'm... Yeah, we'll just continue on. Let's actually try and get a little bit deeper. It's not, like, a spectacularly bad one. We really want to reduce aut autonomy on them, but we can't. Because Papa Russia won't let us. They just accept, so we'll do that for them. We could definitely win, but then we would get cut kicked out of Russia's customs union if we reduce on those other guys, so... Daddy Auto will let you have the Panama Canal now. Yeah, let's save and check that one out. Releasing Siam's not the end of the world. Kind of don't want to have to... Maybe Daddy Auto... No, 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 but this one made sense. They have a defensive pack. Oh, no, wait, they don't have a defensive pack. They have a defensive pack... Uh... That's right, they have a defensive pack with El Salvador. Not scared of that. We'll offer them custodianship of a new draft. Hell yeah, brother. Magwash has two thirds? It does. You know what really hurts? I think deleting. Actually, what hurts is not knowing exactly where my fucking peasants are. Where are these guys? Here, I guess? That also hurts, because I'm pretty sure this has a 30% construction ballast. <sighs> Bro. This is so stupid. Why on earth would they fucking side against us? It makes it no sense. They're not even in the customs union. Oh, wait, they abandoned them. Got it. Cool. Are we still in the customs union? Yeah, we are. Insane, dude. Hey, General, enjoying the new update? Yeah, except for the AI. Well, the AI is hyper-aggressive now. Uh, it is a lot better at building military and upgrading PMs. We've actually struggled a little bit on the military. They're offering to sway on our side in exchange for transferring trans well, No thanks, dude. Yeah, hyper-aggressive AR. We're gonna go about another three. What the fuck, man? Well, what is it? What are you gonna do, man? Is that nuking our relations each time? Bro, I think that's killing our relations each time. That's so stupid. Or they're becoming cautious? I don't know. It's not nuking relations, but it, it's like... in this anyways, but... Would you ever consider doing a Portugal run? I actually practiced a Portugal run so much, uh, like, between patch 1.1 and 1.2, I think, and then the strategy I pra practiced no longer worked. <laughs> Yeah, we've been going close to 10 hours now. <laughs> the 
than true threats. Russia's lying. We're defending our friends in New Granada from the Brazilian aggression. Actually, just kidding. Actually, help. Actually, not. Nah, double JK. We're staying out of this. Maybe we'll help a little bit. If they sway last second, I'm going to tear my hair out. So the five boat strat is dead. How do I even play the game then? I know of no other strategy. Basically, you actually have to build the boats. This is the worst timeline. Oh no, they already gave away the bag. Unfortunate. Wow, I guess we've just played 33 years, huh? This is what playing for 10 hours straight feels like. I feel like since it's the first session, I'm supposed to only be 5 to 10 years into the game, but we're really just 30 years into the game, so... God, this actually feels kind of weak for 30 years, to be honest, but, like, every 1.5 run feels really weak for 30 years into the game. I'm gonna keep trying to reduce taxes rather than increase construction, because, I mean, well... We have peasants somewhere. I, we, I guess we have a good amount here. Let's try this. And we have a pretty good amount here. Except they don't have the quals, huh? Okay. You got me. No qualifications. We are trying to pass the law currently. Universal suffrage it is going decently. Yeah, we really need to... Mm, God, this is looking... <sighs> Bro, we just haven't gotten that much money. It, things would be so much better if we actually got healthcare, like, way earlier. It's pretty painful, to be honest. Wait, why is this so bad for us? Oh, they just got pulled off the front? I don't know why. Okay, whatever. Let's do that, I guess. Brazil's better than Portugal. We can do the Brazil conquer Portugal thing. The rare general moniker. You are neither generalist nor Mr. Gaming, but instead just general. It do be happening sometime. Bro's gonna rip his beard out, basically. One of the building outliner mods shows peasants per state. Depends on how you feel about that. Well, I mean, this is a horrible change. I mean, I, specific I specifically came in here and I was like, okay, where do we have the most job? Then we built up a ton of minis, um, jebus, or however it's pronounced. All the Brazilians are asleep now. And... You know, we built up a ton of stuff where, like, hey, this will be really profitable and nice and stuff, and then, bam. <laughs> and, I mean, to be fair, we're getting a little bit of migration, but it's really not a lot. And we can't lean on the intelligentsia, because they got nerfed. Like, this entire thing would also be way nicer if we had 50%, like, uh, migration attraction this entire time, which we would have had if it was an old intelligentsia. But it's not. It's new intelligence, yeah. Welcome to the nightmare. We woke up and then the nightmare began. Yeah, we would have had more migrants if we only had healthcare earlier. Yeah. Open the construction menu there, you can see where you have peasants. Are you talking about this? Because this no longer shows you peasants. This is showing you job seekers. If we hover over, we will see that 30 of these are unemployed. And 247k are working adults looking for a new job. Of these working adults looking for a new job, uh, I am assuming this will include peasants. So now we have this system that is going to require us to hover over every tooltip in order to see which place specifically has a lot of peasants. You know, so yeah, so here, Mato Grasso, this is a perfect example. We had to hover over Mato Grasso to see that there's 9k peasants here. 
The other 42k are laborers. If this is what you're referring to. If you're referring to something else, though. And we don't really want to build in Monte Grasso because of uh, that. New Granada surely does not have skirmish infantry. You want to bet? Oh, they don't. God. Everyone remembers when New Granada was slower to implement military technology than Siam. I mean, I don't necessarily hate it. It's just like, it's gonna take some adjustment. I'm certainly not used to it. You should not be in that HQ. You should be on the front, my guy. It's just gonna take getting used to. With the DLC, do you recommend Brazil or Bolivia start or something else uh, for a new player? I mean, for a new player? Entirely new? I would probably recommend... I assume you mean starting in South America. I might actually recommend Argentina. Uh, Brazil is probably okay, too. We're just suffering a little bit, like, from... We're suffering from things that actually are probably just not really too big a deal to a new player. We're just, like, at 21 million, and we're starting to feel self-conscious about it. It's kind of what's going on. We're just feeling bad. Because the game's not... <laughs> we have several under... Yeah. <laughs> The game's not operating exactly how we want, how we're expecting, not necessarily how we want, so it's making me feel dumb. <laughs> Excuse me, that's Mr. Gaming to you. Uh. Alright, so it looks like we full occupy, so that should be pretty easy. Doesn't rural folk have migration attraction? In total, the rural folk have 15% uh, instead of 25%, the landowners have 10%. Uh, so in total you can get this plus 50%, but you're getting it on, like, worst IGs that are harder to keep happy, so, like, it really is actually just, like, a kneecapping of your ability to just, to do stuff, and so it does mean we'll want to have a super powerful agrarian party, but then it's, it's still, like, worse than the intelligentsia. Also, we're not even getting the tech bonus from here, we're not getting the tech bonus here, we're not getting the tech bonus here. Uh, we're not getting the tech bonus here. No wonder we feel behind in tech with, like, Siam using skirmish infantry and getting skirmish infantry before us, because we actually got skirmish infantry mid-war from our spread. Siam got skirmish infantry before us, so... I know. Belgium seems super strong this patch. It was super strong, but you were annexed by France five times? Yeah, that's why I don't really recommend Belgium for newer players. Um, otherwise it would be perfect for newer players. Following the updates to the French AI, who now, when they get the, the, the journal entry, they just, like, super go for you, so. Plus 20% prestige is good for World Conquest. Is it, though? Is it? I mean, super late, I suppose it's better than the migration, but, like, I don't know. I, I feel like if you're doing a world conquest, you're not doing it as Brazil. You mean specifically as Brazil, you would rather have that than the migration? I don't know. We're going to save and see if we can reduce autonomy on them. God, Russia's leaning their side, man. Bro. We're not gonna swap over the PMs for using the triage because we're... Wait, were we actively researching triage? Holy shit, my brain is melting. Why would we actively research triage? This is what a 10 hour stream does to your brain. I would like to apologize to everyone in chat for the melting of my brain. 21 uh, million by 1870 feels very little, and that's a weak population graph. Yeah, it's hard to point to an exact spot where we went wrong, though. I mean, we've been inside markets to siphon off pops. I mean, I guess we should have passed healthcare. I don't know. Like, 
we have less uh, we we have a worse migration modifier as like a major power than a GP does. So like we're gonna pull off a siphon off less than them, but like even still, I don't know. It's just like I feel like this is not. I don't know. The can <laughs> the Brazilian cannon knows it's like pretty wells. They probably only did it because you're in the market. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, because we're in the market. That's why they're joining against us, but, like, it's still obnoxious as hell. Do those Russian war goals, thank God they weren't in the war. This is your brain on 10-hour stream, and then Brazil sizzling in a skillet. Yeah, basically. <sighs> Truth hurts. We can ban slavery, too, here. They're probably back down to this, but... We'll see how they want to handle it. We do want to annex them as quickly as possible. We really want to annex Peru and Bolivia, but we have to get them to like us enough to... Dude, I don't even know. I mean, maybe we have to leave the Russian market in order to full annex a lot of these guys? That kind of sucks. I mean, we've subjugated all of South America now, though. So that's something. Like, it's not like zero progress has been made, but also... I wonder how we do the Amazonia's exploitation thing. Do we... Let's actually try actively expanding the... Oh my god. Let's try act actively expanding it, he says, before he looks at how he doesn't have any fucking... Pops to build here. I was like, looking at it, and I was like, hey, we're making money now. We are not... What do you need? Transportation? God. At this point, I think we just put in one of these, no? They slightly labor save. Not very efficiently, though. We need a little bit more. I think this place is one of the few places with peasants, so we'll just add a couple levels here. If I recall correctly, yeah, we actually have peasants here. Peasant peasants. <laughs> Let's see. I guess we're gonna have our, or we're having ourselves a war. A little bit of a not a good choice. I guess they're probably on skirmish, huh? They are on skirmish. What a time to be alive, man. AI, I mean, I, I I don't hate the AI being way stronger militarily, it's just we're not used to it, so we're, like, being a little bit careless, I suppose. Like, we almost lost the peru Bolivia exchange. Nuclear exchange is also the craziest euphemism for, uh, like, <laughs> global extinction. Like, when two, that's, that's what they call it, like, when two... <laughs> Superpowers like nuke each other. They call it nuclear exchange. <laughs> like it's an exchange of goods and services <laughs> Like it is an apocalyptic. <laughs> it's like so wild that that's like the terminology We could build more coffee That can't deploy up We just really need more pops man Oh, it's just so miserable. We're like, it really does feel like we're getting, siphoning off almost nothing. Even with, like, 50, 52 is, like, a relatively big number, but it doesn't seem like we're getting a lot, and this is con significantly giving our ability to make progress. Come to Brazil. No voice? Wait, what? Oh, let's check the OBS. OBS says we have a voice. What's going on? Oh, did you just... You must... Yeah, you must be at the very start. And you're commenting, looking at the very beginning of the stream. We did have no voice at the beginning of the stream. That is correct. Although I don't know why I'm responding to you now, because... Oh my god, we just can't pass a law, dude. That law wasn't getting passed in, in either way. Jesus. I mean, we have a movement for en enacting restricted child labor, but this is, like, really not such a low priority for us. This 
such a low priority. I mean, I guess we try this, but minus nine is fairly likely to rev. Bro, maybe it's just worth it if they rev and we just finally get public health insurance. Yeah, it probably is. There's literally not an institution we want more, so like... Ugh. We're just trying to get lucky. We've not been doing too much of that. We're still idling with Q. Hmm. I think we're gonna put clothing down in the capital here. And a tooling workshop. Do them honorable. All right, boys, we got another fifteen minutes. Knees weak, arms are heavy. They saw me down the stream already, except not really. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. We're so close to actually having a positive on the Magnetism Monarch. I guess we have to try and get it above 50% and then... Oh, maybe that's what we get with her? I'm not sure exactly. What happens if you never drop below 100 watching? Well, I said I would go till... We drop below 100 or 10 hours, whichever happens last, and that if we stayed above 200, I just wouldn't stop. And what would happen then? I mean, uh, at 12 hours, the stream automatically ends, and so then I would start a new stream, and if within 15 minutes of that stream start, it didn't get back up to 200, I would quit it. Uh, but then, if I maintained 200 consecutive viewers, I would probably go for 24 hours before calling it. But that doesn't look like what it's going to be. We've slowly been dropping viewers. Nice to finally get a good tick. Public Health Insurance has some of the best ticks in the game, and we just never rolled a single one of them. But they have, like, really good one. But, uh... Sleep on stream with an air horn like that crazy Asian dude. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it for one night. This would not be a long-term solution, but... It's also, like, the, the dropping of 1.5, you know... We don't, we get one major patch, like, every, what is it, like, three or four months, and so I can afford to do this every once in a while. <sighs> Industrialist revolution, man. It's not like the industrial revolution, it's far, far worse. We have a lot of subjects, though, who apparently are stronger than us militarily speaking, so I think we don't actually have to be concerned at all, because our subjects will just auto get called in. So, really not nothing but a vibe. So, welcome back, Robert. How's it going? Or welcome to welcome to the welcome to the <laughs> the future is now, old man. There we go. We figured out what we wanted to say. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, I guess we'll just do this. I think we still have the company. Yeah, we're using the gold company. The throughput just so good. This is propping up our entire economy, this gold. I guess maybe we... Is the fact that we didn't conquer Brunei and instead we subjugated it really the cause of, like, the economic slowdown? We just didn't get the compounding effect? I don't think this is it. I mean, we've doubled our pop in this time. I guess we have to more than double the pop, though. God, that kind of sucks. Do these guys actually have clout now? Not really. Oh, we made progress. I mean, I guess we might get our health institution finally. Like, right as the stream's, like, about to... Yeah. No, I mean, really, we made a huge decision. We'll try and be more cognizant of that moving forward. We made an absolutely huge dis misdecision going on to total separation before getting the health insurance. 
Hey, Ergund, uh, Tremand, thank you, great stream. Thank you so much for the donation. Welcome. You are in... You must be, like, right in the morning, right? Because you're in Germany, right? So it's, like, morning again in Germany. It was evening when we started. What's your preferred trade policy? Free trade. Is this just, like, better? You actually don't want to tariff anything, to be honest. Uh, the ideal trade is isolate. Wow. Well, yeah. The, under certain conditions, isolation is, is ideal, actually. Wait, what's going on here? Are we really not able to push into them? What the frick? What's going on? Oh my god, we don't have a general. God damn it, dude. Pew, 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 pew. Did I pronounce your name right? Urgend? Or Urgend? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Isolationism is ideal when you world conquest. Yep. I don't really do the world conquest stuff, so... God, we even have this OP 10% construction. Alright, I mean, I guess we're just... This has been a 10 hour stream if we're like making this kind of error where we're just like, we don't notice that we've like ticked down from the start. <laughs> oh my god, we might not even enforce on them. Jesus, that'd be terrible. Yikes. I mean, we control the capital now. Wait, what? Why aren't we ticking them down? Bro. Oh, we have to fully control the state now. I forgot. Mercantilism is greater than free trade. Yeah. Well, okay, there's some conditions under which you actually... Uh, protectionism is never ideal, but it's better than mercantilism under most contexts. If you actually want to empower the petite bourgeoisie, there's maybe a situation where you'd want to go mercantilism for that specific reason. Because the ownership is different there. Yeah. But I, most of my runs, I'm not getting to the point where I want to go isolationism, but like in principle it is like correct, yeah. We'll wait to ban the slavery. Pedro demands your slavery banning. All right, so we're making, um, we're kind of making money. We're not really making money. We're not truly making money. We're gonna do that, and now we're to losing money. I think we're gonna reduce taxes and try and increase SOL here. And try and pull in more migration. Maybe they're actually just doing a much better job building too. I'm not sure. With them being Russia. If Russia's economy... Let's take a look. Are they growing the GDP better than normal? Because we're trying to siphon off their pops. We're just having a hard time. When you have a hammer, everyone becomes the sickle. That's true. I'm glad they changed this event. That it's only for five years instead of for all of eternity. This is something I left feedback on on the Discord. Alright, we're gonna have ourselves a grand old time. Desperate allies, you're telling me. Could not be more desperate. Alright. And we are going to have, yeah, we're just way stronger because we have all these subjects here that are just going to vassal swarm for us so it's kind of crazy that we're having the capitalist revolt we don't normally have those that's not normally our revolt type this is truly the worst timeline should have made an arrow seems like usual russian gdp yeah it seems pretty normal i'm not sure exactly why everything feels like not very good 
I mean, Brazil will, Brazil has some slowness to it anyways, that, like, yeah, uh, I mean, your main, pr your principal problem is you just don't have enough pops to do what you want to do, so. I mean, it looks like we're going to have more than enough guys to push here, though. AI is not even assigning up here. I think we're probably going to... I'm starting to get a little tired out. Oh, we didn't even drink all our energy drink. This is terrible. It's like 8 o'clock. I guess we'll finish it now. Definitely not this. Mr. General slowly slashing into his chair as he rubs out of sleep, basically. What is it? Sleep is cringe? Going to bed is cringe? We sleep in our gamer chair? <sighs> the truth hurts. I am getting a little tired, though. Kind of at the 10 hour mark, so. We have been going a hot minute. My man is still streaming. Well, his piss bottle's partially full. Damn. You're just used to migration from 1.5.5. Yeah, this is a real problem. We're used to 1.5.5 migration, which is absolutely insane, obscene, and now we're, like, kind of back to normal things, and it just feels really bad. We're finally getting public health insurance. We did call our one time. It just took a few times, but we called our one time for this. Sleep is cringe indeed. I fall, uh, often fall into sleep in your chair. Yeah, yeah. It's cringe. <laughs> Wait, why? Oh my god, did we get booted from Russia's market? No. No, okay, we didn't. Why do we not have access to all this stuff? Why are we running shortages of everything? What the fuck? Bro. Rio's not our trade capital? Real talk? I mean, we're not gonna move it there, but okay. I see you. Where's our trade capital then? I don't even know how to check this, to be honest, because this is not something we do, we care about too often. Oh, we can't move it right now anyway. Because it's almost always your capital with a few exceptions. You've already woken up, been watching before sleep, yeah. The one time is finally paying off, yeah, basically. I told you guys, one time always works. 67% of the time, it works every time, baby. It really works more often than not. I think real like, uh, or I, I think real luck and fate is the legitimate thing, and not just a matter of probability. On God, no cap, for real, for real. Can't stop, won't stop. Wow. We've gotten so many views, though. Bloggers. Is that how the kids say it these days? Alright. Uh, we would build this up, but we have no pops. We can't even employ in the gold mines. People don't even want to dig for gold these days. Terrible. What is it? Kids just don't want to work these days? Won't even work in the gold mines. Thought we built another railroad here. I mean, we'll need a railroad eventually. Railroads also increase the max amount of migration that can appear in the spot, but this isn't the problem, fundamentally speaking. We'll just up that anyways. We'll up it in the capital. I mean, we're gonna- ah, dude, this feels so grim. We're, like, building railroads just to build the railroads. He said the Zoomer stuff. He said it. I feel recognized. Yep, yep. On God, for real. For real. No cap, all riz. Uh, he's not a wizard, he's a wizard. Alright, I'll see my way out. Can we disband this one? Disband. Yes, we can disband. Yes. Couldn't do it in the beta. You're a wizard, Harry.
Actually, given that Ergen said that on, he's probably on his way out. In which case, he stayed up really late if he's in Germany. Purple Passion says, Hi, I'm uh, trying to learn how to grow your GDP. Does this uh, expansion change anything about it fundamentally other than the buildings? Yes. Yes, it changes. This entire local price thing dramatically affects um, what you should be doing. And I have a couple of videos on it, but they were pretty intermediary. I'm going to be making some new videos over the course of the next few days. Uh, but it, it makes a huge difference. The main thing is you actually want to vertically integrate all your economies. And so, uh, in generally speaking, you're going to want to build your construction in states that have both coal and iron. And then build all the stuff up there. Um, and so this is going to be your general strategy. And so we can't execute it the way we would like to because it's... Migration is, like, rough, but, like... Um, so, for example, uh, Freestadt is a really good place to build because when you have, uh, your economies will overall be more efficient when you have the buy and sell orders in the same place. Construction buy orders demand that you have iron, which further demands you have coal because the PMs require coal. It re requires you have wood and tools, which requires steel, which requires both iron and coal. And so critically, having all these together uh, is important. To a lesser extent, also having sulfur and lead is going to be useful once you get to steel frame buildings, but it's less important in the very beginning of the game when it is, like, most important. <laughs> Carhog was for me. Yeah. All right, we annex the capitalist revolt. Let's switch over all our PMs, and then we're gonna outro the stream. I'm feeling tired. On God, for real, for real, no cap. Yeah, etc. Mostly etc. Bone China. We're gonna do water tube boiler. I think it's also pretty efficient on the furniture, so we're gonna turn it on on the furniture too. We could use some more of this. Uh, we're not going to turn on the trains. We just generally don't like the trains. Actually, we're, we would love the trains in Transvaal, right? God. The, having the micro with the PMs is like... Because now we can do this and save a little bit more labor. So much micro, dude. So much micro. Save a little bit of labor. Alyssa Rose for the tutorial fun. Looking forward to the 1.5 videos. Woo! Thank you for the donation so very much. Oh, this is the first super on a live stream. Or their first super. Woo! Poggers. Thank you so very much. Okay, uh, let's see, what were we doing? We were enacting homesteading, maybe? No, we were switching over the PMs. And um, we also want health insurance. Alright, we'll get to those in the, in the queue eventually. Okay, that actually all makes sense, but what do we do about lack of pops if the area isn't in the right states? If Is it easier to migrate now? It's not easier to migrate, but you just kind of hope they migrate. Uh, you can build useful stuff in other states, like for example clothing, you're generally going to uh, build a lot of demand, uh, or sorry, you're going to generally supply these for places outside because you need both cotton, silk, dyes, you need all three of these. And so clothing is place is a good you will build in a lot of your high pop centers because you're going to end up sourcing these from non-locally anyways. But construction specifically, you really want to do it, and so you can do it with clothing, you can build like groceries on the coast where they have access to cheaper fish, this type of stuff. Um, yeah. Dude, you can't wait to see some of the videos in the coming weeks. Yeah. That was a huge change for when I played, uh, where you just massed all of one buildings in one state. Yeah. And you would just build, like, you would build level 51 tooling workshop here, and then, like, a level 50, like, uh, clothing thing here, and now it's dramatically not like that. Uh, and, like, the edicts, the encourage resources, encouraging manufacturing edict decrees used to be, like, super, super, super strong, and now they're super not. And so, like, a lot of, a lot of things changed. And so it's uh it's pretty substantive and so uh but it's like it's a lot to just like break down entirely like in in as we're as we're on our way out here um but uh oh my god i kind of don't want to stop playing though so we got a lot of construction that just got deleted which is actually probably fine we swapped over all the pms i just don't want to leave the game in a bad state right 
because then we'll be sad when we come back. I think we're going to continue this on stream. Um, we're probably going to go homesteading next, right? Because the industrialists are a little bit mad at us. So let's go homesteading next. Also, getting the rural folk to have a lot of clout is kind of an interesting attraction because now they gain migration attraction. Just the intelligentsia is just like blows. Um, Mr. Gaming gonna make enough money to ha not have to quit content creation pog, basically. <laughs> this is the dream. So you just have to hope and build better. Got it, yeah. He's not an addict chat, he can stop wherever he wants. Well, you know, like, I feel like I'm leaving some things in disarray here. But maybe that's okay. We'll solve the disarray later, or we can solve it off stream. That way we won't just keep losing track of our what we're trying to be doing, which we have done a whole lot. But the, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be increasing the health institution to level 4 because this is really strong. And this increased standard of living will increase the base rate. So, for example, if we take a look here, we take a look at population, and we take a look at the migration attraction, you can see we have a bunch of things. We have standard of living is giving us plus 11. Uh, we have 24 from unused arable land, and we have, well, actually we have a bunch of devastation, so maybe this is a poor example. Uh, you can see unused arable land is giving us plus 12, 10 from standard living, uh, 10 from available employment. We will be increasing the standard living multi multiplier or base amount by 2 by upgrading this, which now that I say it, when there's like a 30 base, this is really not as much as we would like, you know? <sighs> we really wish we had a lot more migration attraction. Man, really? It was extremely overtuned in when it was plus one. Now this plus a half, it actually feels like more in line. Uh, but I, st I still think we want to increase it to level four because it's also going to decrease mortality and really help us to uh, have this pop growth line be a lot more vertical. I think the the trick would be would, maybe we have to go after Great Shing, just the kind of big standard going after Great Shing, except for they're probably using skirmish infantry per the things we've noticed. Well, they're using line, so <laughs> if they're using line, they're going to be, like, impossible to invade now. <laughs> they're just, like, uh, on primary power projection of 8k. I think we have less than 2. Wow, the truth hurts. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we uh, uh, just uh, started a Patreon that should be in the links below. I'm not saying it is in the links below. I'm saying it should be because, you know, sometimes you're bad at putting links. Um, and then... Uh, probably gonna start out uh putting out a bunch of tutorials starting tomorrow might not have a gameplay video tomorrow uh we'll see what i can get done uh and then you know i'll try and get to the point where we're doing one of each every day but that might be a little bit of a stretch uh gotta you know i want to try and do outline for every tutorial video and then also post that on the patreon so there's more than just um, the wealth voting that is available there for the runs uh but hoping to do that um you know 1.5 is now out it's live uh, big nice. I'm really excited to see what the overall numbers look like in terms of the player base. I think that the player base will kind of expand a lot on the back of this, and I'm hoping that it does. But um, uh, we are going to wrap up the stream here. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, do the YouTube algorithm thing. And other than that, other than that, have a good day. Oh my god, I forgot how to end the stream. Where's the end stream button? Terrible. Bro, they actually moved the end stream button. Okay, well, the truth hurts. There actually is not the end stream button. How do we do this? I could just end from the OBS, but I don't think that does it. Nope, it says we're still live. Okay, now the button's fixed. I think? So I think I click it. Wow, my end stream was bugged out, but now it's back. Good night, everyone.